things are going blurry. Did somebody beat the shit out of this guy? I don't know what that means. Is that spam? Spasm. Yeah, I know you had a spasm, bro. Did your cat walk over your keyboard, bro? Bro, that's the shit is weird. There's like a giant fucking rock over there. Did someone beat the shit out of this guy? Pretty much. <laughs> like, literally, look at him. Like, he, he got the shit kicked out of him, and he's just like laying here looking at this like giant fucking rock over here. I don't know what happened to him. Um, just a recap, everyone, just in case, but um apparently apparently what happened last time is that we tried to assassinate Luis and it didn't work out very well. So we're basically trying to, I guess we're trying to get more support. Um, but at the same time, though, we're also aware of the fact, see, we're aware of the fact that unfortunately um, we're trying to get the support for the prince. And because the main character apparently looks very similar to the prince, they're thinking of, they're thinking of pretending that he is the prince, quote unquote. So I don't really understand what's going to happen here. I'm assuming that they're going to try to dress him up and like change his outfit or something, something really weird. Um, but I don't know. Things are getting really weird. This is why I wanted to make sure that people are aware in case you jump in. So it's just a teehee. They told us that we could go get prepared or something too. How are you doing, by the way, Bones? I was going to say, I didn't know when you jumped in, but how are you doing? Teehee. All right, then. Let me go take a look over here. I'm doing pretty good today, by the way. Um, I actually, I actually felt uh -huh. relatively good this morning when I woke up. I've been here since the moment the stream started. Oh my god, that's hot! Wow, that's so hot, babe. <laughs> Thank you. No, I appreciate it. Um, I like woke up like feeling well rested, even though I got like almost no fucking sleep. So, it's a tee -hee. I am feeling. <laughs> Bones, you're not allowed to talk about your feelings here. Stop. I take it back. I know I asked you how you were feeling, but I take it back. You're not allowed to talk about your feelings. JK. Uh -huh. I still don't really have any bounties here. Nor. Oh my god, nor. All of my work stuff or whatever, it was like popping off yesterday. Apparently it has all calmed down. So, oh, at least for now, apparently, they told me that um, I have at least, like, two to three months before any major changes actually take place. Um, and I had a call with, like, um, some supervisors and, like, some other crap. So, apparently, everything is okay for now. Um, but I was really nervous about it before. Right. Um, so, luckily, things There's are okay for now. There. I'm going to go talk to my family and other stuff, too, to let them know. But I'm feeling better now. Thank God. Hmm. Did I just go backwards? What just happened? Oh, hold on. Oh, okay. I went the wrong way. Let's go this way. Do I even need to grab anything from these sorters? I don't think so. <laughs> Except All they're... Right. Oh, you know what? Hold on. I think I have to go to the magic. Uh -huh. The magic shop. Oh. Who would ever have imagined that Providence would take his eminence forward from us? Why is his Why is his face still on the rock? Isn't he dead? Oh, closure, closure, look there. It's been such a mad craze of late that the King's Rock can't even keep track of the standings. Wait a minute. It's apparently, it's not keeping track of the standings anymore. What's oh. going on? <laughs> At this rate, Luis will have a clear path to the throne as Sanctus or very existence is in peril. That doesn't make sense. Why Why is it not updating Lady Rella? Oh. Yeah, they were talking about this earlier. That's weird. <laughs> you dead. Maybe, what if he's not dead? Imagine this whole time he's still not dead. Hang on. I feel like they're like they're foreshadowing that... something. Why hasn't it updated? What? Oh, maybe it's because it hasn't processed that he died. Mm, <laughs> that's weird. This yeah. magic isn't very magicy right now. It's not doing what it's supposed to do. What a curse. 
All right then. Let me do right, um. Let's I need head this there right away. Let's try this. <laughs> oh, jeez. Apparently, there's a hot spring here. This must be the bathing spot that Yuko was talking about. Wait, we can. Oh my god, we can do hot springs? Oh shit. Hey, yo. What would you like? Now then. Mm. Is today Idol's Day? What no, it's like? Flames Day. Oh, hold on. Um, hold on. Actually, no, I don't really need to worry about these ones. Let me grab... No, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. All right, then. Can I, can I teleport? All right, then. Wait I cannot. Oh. Let's head there right away. I guess we're just going to head back. There's literally no, there's nothing else we can do. This is a tee. Feeling accomplished. We sure did a lot today. I think we deserve a nice long rest. Bro, we didn't do anything. <laughs> we haven't done anything. Um, sure. I know that there's like at least like one or two things that uh, I really need to do, but we can't do them because we can't teleport around. Um, I found out that there's a way to make more um, experience for archetypes, which we can probably do later, but I'm not going to do it right away um, unless they will let me. So let's see here. I guess they just want us to see. Hmm. I don't get this at all. What the hell happened? Why is Lady Rella sorry, why is Lady Rella taking Horton's place? I feel like she she said that she was not really comfortable doing it. I'm pretty sure she's being forced to. Let me see here. Ah. <laughs> sure. Good night. Yeah. I am and looking like we're all set for tomorrow. Do you got a minute? Seeing as I have fallen in with you a lot now, there's something that I want to clear up. Wait, what's he, what's he going to clear up? Just tell me this. You're doing all of this to save the poor prince, or are you doing it to save the country? It's technically I mean... the same thing. It's ultimately the same thing either way. No. Well, it's not really that simple. Hey, mate. And you want to save the country, then you're playing a longer game. You gotta actually win the race. So if we can't save the prince, then you have to take his place for good. That means that if we win the tournament, you'll take the lie to your grave. Oh, that's true. That's true. So... I'm just saying, if you declare yourself prince tomorrow and everything changes for you forever, you know what you're signing up for, right? Mmm... I'm used to yeah. change. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> totally. Listen to you. You got guts, that's for sure. Then. Well, I will tell you something myself. I... I'm not just following you to go with the flow, all right? Or to avenge Del. Whatever. Sure, I'm planning on hammering that bastard Louise into the ground, but I'm doing it for the dream. For a world where your birth will not decide your fate. Sorry, decide your life, Tihim. <laughs> and if I'm going to tag along, then that is the world that we're going to live to see. I know it. Leave it to me. Just leave it to me, yeah? I've got your back. As long as you're giving us everything you've got, so will I. Got a deal? Are we getting a bond? No? Oh, okay. Interesting. I saw Basilio off, who said that he would prefer sleeping in stowage, and then returned to my bunk. I wonder if we'll have enough time to, like, get everyone's things on, uh, the age I don't actually know king draws nearer. what kind of time frame we're dealing with here. What is this? Like, October or September? September. Oh, it's Watts' Day. Ooh. Look, it's that boy candidate. The one who betrayed Luis or killed him. Oh my god, this is something. gonna be spicy, I'm ready. Hold on! I thought it was Sanctifex Forden who got killed. I think it's both. But hard to say what actually happened. Suppose it's true what they say about Elder. Disaster follows them like an ill wind. What the fuck you couldn't get a real kind of of them, or why like before, this? But it seems worse than I thought. Once we stand for his royal highness the prince, that will surely change. We have to believe that. St. Vela is here. The rumors were true. Hmm. 
Thank you all for joining me, even in the midst of this turmoil. I am Rella Cygnus of the Crown Theocracy. The reason I ask that you all gather here today is so that I may formally announce my succession to his eminence, the late Sanctifex Forden. I know not if I am worthy, but under the teachings of the noblesse, I am determined to become a worthy king, a queen of this land. The saint herself is to be our queen. Now we are safe. Glory to Sanctism! to just jump in mid-race like that. Everyone seemed pretty annoyed when Luis did it. The tournament's winner is not guaranteed to throw. Fairness was never really a factor. Whoever has the skill to exploit the standings will win. Listen to that roar. I think I am oh, yeah, my hella popular, bro. popularity. Even from here, I can feel her aura of magic. I suppose that's to be expected. She, she was like going around nature. healing people behind the scenes the whole time. Of course, people love her. She's perfectly situated to pick up where Forden left off. I object, Rella. You have no true experience in the political world, and you would rise to Santa Fe Forden's heights, be worshipped as he was. I refuse. I have been loyal to God and His Eminence Forden my whole life. I am the only one worthy of his legacy. Master Gideon, truly, I do see the truth in your words. However, this is also the will of the Crown Theocracy. Friends gathered here, do you really believe such a person is fit to be queen? Once the nation has dissolved into chaos, it will be too late. Appoint me as champion of sanctism, and I will save you all. Hmm. Not sure about that. We know your name, but honestly, you don't have much in the way of real accomplishments. The man has no charisma. If I had to choose, I'd rather follow Saint Well in all her glory. I wouldn't be surprised if he attacks her Ford because of this. Like, this is getting too. a little sus. If that's true, then I don't know if I'd trust his closest vassal with the throne. Friends, I... I... Is that Luis's gauntlet? Oh my god, no. What is happening? Oh wait, did the faces change on the rock? Did I see the, the faces change on the king, on the king's rock? Like the, the big face in the sky? What happened? This man is walking As around usual, with a lance. Oh my I god, I swear. Embroiled in pointless conflict. What, what is your business here? For the sake of those mired in your endless, fruitless squabbles, I have come to propose we give truth to this competition. What truth? The people's eyes have been opened. This entire tournament is a self-indulgent travesty of the Sanctus Church's making. First the king, and now you dogs of God. Why do you teach the people lies? You preach the true understanding is mutual and blind to the balance of power. Ignorant willful or otherwise to the sin and weakness that your lessons breathe oh my god explain face this. the truth <laughs> Our welcome world in is you jump scared me and your efforts How have done nothing you? to quell the chaos it is time we were judged only by our abilities victory means wow. nothing unless won by skill welcome and in, it friendo. is no less true for just the just in case just in case the the story is popping off right now so if you if you don't mind being here, I do I do love having you here, but I do not want to spoil the game for you as well. Just a heads up, because the story is popping. Just wanted to stay by and stop by and say hi. Yeah, no worries. I know it's been a while since I've seen you, but I, I know that um I do catch you in um other people's streams too, so at least I still see you around. But uh, thank you for jumping in, babe. It's been really fucking busy, by the way. We've been playing this game like non-stop, and I've been trying to play it earlier than usual if I can. Um, and my work is popping up too, so I know we probably don't get to see each other very often right now, but it is what it is. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Uh, already so late here that I have to sleep soon. No, I, I feel you. I feel you. That's the mood. I'm t tired, tired and hungry all the time. I, f I agree. I feel with you. I feel you. Um, honestly, just take it easy. I understand you have to go, but thank you for jumping. Right, thank you for jumping in, um, and thank you for saying hello. Skill. What skill would you put on display? Also, thank you, Bones, for the shout-out. I love you, Bibia. I see no more reason to forbid the killing of candidates. 
Oh. You would have the race decided by violence. <laughs> All right. And I suppose you believe yourself capable of personally reversing the king's magic. <laughs> Impossible. Oh, king! You have witnessed our trials, have you not? You have seen a divine relic used to defy your shield and claim lives! <sighs> the lance rests in my hand. With its power, my victory is assured. But surely you would not see the race decided by such injustice. What is, ha and what is I. happening? I will not give voice to the Bruh. lie that this world is subject to any god's reign. Would you, oh great king? What is his aim? If he has the key to certain victory in his hands, why cast it aside? <laughs> Never takes what he doesn't win. That's Luis to the core. He means every word he says. But it, why is he doing it like bottom, this? What? You hear him talk like that. You can't help but dream, and then you never realize only a madman claims lies and contradictions won't exist in their world. Louis Guillaume, what manner of life has this man lived to make him such a creature? He says that, but with that lance, he could kill any candidate he pleases, couldn't he? He killed Sanctifex oh, yeah, Forden, place of just and in now threatens Saint um, And I'm not going to put no. words in Bones' mouth or anything, but Majesty, I don't know if um, he might be busy doing something Do right now. Just in case. <laughs> I don't want you to think he's ignoring you. Even should Louise claim all the power he desires, I will not be so easily conquered. Even should our nation dissolve into anarchy, I will always stand to defend you. Sister. I expected little else of Forden's loyal pet. This is so Seems weird. Why why is he trying to get everyone to attack each benevolence. other? He can already just kill Come everyone. What is happening? There can be no more doubts. What's going on? The masses desire a truly fair battle. One waged without your shackles. What? Be this thy course. Thou wouldst rule by strength alone. Yeah, his, his face is on top there. Like when he first rose. I killed Forden, yet has my standing fallen at all? Surely you would know. This petty race limps forward, while the land is further flooded with anxiety and monsters. You have left us an age of strife. You are powerless to stop it. And in your place, fool king, I will restore the balance and right this land's wrongs. So be it. They who remain seeketh a clash without hindrance. Very well. Now and hereafter, my magic shall no longer protect thee. Wait, are we top three? Why is our face on there? Bro, what the fuck? Um, hello? Face this as a trial renewed. If ye would be a true king, then I bid thee prevail. Oh no. No, 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 no. This means that they're gonna. All the candidates are gonna start attacking each other, which means that the, the other bald guy is gonna attack Rella or something. This is weird. You see that light just now? The mantle of nice. flow surrounding the candidates has disappeared. The protection of the magic is no more. <sighs> then this lance of dragons is no more than an antique spear. Oh, okay, thank you. Children lost in Sanctism shadow. The fog of deception has finally cleared. There is no God. Think hard on your salvation. And whether you'll find it in prayer. No. He would even deny us our prayer? It's true. His majesty has broken the spell. If it has come to this. You know it was not I who laid the prince low. Which means that if you oppose me still, it is for the throne and nothing more. I can finally face the real you. <laughs> A near-death invalid has no place upon the throne. The mere suggestion is ludicrous. 
You do well what, to follow what the king's what's example. What's the aim here? Why is he talking to us like this? What is going ideas? on? To cast aside all we've fought for would accomplish nothing. We too strive for a vision. Ooh. Luis, you will never take the throne. The rightful heir stands before you. Like a drama. Look upon our candidate and know his true claim. He is the legitimate son of his late majesty, King Hithlodius V. Last heir to the throne of Ukronia. His Highness, the Prince himself, has risen to vanquish evil. For his people, he defies the pain and suffering of the curse he endured. His Highness, the Prince? What? That's a lie. His Highness? He has already passed. His Highness, the Prince? <laughs> They're mad, the lot of them. That boy's an elder. Okay, how, he how is. are we gonna do it this? It's the though? very proof you seek. Anyone who truly knows His Highness himself will see what this means. Indeed, there is no denying it. Rella? Sister? I saw for myself when I personally treated His Highness. They'd warned me against revealing it to the public, but the time for discretion is past. His Highness, the Prince, has Elden blood coursing through his veins. His Majesty told me that the boy's birth mother was an elder woman. The Prince was an elder? Enough of this absurdity. <laughs> why why was Juna why was Juna hey, getting so freaked out about that though? The what Prince, happened? A bold gambit to reveal yourself before both Rella and I. Indeed, I have no retort. After all, he's been dead so long. Nobody could say otherwise. Fine then. So be it. This marks the true battle between those who would fight for the throne. Wouldn't you say, your highness? He knows. He's like a step ahead. He's just like, he's like, I see what you're Face doing. Face your unworthy ideals and come to terms. I shall wait at the royal capital to meet oh, the one left standing. Oh my god, what? With Luis in the lead, he no longer has to concern, sorry, concern himself with the other candidates, especially those who are not a direct challenge. I secured the abandoned Dracodios. Ooh. That's a tee -hee. Oh, we just got, we just automatically went to top three. My support has increased dramatically now that I have announced that I am the prince, and I cannot let the people down. Rella. Forden's legacy is rightfully mine. It won't be long before this conflict turns violent. Do you really think you have what it takes to fend off Luis? You were head of the guards and you failed to protect Santifex Forden. Are you on to talk? Please step down. And you think yourself my better, do you? If it's a contest of strength you want, we can settle that right here. Bro. My magic. Nothing's happening. What's going on? Huh? Please, do not cause further distress to the devout. I ask once more. Um. Stand down. No, excuse me. Excuse me. That that is the um. Those are the thorns. What the fuck? Did you see that? Those were thorned vines. But that's sister. Oh, Children of God. No. I know the burdens you bear. I see Excuse the fear me? and anxiety that weighs heavy upon you. But rest at ease, my beloved citizens. Sanctism is and shall ever be your fortress. Know that I will protect all of you. Pray with me now. Closure. Um, excuse me? Wait. Wait, what She's just happened? Right. 
Saint Rella can even heal our country. As long as we believe in her, we shall know peace. What? Saint Rella! Saint Rella! Uh, closure in. Did she affect Be their careful. Magla? I sense Magla. There's something beyond rhetoric in her words. There is definitely magic there. Sister! What have you done to everyone? I'm lifting their fears and anxieties. I can take yours too. With enough devotion, you can lock your anxieties away and they shall never trouble you again. Sanctifex Forden saw Sanctism as only a tool. A means to exploit the people, abuse his authority, and mask injustice as piety. And yet, even then, did this twisted form of Sanctism save no unfortunate souls? What makes salvation true? Luis claims that there is no God. That true equality is only earned in pitiless competition. Are the believers fools to fear his words? Saint Rella. I will save the people of this land in the truest sense. They shall live with no worries, no anxieties. Now and forevermore. But through magic? You forced the fears out of their very hearts. Tis no salvation yeah, this, to strip bro, them of this free is thoughts. literally the same kind of thing that fucking um, happened not. in Royal. Kind but this of. country has bled them of it for too long. Besides, what makes you any more fit to speak of rightness? <laughs> you claim he is the prince. The real prince is surely at death's door, isn't he? After all, your efforts did nothing to lift the curse. I've told you before, the prince's curse was crafted to perpetually draw upon the caster's magic. I know he suffers because I yet live. Wait. Surely you can't... Really? Be. No. You healed his highness. It was only by virtue of your presence that he survived that night. Oh, was I not clear enough? Allow me to clarify. On that night... It was my back that your blade carved across. Ma'am? Oh. Hawkenberg, are you good? <gasps> what? This isn't good. There's magic flooding this place. Keen senses indeed, to be capable of seeing all this. No! Why? Sister, you can't have! You, you were she, only 12 She was only 12 years old when this happened? When I what? Was. And Luis was only a boy. All the better for any witnesses to suspect him of the crime. What? Yet I was interrupted in casting. What would have been a fatal curse became something unorthodox and incomplete. A spell with no formula. Even I could not dispel it. All you can do now is kill the caster. As heiress to the Sanctus Church's legacy, I will never hand over the royal scepter. Not to Luis, nor to you. Juna, I will await is, you is amidst our dearest memories. Is anyone else there just like watching this and like actually Find like slightly sane being the like, the wow, this is library. crazy. A place I'm sure you know well. Ma'am? Isn't that a... Is it a divine relic? Oh, okay then. Really? Oh my god. Halt! What? I will not let you escape. You've ruined everything. The church, my authority, everything. Wait. You will never leave this city alive. Is he talking to us? I am Guido of the <laughs> are warrior you kidding monks. Me? And in are you, God's are you name, for real right I now? Condemn thee. What? What is your problem? Hey! Sir. This is cavalry. ridiculous, bro. We need to get out of here. Okay, yes! but like Swiftly! but like what what Not was the aim of this? Like why why did she do all of this? Like what the fuck? Uh, put this cliff here. What about the teleportation? That takes time we don't have! 
We've got nowhere to go but up this into is the like sky. this is so weird all of this stuff happened when all of the characters were younger so so there she was 12 year old 12 years old the prince was probably like what 13 or 14 or something i don't know this is there's there's something weird going on here why did all of this happen you hear me I trust you. Just reading a bunch of webtoons? Ooh. We don't, way, what I kind of agree. webtoons are you reading? My other my other friend Brown, he really like he uh, likes um right? uh, like Isekai yes. and like stuff like that. Is this not your dream? Yeah. Then bring it There's like one about like aristocracy yeah, or something, or like the aristocrat who got like teleported to another I'll world or something. That one I tried reading. Me. That stuff's good. The sky. Wait, what the not yet. Trust your technology near us. Wait, are we flying? Are we flying? Stop. Let's fly! Girl, this is happening so fast. What is going on? Possible. He can fly. Bro, he turned the Gauntlet Runner into a dragon. What? What ears are popping? This is what it takes to get a news to. We have a whole airship now. Let's fucking go. After that drop, I thought we'd die even if we didn't crash. Oh. Now that we're past the worst of it, it's actually smoother than I thought. A bit of faith, my dear. You're telling me that tiny patch is the city? It's like a child's toy. Seeing it like this... It's easy to imagine the people as little dots, huddling together in fear. Phew, that was terrifying. I'm just glad it flew okay, don't you think? Aren't you flying anyway? <laughs> Bro. Aren't you flying already? Why should you be worried? What's that supposed to mean? Ha! Ah, don't go poking the bear fairy, my lad. Really? Always acting like I'd she doesn't fly around the whole place, you goddamn. You the push I needed. Thank you. So, about our next move. We must pursue Saint... Pursue Rella as soon as possible. His Highness is running out of time. Where did she say she was going? Where the failures of the Sanctus Church lie buried? My guess is... The Mage oh. Academy. Or what remains of the place. Nobody goes near it now. I was a student there myself once. I'm you assuming we're, like, people were experimented on no or something. No wonder you're so knowledgeable about magic. For a dropout, I suppose. The Royal Mage Academy, then. It was known as the finest school in the kingdom for magic research. Lady Judah, I've got to ask. What was Saint Rilla like back in your school days? The way she was acting earlier, all cold? That the real hair? No, it can't be. I don't... I don't want it to be. Maybe I just never knew the real her. That was the first I've ever seen her like that myself. <sighs> I keep thinking, if she'd just quietly taken over for Ford and we could have helped each other out. Even if she inherits the Sanctifex's authority, she's nothing like Ford and she'd never want to hurt anyone. That's not her. I thought she wasn't like that. Now she's saying she was part of this conspiracy? She attacked the prince? No, it doesn't make any sense. Then we've got to get to her, fast as we can. We know where she is, yeah? You just gotta tell her everything you just told us. That would be prudent, yes. But Captain, a reef for your thoughts, lad. <gasps> oh my if god, a reef for your thoughts? Culprit, 
then the curse will persist so long as she lives. This means we will have to kill her. Are you up to the task? Yes. I'm prepared for that. Juna, would you prefer to stay behind? I can't afford to. If, look, if at the last minute I can't face it, then you can leave me where I stand. I'm prepared enough for that. Lady Juna. What's the matter? It's plain to see something's bothering you. Oh, no. It's nothing specific. It's just that... Something's felt wrong somehow. Ever since I sensed the Saint's Magla. I'm sorry. It's hard to explain. Mm, no, no, no. She Please said the same no thing mind. before too with Borden, though. Like, there's something wrong with their Magla or something. Like, it's been, like, converted mm. into something weird. I've marked the location of the Mage Academy ruins <laughs> on the map. Rella will be waiting for us when we land. I never wanted it to come to this, but we have to be ready for a fight. When I'm ready for battle, I should check the location on the map. Oh my god. Whoa. Alright. Wow. Time to take a poop. Right. Well that This is not what I was expecting. This is not what I wanted from the story. It's getting weird. Some milk or some fragrant spice. Um, what can I do here? I want to talk to everyone real quick here. I see. I still struggle to believe it that Rella of all people might have had a hand in the princess fall. Uh, sorry, the princess fall. So I have to hold on to hope that it is some mistake or misunderstanding for Juna's sake. Okay, excuse me, this OSC is popping. Hello? Oh. Ooh. Oh my god. That's hitting. That's hitting really good. When Luis appeared and we all looked to his majesty in the sky, did you notice anything different? The Sanctifix... Sorry, the Sanctifix's... Sanctifix's pr face was no longer present in his right eye. When they say the Sanctifix, are they talking about... Rella? Luis is in first place, and even though she never formally announced her candidacy, Rella is in second. It seems that many sanctus wish for her to succeed th the throne. It is hard to reconcile how someone so adored could have such terrifying magla, much less curse the prince. Strange as it is to say, I am worried about her. I think that we should pursue her before it's too late. I was going to say, it's funny that the, the king's face had the um, the new updated stuff, but the actual king's rocks are scattered throughout the, uh, the city. Um, they have not updated. Tell me to, all. to think that it was not Luis, but Rella who escaped my blade that faithful day. Would Rella truly be the one who cast the curse? Then there is but a singular uh, course available to us. I still can't believe that my own sister was behind the prince's attempted murder. I knew that she was hiding something, but this... I'm all right. I'm prepared to face my sister. We head to the Mage Academy. Hmm. Rella said that it was the graveyard of Sanctism's sins. Speaking of the Mage Academy, as you, I believe you know, Forden abolished it, claiming that they were doing dangerous research. Wait, Forden, Forden abolished it? What? He actually gave a shit? That's crazy. Though abolish is a rather nice word that they... Sorry, more... A nicer word than they deserve. It is more likely that he flexed the state and monk armies to all but raise the place. I had heard rumors that it did not go peacefully. <sighs> His Majesty himself sponsored its construction, but in the end, even that prayed, and all of its works, its books were banned by the church. What is going on? I imagine that the church saw it as a threat, and they couldn't have people studying the history of magic and the origin of their magic <sighs> igniters. The land where they destroyed the truth to protect their lies, that must be the sin of sanctism. Watch them, watch them have, like, uh, understood what happened with, like, the ancient race, and, like, they just were studying that shit, and then they, they fucked, um, they fucked everything over, and, like, hit everything. Mm, wish I had more, <laughs> I wish I had more, uh, critical meatballs. Um, just trying to see what else we can make here. I'll Let's do, like, one. Oh, I can't do it now. Okay. Let's see here. No way. The truth is, is that I'm still struggling to believe that Lady Rella is the one who tried to assassinate the prince. It would never hurt a soul. 
but back there, there was a cold in her eyes that chilled me to the bone. What is the truth here? It's funny that they mention that because I remember a while back when Juno was actually talking to her at the tavern. There was like one, one moment where she showed that sprite where like the light in her eyes was gone and she looked like something was wrong. And I was just like, I'm like, oh, I'm like, that's weird. But I don't, I don't know. It's, it's very strange. Very sussy. Um, let me go ahead and just take a look at the party, by the way, because apparently we have Basilio. Um, what level is he? He's only level 46. That's a T. Um, I think that we should probably... Let me go ahead and take out Heisme, as much as I love him, by the way. Um, let me go ahead and... We're going to put in... Yeah, let's put in our Boyo. I'm just going to learn a few of these for him. I don't know what we should put on him, though. Maybe keep him with, like, Berserker or something. I see. The all right. Apologies. We have to we have to learn all of these real quick here. Ooh. Ow. I'll... I learned a new ability. I saw the all right. 375 mag. Oh, my God. That's so cheap. Girl. Uh, I'm getting stronger. I saw the all right. This man is literally I'll like 18 levels behind everyone. Feels bad. What am I gonna do with him? I, <laughs> a new ability. I need to put him in the party though, but I know right. he's gonna get his ass whipped for real. But he want, we want that ex the experience. So we're gonna, at least for now, we're gonna try to permanently put him in for a while so he can get some EXP. I, I can use this. I saw the, all right. Oh, I don't know if I brought it up earlier, by the way, but um, I had one of my friends come over today and um, they actually do work as like a masseuse, technically, or like they used to. And um, low-key, I told them that I was like fucking sore as shit. And they gave me like a proper, at least like I had like what was like a 30 minute fucking I massage, like a proper, like like a, an indie head massage. This and it was right here. lit. All right. It was super fucking good. I didn't have to pay shit for it, by the way. <laughs> that shit is expensive. If you go for like an hour, I think it's like over like a hundred dollars Canadian I'll here. It's it. crazy. Not I about that. A new I saw the all right. Oh. I can use this. I saw this all right. I learned a new ability. I saw the all right. I'm cap. Hmm. I think what I'll do for him because he's weaker. You know what we can do? We can throw on um buff skills on him. At the very least, it'll give him something this. to do because he's not really going to be very useful right now. Yeah, he can be our buffer and our debuffer. He can probably stay in the back too. I'm getting stronger. I saw the all right. I'm kept of course. Okay, I think we're almost good. Let me see here. So, um, I'll so I'm gonna get him the commander one. Nice. I learned a new ability. Commander. It wouldn't hurt to give him maybe like the thief roll as well, but like let me actually take a look and see what we can do with him. Oh, that's a T. Wow. Okay, well, apparently we don't really have that much to actually use on him. So I guess we're just kind of screwed. Is there anything else that they can put on? Let me go ahead and let me give them right. these ones. Oh my God, I'm going to show spank shiv. It's 20,000 meg. Oh my God. <laughs> Why are you so expensive? Oh. 
Oh, thank Steady God. Steady effort is key. Will it let me do other stuff too? No. Okay, here we go. I found it. All right. Thank you. It seems I've grown. All right. So, um, let me just take a look here. We're going to give him... We want to give him commander, I think. I'm getting stronger. I learned a new ability. I'm so proud of you, babe. Hell yeah. I can use this. I'm getting stronger. I learned a new ability. He's got that mastered. What do now? Thank you, Bones. Congratulations on one hour. Um, I'm wondering if I should keep him on Berserker. Let me actually take a look here. Slam Strike, Charge, Slam Shatter, Sense of Kinship, it's all more. Increases attack. Decreases attack and defense for all enemies for three turns. You know what? Yeah, it's fine. I'm getting stronger. And then I'll give him um let me actually give him Faker too. I learned a new ability. I'm getting stronger. I learned a new ability. Okay, so he's good for that. Um let me do What else should I do here? I guess for now let me just level up Berserker. I'm getting stronger. Do I have... Do I have enough? I learned a new ability. Oh my god, probably not. No! We were so close. Let's see here. Okay, um... Do I have anything else? Probably not. Let's see. Yeah. Golden armor with durability matched only by its value beyond rational numbers. Resist slash damage. That is crazy. Oh my god. Is he the only one that can put that on? Oh my god. Sheesh, bro. What kind of van braces do we have here, too? A pure white helm. Endurance plus five can be purified. Rekukuja. Um. I wouldn't mind giving him that. It'll make it so he's not as, um... Sussy. What do I have on him? Oh, he has that. Mm. Mm. Maybe we could do this one here. Reduces turn icon cost of guard command by half. Or maybe coddled choker. This music is so freaking good, by the way. I can let me do this one. There you go. I love that she has the soul hackers mask on. Broken. <laughs> Disgusting. I think I think we're good. I think. Could be wrong. Um, let's go ahead and we're gonna save. Check the map. Let's aim for the Royal Academy ruin. Where are we going? Is it the one on the south? Oh no, it's all the way over there. Oh. Rowe is waiting for us there. Let's hurry. All right. There's another thing here, Malva. We can't actually go there now. Um, they have other stuff here too. Literally, Shoji Maguro, how dare you make music this good? Like, this is actually crazy. I guess we're going. The Royal Academy Ruins, once the kingdom's finest magic research institution, the Crown Theocracy, claiming the Academy was performing dangerous work, sent the military... Sorry, met, sorry, sent the military to subdue it, and now it lies in ruins. Uh -huh. Only going to take us a day to get there. Seem preposterous on the map. 
They really built this old academy as deep in the mountains as they could shove it. Amazing. It's all so beautiful. But for some reason, I can't stop shaking. It's what they call too sodden cold. Ugh, I wasn't made for chill like this. The wintry peaks of Montario are harsh. The first snowfall is bound to make it even harder to reach the base from our position. Why build a blasted thing here of all places? Because it's fucking secluded. It myself, there's clearly some secrets here. But I have heard rumors that there's a dragon among us. Oh my god, no, there's a dragon no. A dragon? You mean like our dragon god? You saw how the dragon god turned into immaterial magla to be absorbed by the lamps, right? Dragons may look like monsters, but they're not true flesh and blood creatures. They're testaments to a lost world. That's why the Academy's here, I heard. To study them. But of course, that's all in the past now. Why is Rella with the Sanctus Church, anyway? If they tore apart a place she held dear, you'd think she'd carry some kind of grudge against them. It is not unlike my own plight, I feel. One might call it a family curse. My family, the Cygnus family, holds great esteem. To the church, especially. We've held high, sanctified titles for generations. And as eldest child, Rella can't reject them. How did all that obligation weigh on her? Was she so determined to uphold it that she'd kill at their command? She wouldn't. <sighs> we better hear it Yeah, we need, we need to go find her. This is Sussy. I feel it. I can sense an aura of Magla all the way from here. There's a strong disturbance like I've never felt before. Gotta be here. Is it the dragon? Here we go. What if, what if there's like another in. corrupted dragon down here or something? They did say that they were technically the revered as gods or something. Um, the or the Masari worship them. Maybe they're just another human riding wind. another one, maybe. It's frozen spires piercing the wintry clouds. The gauntlet runner lands at the foot of the mountains, blemishing the pristine snow with fresh tracks. In silent certainty, they know Rella awaits them. The weathered corpse of a scholar's home at her back. So that's the former Mage Academy. Oh, she's al already here. She's, she's I've just been here. waiting for you. Little Hi. more needs to be said. We are here to save His Highness. And to do that... Sister! At least tell me! Why did you have a hand in the assassination? Did I ever really know you? How like you to be self-centered even now, Juna. In the end... You're no daughter of House Cygnus. You're an orphan. Another acquisition of House Cygnus, picked up on a whim. Oh, okay. A tokenized game piece on their board to illustrate their noble contributions to society. <laughs> you thought you and I were close. You believed you understood your big sister. <laughs> I see. I understand now, Rella. You're right. And I was wrong. I can't tell if she's I am Joanny Cygnus. And my life is my own. So is my heart. I think she I've always believed in you. I think she and I'm she knows that her sister's lying or something. Now. Hold on. You would never kill someone just because Ford asked you to. Never! She's really good at telling whether or not whether or not people are lying, and I think that in this case, because she knows that the sorry that the prince or whatever probably wants needs to come back, maybe she, maybe she feels guilty and she wants us to kill her, but she doesn't want us to look at her in like a bad way. Or sorry, not like a, what's the word I'm looking for? She's trying to make it look like you know like hey like you have to kill me, like don't think about it too hard. Like I'm a bad guy. She's trying to make herself look bad. Maybe? What are you saying? Forden lies dead, yet the curse is unbroken. Is that not proof enough? Can you deny it, your highness? You had your reasons, I assume? I honestly can't see it either. Anyone aiming to kill a royal is risking their life for a cause. But what would a 12-year-old girl be willing to die for? Yeah, what is going on, bro? If Saint Rella's willing to die for something, no mistake. It'd be you, Lady Juna. Huh? 
for me. Huh? Why? Delusions. Sister. Oh no, what is going on here? What? What is happening? You were what? Me what happened? From what? <sighs> Even if that's all true, why did you bother summoning us here? The King's Rock marks you at second place. All the Sanctus faithful have put their trust in you, even after the death of the Santifex shook their hearts. Had you only gone into hiding to prepare for the battle against Luis, no one, not even us, would have been able to get to you. Yet, you want to know why I've summoned you here? A question burns in me, and I will have my answer. Whoever defeats Luis will surely win the throne. But can you save those who remain of the Sanctus flock? The weak, whom Luis would see culled? This world already yep. rejects many for their weakness. I had a feeling. With nowhere to turn, they seek comfort in faith. If you would sacrifice them for freedom, you're no better than Luis. I intend to look after them. Well, words alone prove nothing. To be king is to wield strength. Even to save the foolish and the abandoned. Whoever you really are, until I know you can be a true king, I refuse to die. Such an aura. This must be. Is yes. it anxiety? Wait, Behold oh no, it's the a relic. divine okay. relic. Once wielded in war and then sealed in the Frostlands. A weapon of draconic command. Just like the lance of your islands. Dragons are manifested avatars of mortal fear. Fear of nature. Fear of the untamed. That is the source of their power. If you would be king, show me you can conquer it. I'm sorry, are you summoning a dragon? Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Why are you? Why? 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 Why are you like this? Dogne, dragon god of the ice valley, show me now the power that ended the ancient world. This is not what I was expecting at all. What is going if on? If you would make this a country where it is no sin to be weak or ignorant, you need strength to shape it. Let us prove that strength here. Rella. Then let's go. If you're gonna put your life on the line for this, then it's only right we do the same. Come, Sogne of the Ice Valley. Come, O oh Pillar of the Five Chromatic Dragons, harbingers of earthly war. Heed my call and unleash your fury once again before us. We've got no choice. I won't hold back. And you're saying, okay, so they're they're basically telling us that dragons are manifestations of people's anxiety as well. Interesting. And apparently, they they are the ones who destroyed the world beforehand. I like, I like this. Also, fuck, I forgot to put his fucking thing on. I, I forgot to put the yeah, the skills on on Basilio. Find a tower. That's a tee Everyone, fall back! Come forth, royal soul! No. Charging in! Soul hacker! Sogna, Summoner, show them strength! For your aid! Summon Dragon God. Deal severe magic fire damage to all enemies. Ooh. Just in case. No, I mean, you know what? Let's just do it. Fuck it. Come forth now. If it does if it does weakness damage, that'd be really cool. Damn, girl. Oh my god. You big dragon. Yeah! You might have their weakness. Whoa. I'll show you. Don't be scared. Oh, you that? No, you stop that. Underestimate a dragon at your Big quartz wall. What? 
against elemental attacks? Oh. Uh, my strength. Mm. You've got a bunch of ailments slowing you down, Captain. Okay, but how so, how is that gonna work though? How does that work? It says, hold on. It says ignores resistances. Let me try this. It might not work. Oh, it technically Then I will test it. it work? Ah, ooh. Okay, I see. I see. Everyone is to take my first power. Are you strong enough to protect the weak? I call upon a royal soul! Raging fire! Hit their weakness! Don't let Allow them down, me. Another one. Stop that. Cold. You stop that. It comes to this. That's Ow! It. You put it! Wait Pretend a sec. Won't do much like this. This one. I knew you'd help. That helped. I'm grateful. I think we can get rid of him now. That's right. Uh, something about all those ailments. Watch your scour. Still up? Okay, just one more. I this power. I better be sure. Take it. It didn't work. Me? That didn't do Wait, what? Underestimate Ma'am. Dragon of your power. Wait, what? That's rude. You stop that. Stop. Stop it. it. I don't like it when they inflict status ailments. It's rude. Cuba's broken. Here I go. Mm. Attacks won't do much like this. Oh, what? This may be exciting. Please go right ahead. June is fast and over. That, sir. Her attacks are going to be weaker now. You can count that helped. on me. Thank you. That helped us out. So oh, nice. awesome soul. Do strength. your thing. Do I have a do I have a physical attack I can use that is a talent? Oh, fuck! Why are you like this? Wind. Just die! Get out of here! Is it not done? There truly is a gulf between us. You are more the warrior than I, as expected. So be it. What I lack in experience, I shall give with my life, sister. Sogne, I give unto you all that I am! Full magic transfer? What are you doing? She gave the last of her magic to the dragon? What? Why I will fight that with Brock, falling back. Oh my Forward. god, why are you like fire. this, bro? Let's keep this place up! Trap. I pray you're ready. Protect won't Not do this much tactic. like this. Take my fullest no. power. Oh my god. Why are you like this? Come forth now. Yeah. You but hit their oh weakness. Behold this power. Burn. You hit their weakness. Berserk. Don't let up now, Juna. I'll stick. June is frozen over. It's freezing. Are yeah, do we now. all have no stop that? We all have sound sounds. Ew. Yeah, thanks. I'm grateful. Thanks. Let's stay calm. By this power. We'll do this together. Trial of the Seeker deals extreme magic almighty damage. Oh my god. I wanna see you. The magic seeds. Someone might die here, by the way. Okay, God has a plan. Icy breath. Is everyone okay? You gotta heal up. Oh no! Did I accidentally just wipe oh, everyone out? Down. Oops. Someone get him up and fighting. I shall use this. I'll pay you back double. Throw her down. Can anyone Stop. get on healing? Please. After I'm you. ready whenever. Do I not have anything at all? Okay, here we go. I was here like, you what? Go. 
He knew you'd help. That helped. Thank you. June is frozen <laughs> over. It's freezing. Her tabs are going to be weaker now. Hmm. This should be all you want. That was helpful. Thank you. We're going to be doing a weird battle of... I find really hard not to get frostbite, which is not working, by the way. Love that oh, for me. Really hurting. Can, someone help her? Can you stop that? Wait, another one. Are you fucking kidding me? Bro, come on. Bro, honestly, are you fucking kidding me right now? Who, who's weak to it? I think it's Basilio. Basili I'm going to have to take my to keep that in mind. That's fucking rude. What an ass. What an ass happener. Everyone, oh, come on back. You I won't hold back. Power. No, hold on. Let's go. It. Burn. You hit their weakness. I yes, use you my to protect the weak. Yeah. That's a lot of damage. God weakness. damn. You claim such Dancer. power. Then I will test it. A bit much, actually. This is just what I need. Burn! You hit their weakness. Berserker! Don't let up now, Juna. Come forth, royal soul. Darkness! Captain? Oh no, it's Underestimate oh, a dragon at your it's peril. um, it's Yufa. She's the one that's weak to it. Ew. Yufa's frozen. Oh, souls of kings, give me like strength. This. I shall Start use out this. Out. Thanks. Thanks. Behold this power. Raging fire. No good. You could take a strength. Not about that. Fire. You hit their weakness. Um, no, why are you like this? Why are you like this, bro? Allow me. Take my fullest power. This should help. That helped. Thank you. Thanks. You claim such power. Then I will test it. This might be a good strategy. Sonic. Show them strength. Oh, are you kidding me? Such a they won't thing. hold back. Burn. Okay, we're okay. There truly is a gulf. I have a plan. Maybe. Come I forth, mm. Everyone, more, more defense, please. I can do this. Perhaps it's a if we all work together. I ask for your aid. Ooh, how much time is that? Okay, no, no, we're doing good. We're doing good. I like that. Who should I be? I'll stick. But I won't hold back. Fire! You hit their weakness. That's your opening, Captain. We can buy this power. Burn! I must concentrate. Okay, let's fucking go. I get out of here. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Did I, I crash the game? Oops. I see now the true strength of your will. You got some dragon stress in that too. Yeah, that was not. This is not how I was expecting it to go. I'm assuming that she's gonna die, by the way, because they want to lift the curse or something. But like, I'm just. This is a lot. <laughs> Well fought. You truly are strong. Strong enough to fend off a dragon from an age of destruction. Rella, 
For his highness, I will do what I must. Forgive me, but have you any last objections? As for the crowd I've enchanted, you needn't worry. That was no spell of control. They should have come to their senses a while back now. I'm so confused. Why did she make this whole scene then? What then, happened? Your life is now forfeit by my hand. Has she anything more to say? Sister, please tell me what happened on that day. I want to know everything. I was only 12. No child could so easily take a life in cold blood. I was confused, scared. I lost control. And the spell was cast. And so it became a wasting curse. Imperfect. Juna, do you remember how we talked of your dream? To become a singer whose voice could reach everyone in this land. I've changed my destiny through song, you said. You told me that as a Nydia, singing is the only truth you have. As a true-born heiress of the Cygnus family, in my eyes, you were like a shining beacon. You became my dream. Stop. We're not talking about that. I couldn't do anything for you. In you, I saw such freedom. I didn't want to lose you. So that day, I... Wait, what happened? What were they going to do? Oh, are we going back? What happened? Kill his highness. I, I can't. Have you gone mad? You do know how House Cygnus earned its position all these years, don't you? Everyone in your family did their part to handle similarly delicate affairs. Your father was no different. But I... To murder royalty, it's... Surely it's beyond all... Uh, did, did he threaten her sister or something? Oh, illegitimate no. Illegitimate mongrel of a boy. Now he's brought him to the castle. If we do not act now, one day we will be bending the knee to an Elden King. Moreover, of late, we have another nuisance rearing its head. Luis. An impious little upstart with no respect for the church. But his military merits are getting too great to ignore. Some are even saying he's fit for high command. As the matter stands, we have but one way to deal with both in a single stroke. Dispose of the mongrel prince and place the blame on Luis. Such a maneuver demands someone who can be a match for Luis in magical ability and physical stature. A girl of your intelligence can figure out the rest, I trust. <sighs> the king's heart falters. He has lost the will to keep the kingdom united. Look upon him and see the face of a man preparing to abdicate. It is amidst dissent and strife when the guiding hand of the church is needed most. And if Sanctism's enemies are not expunged, the nation's order will surely collapse. Yes, but even so, His Highness the Prince is guilty of nothing. To murder someone innocent, it is an unforgivable atrocity. If I recall, you have a sister, unrelated by blood, yet already they speak of her beauty and a most charming singing voice. Yes? What does Juna have to do with this? Rella, you are destined to lead your family in due course. Surely it's your responsibility to protect them from the grief of any personal tragedies. Or will you live the rest of your life Regretting a single night's lapse of judgment. Mm -hmm. Is he is he threatening her sister? I'm so confused right now. Maybe he was Cygnus implying that the upstanding house. of her house would have been in question My if she didn't do it, and that would have fucked her over. And only ever measured a person's worth by their magical prowess. I lived in disappointment. And then you entered our family. You became my hope for living. Someone more important than my own life. Sister. 
At the very least, I wanted to protect you. But in the end, I suppose this was the only way I ever managed it. I see. Saint Rella, the familiarity I felt from you, I... I finally understand what is unique about your Magla. You live as I once did. As someone who has spent her whole life preparing to die. When you all greeted me with Luis's formula in hand, I thought my heart might stop at the shock. I had always known someone might come asking one day, but I never thought it would be you, Juna. It felt like fate's hand, dealing my due punishment. That's why I'd kept an eye on you ever since then. To observe this seeker of the throne. This aspirant who possesses the lost power of the archetype. I hoped you could be the one with the power I've been seeking. Hey, yo. Oh my god, you backflipped into a volcano bones? God eyes. damn, Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, yo. That's one way to lurk. Enjoy your lurkies, BB. Um, I'll see ya. What do you mean? What do you mean? Luis is more of a threat than you know. Whatever his intentions are, I know he grasps at more than just the crown. After the assault on his highness, I was made to investigate Luis as a suspect. I touched his hand and read deeply into the flow of his magla. I'll never forget it. He didn't hesitate at all. I expected to see his aura, but it was more like a vision plunged into my mind. Pure and vivid and violent, choking me in its flow. Humans flooding the country. Innocents either fleeing or lost to madness. And amidst the chaos, I saw no throne, no castle. Huh? What? That must be his real vision for the world. A world overrun by humans? What does this mean? The man has been traveling the country doing little but slaying them, has he not? I yeah, but we also, details, we, it was also implied that he was helping to years, find a way to Luis create has been them. Clad in that same magla, unchanging. This is weird. If he becomes king, I know his vision will come true. This is really weird. Now that I think about it, they haven't really gone into it, but at the beginning of the game, they were implying that apparently Luis set a human upon the, like the, um, um, the first like dungeon castle that we did, it was like the trainee, the trainee castle. And I think that at one point they said like, oh, apparently he found a way to like either like bring the human there or he managed to find a way to create a human. I, I don't know what the fuck they meant by that. I, th I assumed it was like something weird with like the writing, but I'm not really sure what's going on here. This does make sense if he is creating them or something. So that's how it is. If you let yourself be killed for the prince's sake, you couldn't guarantee the survivors could stop Luis. That's even why you called that dragon to test us, isn't it? You wanted to see if we had the power to protect this land and all the meek in it. And you've proven you can. With that strength, I know you can do what I couldn't. I have no more regrets. Sister! Then I will put an end to this at last. For all who deserve the truth, I shall reveal everything. What are you going to do? I will speak to the congregation gathered in Alterberry. Indeed, it was for this purpose that I gathered them there. What? Then that magic you mixed in with your speech, the real reason you linked their minds with yours. All that's left is to strengthen the magic a bit with the power of this relic. And my words will reach Alterberry. Oh, she's doing it right now. Good people. Can you hear my voice? Dearest faithful, can you hear me? What's going on? There's a voice in my head. <laughs> a voice? I hear nothing. Yeah, I apologize for startling all of you. It is I, Rella Cygnus. Through magic, I speak directly to your minds. Saint Rella? Is every sanctist in the city hearing this? Amazing. That's some spell. 
We witnessed a boy candidate who claimed to be the prince. To ascertain the truth of his words, I faced him in mutual, voluntary battle. I now see with eyes unclouded. Good people, he is, without a doubt, his highness the prince. Now, there is something further you all must know. The truth of his highness's reported death, and the truth of the attempt on his life. Sanctifex Forden was indeed behind the plot to assassinate his highness. By this barbaric act, he sought to elevate the church and put the throne within his own grasp. These revelations are only mine to give because I was Forden's assassin. It was I who cast the curse upon his highness. Yet all was not lost. Through all these long years, his highness has endured the pain and now walks among his people once more. Sanctifex Forden was really the mastermind? What am I supposed to believe, oh God? Sanctist, faithful, she knows not what she speaks. Close your mind to her. Damn you, Rella. You would not just expose our secrets, but cast them into our people's very heads. Forden has Bro, already paid I hate religion. for his transgressions. <laughs> I fucking hate it. As for me, Video games makes religions so fucking sussy, bro. This final address to you all. For my sins against our nation and its people. And for willingly abetting such atrocities. I will soon join our Sanctifex in the beyond. Yet know this, dear faithful. You need not let your anxieties rule you. I have faced His Highness the Prince myself and known his heart. His Highness will accept us. With his strength, he will shelter the lost and weak and stand against Luis in our names. If all of you would believe, our country could be a place where all would thrive under a just king. I pray with all my heart that it will be so. Saint Rella. Was this your plan from the very beginning? Damn it! Cryer or not, I can't let her down. I've got a job to do. What became of my church? My faith? How can I go on without it? I am lost. I thought myself the unshakable defender of the Sanctus Church. But should it now collapse, I cannot see my path forward. Even I, then. I, too, am one of the weak that Rella fought for. Damn, girl. Everyone's just having, like, a whole epiphany now? Oh, my God. At last. He was a, he was an asshat, by the way. My and now he's, like, a little, a little bit better now. Juna. I'm sorry. I only ever meant to protect you, but in the end, you'll have it the hardest. Sister, please, you, tell me, what do I do? Basilio, tell me, what do I do? Lady Judah. Uh, and what happens to the faithful? They'll be crushed. You're their saint. You had just put their hearts at ease. What are you? I never wanted you to see it, but... Juna, look at this. What? Is, is it the scar on her back? What's left of my life is a price already claimed by my own curse. Oh, this is why she was in pain before Perhaps at the tavern, too. It was too cruel too. to ask for a quicker death at your hands. I leave Juna and this country in your hands. Uh, is she offing herself right now? What's happening? Rella! Uh, uh, Thank you, Juna. Your life and will was always your own. 
If only I could have lived with your freedom. I admire you. Please don't let this change you, dear sister. I just wish I'd had more time to watch over. You... Is he waking up? Oh my god, hello? The curse is gone. He's cured. I see. Oh my Which god. Rella is. Okay, but what ha what happens now? What do we do now? <laughs> Do we get to do we get to go look inside of the Mage Academy? I want to see what's inside. It's not such secrets we have. What am I doing? It's just like me and Dell. I never wanted her to go through this too. She did not strive merely to make amends. She was as much a protector as any of us. You're right. For her family, and for all Sanctism's faithful. Even as it cost her her own life. <sighs> Rella knew that she was linked by the curse to his victim, and her body paid that price. She must have known that she didn't have much longer. She really, truly wanted to guide those who looked to her. It wasn't about the church for her, it was about the people. She was the kind of sanctist others only pretended to be. I have a feeling that many of her congregation will continue to call her the saint. I only wish she had lived to see it. I'm with you there. She was stubborn, fussy, a bit odd, maybe. But she'd drop everything to help someone. And she'd do it with her whole heart in all the filth of that sullied house. She was the one brilliant flower that bloomed. That's who you were. And that's why I loved you, Rella. Are you all right? No, not in the slightest. But I know wallowing isn't going to fix anything. Brella's given us a lot. Not just the truth about Luis. She's put the entire Sanctus congregation's support behind His Highness the Prince. You. Indeed. You'll not have the whole nation on your side. But it won't be long before you've taken second place, just behind Luis himself. Saint Rella saved me. I owe her my life and I'm not gonna waste it. I'll fight with everything I have, right to the end. Save the prince's sorry, save the prince from death's curse, and in exchange for Rella's life, the prince's curse has finally been lifted. Bruh. What? <sighs> oh my god. Rella <laughs> like it's it's moving so fast. Oh my god. Rella, the cannon in second place has fallen. The believers who stood by her will likely transfer their support to the prince. Okay, but now we have to go find the prince, too. And were we not going into the Mage Academy? Are we not going to go find out what the truth of Igniter's was? Why are we hesitating? Why is the game not showing me? Rella's shocking news was delivered throughout the country by the crier's message birds and had even made its way to Grand Shred before the day's end. Saint Rella was the one who cursed the prince. And to take her own life in the name of atonement. Yet, even if she'd lived, she confessed to high treason. She'd have been executed either way. Has all I've believed in been lies? 
But didn't you hear the rest? That elder boy's the true prince. He survived. The king's true-born son's risen to take down Luis. It's like a proper myth. I've got to stand with him. Ladies and gentlemen, if I might have your attention for a moment. We actually received an urgent notice a short while ago. A letter from the candidate Luis. What is he In doing? Truth, I wasn't sure if we should read this to the public. But the criers have come to consensus. We must fulfill our duties. If this message is, is being, being read, read, it, it means, means that Rella is dead. And the boy who claims himself the prince has won. Now, only two aspirants remain with any real chance at the throne. The boy and myself. To all lessers who remain, lay down your arms and accept defeat with grace. Blind defiance will be met with death. Bear your teeth and you will die like the dogs you are. The boy or myself. Only one shall wear the crown. Sounds like he's throwing down a gauntlet, doesn't it? We need not wait for the former king's judgment to pass. Let us determine ourselves which of us is fit for rule. My proposal is this. On September the 24th, upon the grounds before the royal capital's grand cathedral, we oh. settle this in a contest of single combat, as okay. in our battle at the opera house. I see what's going on. I welcome any weapons, any number of adversaries. Collective power is its own achievement. Either way, you will die by my hand. But like, is he saying Thus that he, ha he has nobody helping him now? Like, I'm so Candidate confused. Is he all by himself with like fucking I Zorba? It. It's a duel. If Weird. If Luis the victor, we are surely doomed. I stand with the prince. Nobody can beat Count Luis. It's high past time he tore that so-called prince limb from limb. If he beats this Luis person, will he become king? Will he indeed? Reminds me of what my darling used to say. If you choose to fight, be ready when they fight back. I suppose it had to be this way. You can't fight a man for the throne without cutting a path to it first. Just come back alive. That's all we can hope for. This defies all reason! What has Rella done? Even in death, she finds a way to betray the church and raise that damned wealth! She always seemed so timid in these chambers. Had she been scheming against us from the beginning? We're not through yet. We must mm. find a worthy successor. Are they gonna get murdered right now? Yet another like, do they even do these characters even serve a purpose anymore? Yet, what chance do we have of winning now? Can anyone here conceive of someone as capable as Rella in winning the people's hearts? They say that even the monk Captain Godot is stepping down. There is no road forward where a Sanctus delegate can take the throne. Then what path remains? <laughs> He's like, what we do we do? We must take steps now to ensure that our positions cannot be eliminated, whether by Luis or the boy. Whoever wins, we must gird ourselves. If Luis has his way, he'd sooner have our hits than our titles. The methods don't matter as long as we have a plan. There's no going back when our hands are already steeped in blood. Strange to hear that said without a shred of guilt. But you're right. Survival is what matters now. I see. Yes, that seems to explain everything. Glad to hear His Highness is all right. Hardly feels real after all the muck we've waded through. But I suppose the fates take as much as they give. And you, my girl, how are you holding up? I'm all right. My mind's cleared a bit. Oh, sorry, still got to lie about it. But please don't act any different on my account. She put her trust in me. I can't afford to be weak now. I have a job to do. And I'm going to finish it. Right. Uh, understood. For now, tempting as it might be, best not to drop everything and make a dash for His Highness. Indeed. 
No doubt Luis has his eyes on us, waiting for such indiscretion. We must be patient and confront him face to face. As it happens, we were rather beaten to the punch. Just earlier, a delivery bird dropped by with urgent news from old Batley. Oh God, Apparently, Luis has thrust us a proper letter of challenge. It says he'll be waiting to face us on September 24th in front of the Grand Cathedral. Sounds like he wants this settled before an audience. If he's going all in here, maybe he'll finally tip his hand, show his trump card. Still got a trick up his sleeve, yeah, this has whole he? Thing is Luis sus. just doesn't go around hunting humans. He's been doing proper research, trying to figure out their powers and origin for ages. Don't know how much truth there is to it, but I heard he's developed some new magic art of his own. Something dark and secret. He's forged new magics. I'm still, I'm still waiting for them to like drop some kind of big bomb about somebody that like knows what happened with like the ancient race or whatever. I wasn't and, like, convinced the old city, when I first heard it. Mother sussiness. And now I've met you lot and I've seen all this messing about with waiting. archetypes. <laughs> it's in the back of my head. I'm well, still waiting. Nothing surprises me anymore. Indeed. Last time we had the element of surprise and he was wounded and we still barely had him. Didn't end up much of a decisive victory over the perfect Count Luis. If we fight the same way we did last time, he'll kill us all. This won't be an easy battle, but we've got to keep our heads up. We still have a grace period until the day he named. Let us use the time wisely and prepare all we can. Back at the Ultaberry Inn. Well, this is a surprise. I never expected to see your faces back in town. Not many would show up again after angering Master Godot and his monk army like he lot did. No. Hey, let's not sweat the details, mate. Yes. Saint Rella placed her trust in us, and she would see us protect all of those in this country, including the Sanctus Faithful, who are still the Prince, sorry, Prince's royal subjects. Right. Besides, the coward who flees the city to save his own hide would hardly be a worthy, sorry, be worthy of support. I beg your pardon. We would like to prepare for our confrontation before we jump back into the fray in Grand Trad. I apologize for imposing on you again. How many days do we get, though? I don't know. I feel like if they give us like 15 to 20 days or something, I'll be happy. Anything less than that, though? Mm, it's gonna be a little sussy. Well, never fear. I will not turn you over to the church. Not that, not that the monk army has its sights, sorry, sights on you to begin with. Master Godot has buried the hatchet, as it were. It says, it says it would be pointless to do otherwise. I mean, didn't he say that he gave up or something? He has like no more faith at all. Regardless, I am sure that you are all exhausted after what you've been right, through. Then. Please rest well. This is a tea here. <sighs> Everyone is dead tired. Oh my God! Rest up for. Wait, did they say the 24th? Hold on. What now? How many days is that? Mm. Oh, they haven't actually added it. I think they said September 24th, so that means that we would have 10, 10 days. Hey. Let's go ahead and talk to everyone and then um actually you know what? We're gonna we're, we'll keep going for another 30 minutes and then I have to take a break because I do have to go punch out of my work, sadly. And hopefully just I can take care of some stuff before I finish or whatever. Um, so just a heads up. Um, I don't think that her crimes were the reason that she helped us. You ask me, even if she had found me and Del that day, um, with her conscience clean, uh, she still would have saved us. It's just who she is. I never stopped worrying about everyone around her. And even at the end, we've got a cru sorry, we've got to crush Louise for her sake too. <sighs> I've never seen Jenna like that before. She's always been so bright eyed and cheery faced. I don't think that can I sorry, I don't think I can find the words to make her feel better, but I hope being there for her is some sort of comfort. <laughs> Though Rella was the prince's true assailant, she was but another victim of Forden's schemes. So focused was I upon my own failures that I could not see a foe before my very eyes. My carelessness leaves a bitter taste in my mouth. Well, to be to be fair, I mean like she was a twelve year old when she did this, right? Which is wild, by the way. That is crazy. <laughs> Rella did not deserve such cruelty then or now, forcing her to assassinate the prince and even threatening Juna's life to manipulate her, and all at the hands of the most virtuous man in the Sanctus Church. The truth is worse than the imagination of even those hardened cynic. I could never justify cursing the prince, yet had I been in Rella's situation, 
I shouldn't dwell on such fruitless thought. We must honor her wishes and settle things with Louise. Hey. If I had never been taken in by the Cygnus family, maybe Rella wouldn't have had gone through with it. It's not like me to at all dwell on it, and I know that we can't change the past, but I just can't stop considering all of these what-ifs. Oh my god, I feel, I feel so bad for her. Uh, oh, let me take a look she walks she here. Let me actually make sure that we have Basil uh, Basilio with his, uh, his thingy. Let me show right. that vigor. Um, actually, what if now? anything, hold on. If anything, oh no, I can't put it on him. Okay, maybe later, maybe later I can. If we could swap the one that we have on on the, main, the MC with him, then we could uh, be a little more efficient. Good night. Rest well. So what's going on? Do we have time, or like what's what's happening? Oh, excuse me. What is happening here? It seems that Moore has summoned me to academia. Oh, apologies. There is one thing I felt I should share with you. Like a good thing or a bad thing? Moore seems discouraged for some reason. some of our first conversations, where I described to you how I'm trapped here. I have no idea where in the world I am right now. Indeed, I cannot even remember how I was brought here. But you and your allies journey across the land. I had thought that by observing you, I might discover a kernel of those truths. I see. You thought maybe it was the Mage Academy. After all, it was a sanctuary of knowledge. Shuttered by persecution and isolated by wastes of snow. Nobody had gone near it in years. I mean, we still Indeed. haven't actually gone in. And that's not all. It's faint, but a deep memory stirs. I myself was involved in the founding of the Mage Academy. That's practically a sure bet, isn't it? Well, it seems the matter is not that simple. I saw all that befell you. The Ice Dragon, the Divine Relic, the magic that the Saint cast upon her people. If all these magical influences arose close to me, I would have sensed it. How could I miss them? Yet, I sensed nothing. It's as if time stands still. Not a single sound. Only deafening silence. Are you saying that the Mage Academy could be somewhere else? Somewhere else? Or huh? Perhaps I myself? My obsession with archetype research, our meeting, the turmoil that has engulfed this land, just maybe, they might all be connected. I feel that in pursuit of the archetypes, we may find the truth of your life and of mine. Why, watch One this actually turn out to be the Velvet Room. Is that from here on, <laughs> like there's something you like that will crazy. face more clashes between you and Luis. Clashes that power will decide. I aim to help as always. Show me what you might achieve beyond your gifts. My faith rests with you. Okay. Time marches on, and the age of a new king Bro, draws nearer. What? Okay. Oh, that's the time's finally come. Luis set the date for September 24th, and the royal capital is undoubtedly already in an uproar over well. things. Um, to be safe, we should aim to be in Grand Trad by the day before. Let us prepare for departure on the morning of September 23rd. Um. Things might not be as easy as, as it has been for us so far, and don't have the royal magic no more. Anyone can take a shot at use, and I mean anyone. Yes. You're right. We've got to remember that the candidates other than Luis might be gunning for us from here on out. Here. Prepare You've for the final the battle. Don't tell me that this is the final battle. Let's be ready what? For it. I need more time. I don't have all of my stuff unlocked. Ahead of my final battle with Luis, my adversary decreed by fate. I will want to prepare as best as I can and then make my way to Grand Trad where my supporters await. This can't be it. There, there's, there has to be more. 
You use your Skyrunner to fly to previously unreachable locations that we went? Hold on, hold on. The decisive battle against Louise. The final battle the final battle with Louise and Grand Tread approaches. Spend your time before um the designated day, making sure that you are fully prepared for the fight. Use your Skyrunner to fly to previously unreachable locations and brave new challenges, but be cautious of snow and inclement weather condition around Altaberry. Gather information in town about what powers Louise commands as an Archmage. All okay. right. We only have 10 days. And then... Interesting. So, so here's the thing, though. All right. So we're going to have quests. I'm assuming that we're going to be able to all right, then. run around and take a look at, like, all the other places, too. Go. Let me go ahead. We're going to go to the Gauntlet Runner and see if we can use the washroom. Love that. Uh, all uh, right. And then we have, like, what, like, 20 minutes or so before I have to go punch out. Right. So we should be good. Should I order food? Maybe. I'm considering it. I still have a lot of discounts on Uber. Maybe I'll order Subway again. I'll stuff that shit in the fridge. All right, let's go. No, 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 no. That's not what I want. Actually, hold on. Let me actually... Let's look at the map here really quickly because I do actually want to see if... um. They have other stuff open for us to travel to. Flying to dungeons. Now that your gauntlet runner is capable of flight, distant dungeons that would have taken days to reach take only a single day. However, if the dungeon, um, oh, if the dungeon isn't isn't in an open area, you cannot fly to it as the gauntlet runner would not be able to land. Um, wait, what? Can we go? Can we go here? I'm sorry, but I would still like to wait a bit before we go. Okay, so you know what? I'm That's... assuming that they might actually let us go here later. I'm 90% sure. Uh, Here's where we are now. There's also That's this place choice, here. I... This is, is the your... town, though. No. They said that it had to be like an open space? Wait a minute. Hold on. No. Did I just get debated? Did I get debated the entire game, you guys? Is this them basically telling us that if we had focused on leveling up all of our bonds instead of doing the other dungeons, we could have gone and done these dungeons in only a single day instead of having to worry about um, doing travel too? This is kind of sussy. I don't like that. That makes me nervous. Hmm. Okay, well, you know what? All right, then. That is very, very sussy. Let's go. Let's go ahead and um go grab all of these side quests here. We're gonna have to look at all the other places that we have to go to as well. Um is, is today Water's Day? What day is today? It's Arbor's Day. Let me take a look. We just missed Water's Day. Okay, so here's the thing. Um the next Water's Day, we're gonna go to, I believe, Brylehaven, and we're gonna see if we can buy um buy some items. Because apparently they have stuff that'll give you more, um, what do you call it? It'll give you more, uh, archetype experience as well. Oh, Luis doesn't even know you exist. I think that's the, not the greatest answer here. Are you the prince by chance? Does nobody recognize me after all this, this time? <sighs> now what am I to do? <sighs> I've been thinking about it myself, and you know, uh, but I'm not really used to doing all this thinking. I can't get my thoughts in order. I wish I could just skip town and put the whole thing from my mind, not that, not have to think about anything. Maybe I should lend an ear to Basilio, no, Basilio on our travels. Ooh. Maybe he'll actually let us um, unlock his thing. An Elda and a fairy traveling together? Wait, you're that prince that people have been talking about. All of my life, commoners like me have been little more than tools in the hands of, the, of you nobles and royalty. Curse you. You drag us into your wars, and you work us to the bone, and then you cast us aside. And just as just as I had found something lucrative, damn it all. Look, I don't know your life, but you're clearly struggling with something. Could you tell us about what's going on? Yeah, go for it. Spill your tea. Wait, so it's not a rumor? There's a prince going around helping people? Well, I'm sure that people like me uh, is near last on the list here. Well then. 
You're welcome to be suspicious, but can you at least tell us what's going on? I'm actually a craftsman. I used to be, I made that armor for soldiers or whatever, and these days I've decided to put my skills to blankets and clothing. Is it gonna be like a, like a secret, like, armor vendor or something? He just wants material. Yeah, 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 yeah. Durable spider silk. Are we gonna go milk some spiders? <laughs> You're gonna milk them for their silk? That's a choice. I Wait, they're sending me to... Oh, that's Let's weird. Help. I thought they would have given us like a dungeon. Damn yes, it hello. So Ford and my primary obstacle among the candidates is dead. What a fool. Relying on something so unstable as religion for support. My only constants in this world are power and military might. And I, Rudolph, leader of the Roussant, am the perfect candidate to demonstrate this truth. Only Luis manages to... Oh, what was that? That was weird. Oh, oh, tee -hee. Oh, thank you. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. Did you say that earlier? I'm so sorry, babe. You did another lurky. Thank you for the thank you for the lurkies. And also, yes, we have hit two hours, even though it feels like we've been here for 84 years, by the way. Don't know if that's just me. Um, I do not know what other tricks he holds up his sleeve, and thus before him I ought to crush those irritating minor candidates. Honestly. What is this guy's deal? He's upset that he can't measure up to Luis. Rest assured that he's also talking a lot, too. This is a lot. Rest assured that you, too, will be a part of my purge. Before I deal with Luis, I swear that I will send you to your grave. Indeed. Do I get to fight him? Can I smack him when? Pretty please. Dismissed. Wait, what? Oh, my. Are you serious? He wants me to go and fight him? Don't kill me. He said I'll give him. He's gonna give us a weapon. I will give you a weapon that is extremely effective against monsters. Ooh. I'm excited. This is why we have to talk to people. We must talk to everybody. Oh. Ooh. Oh. I think we got pretty much everything no, over here. We're going to go take a look over at the other side there. You, you little. Is he still drunk? Oh, he's here, that damn black-hearted prince. You might think that you're getting away with your wicked schemes, but I know all about that. I will crush you and put an end to your blast of villainy. Hey. Wait, what are you talking about? We've never done anything villainous in our you lives. Are? What's that? Still playing the innocent, are you? Grand suits me just fine. Next time we meet, I'm going to settle this once and for all, but I literally don't know who this person is. <laughs> now they're doing this. Oh my god, ew. Why do they all want to fight me? That's so rude. Tell me the weather. Wait, where do I want to check the weather? What are you talking about? What do you mean, bro? A village. My ta. I love it. Hey, you. I beg your pardon. Hmm. Oh my. Ta. Anything else we can buy, perhaps? Hello, old man. Hmm. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. What's over here? Did they open up a new shop? Are you the prince, perchance? No, that can't be. You're just a traveler, surely. Since you've come all of this way to visit, would you care to try our specialty vegetable steamed bun making experience? You can take home what you make for a promotional rate of a paltry three, wait, 3,000 re. Oh, yeah? Um, four? It's just steamed buns, right? Either the vitality boosting mushrooms, the, invi the invigorating bracken, or the refreshing mugwort that cures all ales. Wait, what? Um, do this one? Is this gonna give me like MP? Is that what they mean? I take my time gingerly wrapping the filling so that it does not tear. <laughs> Nicely done. A refreshing exactly. steamed bun. I want to see it. Let's open it up. And can I do that more than once a day, though? Hold on.
Where? Um, something steamed bun. I know it's hiding here somewhere. Hold on. Wait, what? Oh, here we go. Restores 100 MP to all allies. Oh my, oh my god. Ayo. Aww. You can only make one bun per day, bro. We're, we're going to have to come back here every single day just to make that same one. That is broken. Absolutely broken. And if we had um, a higher class merchant um, archetype on that does like the, the times two item item usage thing. Oh my god. Broken and just squashed him, bro. Oi. Do you want some water? Sure. Why you... Hello there. Hmm. We'll come back here later for that because I want a discount. Um, where can we right, go man. here? Let's go. Let's go up. Take a nice, nice little peek up here first. Is there someone I can talk to over there? Excuse me. Meow, 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 meow. Guess there's nothing to be done about. Ridiculous. Why you? We are out of options. The only way out of this is to slay Louise myself. And with that decided, I must head to the royal capital to do the dark deed. I mean, to be fair, I thought we were gonna go find him, but uh, okay. You want to take care of it for me? Go for it. Wait, you can't mean that you plan to fight him all by yourself. Don't be so reckless. An elder and a fairy. You must be that self uh, sorry, self-proclaimed prince. Don't attempt to stop me. It is too late to turn back. If Luis becomes king, then this country will turn into a living hell. One where my wife, my child, and my elderly parents will all be called. I guess, but... I mean, I get that, and we don't want it either. But getting yourself killed will not help. We are going to take care of Luis, so um, hold your position, soldier. Well, now, what are we on about? What proof do you have that you can accomplish such a mission? Your performance in the tournament was impressive, but it is hardly enough. My mind is set, so you'll have no luck trying to stop me. <laughs> uh, how do we prove it? Dungeon? Well... More dungeon? We're going to be risking our lives to stop you from risking yours. Lovely. <laughs> oh my god, ew. All right, tell us about the Xyocropos. North of Altavir... I don't even know how to pronounce that. There's a place called the Tower of Insolence. Oh my god, no, not another tower. Many fearsome monsters dwell there, but the Xyocropos is the greatest uh, uh, among them. Adventurers go, sorry, adventurers go there seeking fame or treasure, but they either never return or they come sprinting out with tears in their eyes and their tail between their legs. If you want to know the specific location or details about the monster, you should probably ask the informant. All right. Let's give it a shot. Get the bramble thorn baton. Ooh. Okay. Well. Ta. <laughs> I love it. <sighs> yeah. Leave it out, mate. The guard who used to be here has gone missing, apparently. Oh. Yeah. That's weird. I... <laughs> Amazing. Ha. In... What are we to do? <sighs> Look at all the town gossip. Amazing. I don't think we can... Can we go over this way? Mm, interesting. It's dangerous to ride a sword like that. Don't tell me how to live my life. What's over here? Oh, it's that guy there. Uh, let me talk to him just in case. No, is he just going to send me back? That's rude. alive sir i think you need you need some help mm, let's right, see then. where did we go before <sighs> there's no actual shortcut down here i have to go all the way back down to nowhere la 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 God. Oh, dreadful. 
Oh, just a heads up, guys. We're going to be taking a break in about five minutes. Um, oh, I can see. Oh, my God. Jester, hey, babe. Welcome in. How are you doing? Are you feeling tired today? I did, like, a little bit of work today, and I've been avoiding my work after the fact. So, wait, what the fuck? Why is this guy up here? What the heck? All right, then. I'm going to go talk to him after. I see that he's up there trying to do a debate there. Um, by the way, technically, you came in right when I think all the major spoilers have gone through. So I don't huh? think that you'll be spoiled for a while. Hopefully, there are no specific things that I can think of that'll be spoiled. Oh, God. Who do I want to talk right, to, though? I had a long drive today. I had a bit of work. I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, I'm just trying not to think about think about work anymore. Like for real. You know what I mean? Um, but I will say this. I actually had a relatively good day today. Um, I actually worked out a lot of things with my my HR as well as my supervisor. So luckily. Um, I don't really have to worry too much about anything for at least, like, I think two or three more months. So my schedule apparently is actually not going to change for at least two more months. Um, and then I think it's, like, middle of January, they're going to have us doing our training. So I've heard that my team is actually not really changing what they're doing. They're just getting more, um, more training, which is a good thing. If I had to, like, take calls and, like, other shit again, I would have been pissed. It's still some really hot garbage. It really is. You know, and honestly, like, I told them, as long as I can do uh, switch shifts or whatever, then, like, I don't Listen. really care, but... Well, no, think of, think of it this way. It is... It still fucking sucks, because I don't want anything to change either. I don't think anyone does. Mm -mm. Um, But it's one of those things where, like, I'm just happy because it me. might not actually affect me as much as I thought it would. Also, Bones, thank you for giving him a shout-out. Uh, Jester, can you, um, can you do me a favor? Can you give Bones a shout-out as well? I know that he doesn't like giving himself shout-outs. That's you softly. Huh. Oh, very nice. All right now. Thank you, baby. Wow, Bones is playing Throne and Liberty. Ooh. I wish it were me. I still haven't touched that game. I don't know if I want to. It scares me. That's like a whole commitment. Meow, 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 meow. Oh, by the way, um, story-wise, the story has gone in directions that I literally just never expected. I don't know how to describe it without spoiling it, so I will just let you do your thing. But, like, when you when you see what happens in the story, you're just going to sit there and be like, I literally had no idea this was going to happen. Like, this is a teehee. I don't touch MMO games anymore. They're just too sus. It's a good thing, yeah. No, it's a good thing. And we're still waiting for, yeah. I'm assuming that there's going to be major plot bombs soon because like oh, they've been like lightly glossing over other things and they're still not going yeah. into um, some other stuff yet, but I, I know that they're going to. They've been alluding to it, so I'm, oh. I'm big prey. <laughs> oh, what time is it right now? 16? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I think I'm too cheap for two more yeah. minutes. Uh, God, they want to talk right. to us, but I don't want to. Let me go, um... We were this way, they were there, there. Let's do... Let's, let's do over here. I'm really curious to see if they'll do continuations of this game with Persona and SMT. Um, can you actually do me a favor? If anyone wants to Google, um, to see what the, the director, or like the, um... I think it was the director stated about this game. Apparently, they were considering, I think after two weeks after release, they were already considering like making another project for Metaphor or something, or Refantasy. Um, that's what I heard. I heard something about that. So it might actually be going um, according to plan. They might be making another one. Um, but I was gonna say, um, I think they're probably, I think they're probably gonna focus on Persona 6 now. I'm sure you would agree. I mean, like, that's the only the only other thing that people are really thinking about right now is probably Persona 6. So I think after that game comes out, they're probably going to announce, like, other projects. But apparently they were working on, I think, three or four more other things. I just don't know if there's side projects. That's the only thing. 
maybe they're making like a, a just a just dance game or something maybe they're making a metaphor re fantasio um re light up your night or something metaphor re dance <laughs> i don't know something fucking weird bro imagine they have like a crossover dancing game where like smt characters persona and metaphor characters are just like just like literally going hard that'd be fucking crazy Ooh, does he have oh, something there. to say? The, mono the monolith appears to be regaining some of its former luster. I do hope that this portends to good things to come. That's weird. Why is it getting shinier? Why? That's suspicious. Let's see here. I think I've talked to almost everybody here. Let's go ahead and look at some of the other cities before we do anything. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Anyone? Show me the contract, sir. Oh my God, no, is that a fucking chimera again? Oh. That. No. I don't like that. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, chimeras and liches are like some of the sussiest enemies that I've had to fight so far in the game. Let's do it. Not about that. Where's that going? The Everfrost Here's Forest. Oh. All right, cute. Let me go ahead and right. take a look at um any other questies here. I don't think I see anything else. Where to? Let's go. Let me turn this in. What are they aiming to turn in here? What is this? The heat is trying, but tis the gods. It just will. says that he's really unclear with future endeavors, but he seems open to the idea. I mean, but here's the thing that they said that they what wanted this do? to be another pillar. So like, are they going to end up like having another director like jump in and take over? Have, have they done that? For, I'm assuming it's for other Persona games and like SMT. I'm assuming they give like other people the opportunity to like direct the games or whatever, right? That would kind of make sense. Wait, why is she wanting to talk to me? Why don't you stop that? What does she want? Oh, welcome back. My sister has returned safely just before you arrived. What? What? She got here awfully fast. She's quite familiar with the currents and the swirl around these seas. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to skip this. <laughs> She's weird. The director from the Persona games is the director of this game now. I wonder if... Like is is he like taking over metaphor like altogether or is he did they did they, did they say if he right. was technically going back as persona? Hey. Is this he here? The heat is trying. I take a look at our quest. Warmth in the winter, proof of power. Okay, I see what's going on here. <laughs> He left the Persona series in search of a new idea, and thus Metaphor was born. Oh, then you know what? Then um, he's probably yeah, he's probably giving um giving his like actual like lead over to somebody else. I'm assuming at some point so that he can like work on other things. Thus is life. You can't have someone working on the same series their entire life. So apparently, the bigger face on the rock, the more qualified the candidate. Your face is finally showing up nice and clear now. Nice. We all believe in him. All right, then. Hmm? It... For sure, I just hope Persona 6 we is so amazing. I mean, I, I know it'll be good. I, I feel like I feel like if they're going to make Persona 6, though, I, I want them to... I, I, don't, I don't want them to necessarily keep it, like, super, super fresh. I just want them to, like, still kind of, like... I, I, wa I want them to make the game good, but at the same time, though, I also want them to, like, look at their roots and, like, maybe even throw, like, callbacks to, like, maybe, I don't know, maybe, like, Persona 1 or 2 or something. I know that technically all the Persona games are, like, their they're only, like, background lore is, like, the other Persona games. They don't actually talk about the other events and the other games, I think, technically, except for, like, the first two. Um, I just kind of wish that, like, Persona would kind of just, like, I don't know... You like go go back to the past like Sam Samurai Jack you feel me like just kind of I don't know bring some old characters back again 
I want to see rec I want to see like the occasional recurring character. I want to see somebody from like another game like just accidentally <gasps> jump in and become a party member and you're just kind of sitting there just like what the hell is that? Like Super superior mossy curio. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. It would be amazing. Yeah. It's it's one of those things where like be. honestly like we've we've had like um like if you look at like SMT like they technically have like a sort of continuing story in that game but Persona is like it's just like oh new new gang of high schoolers bruh <laughs> and just like it's just high school all over again. Um, I would really wish that they would actually I don't know just like give more to the overall story if that makes sense. <laughs> Yeah, just throw away Teddy and Morgana, please. Yeah, I don't want to see another spin-off with them. I'm going to be honest with you. I think we've seen enough. Uh, I'm trying really hard to find... Is it this person? There's somebody here who is apparently supposed to do magic? Am I wrong? I don't see them. Yeah, I feel like I'm... I guess I'm being jabated here. That's a teehee. All right, then. Where to? Go and take your break. Oh, yeah, 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 teehee. Okay, hold on. Um, Yeah, let me go take my break. We're just going to take five minutes, and then I'm going to take a look at my phone and see if I can order foodies. I really want Subway, but at the same time, though, if I order Subway, it's going to look really fucking sussy if I try to eat it. So maybe I'll get KFC. I think I'll get KFC or something. All right, babes, we will be right back. Thank you everyone for being here. Um, luckily, I don't think anyone really got spoiled on the story today. Y'all, congratulations. So proud of you. Um, let's go ahead and take a break. And when we come back, I'm gonna quickly run through um, all the areas here. Hapless Jester has dropped everything to stare at an impressive fountain. Oh my God, that's so hot. Wow. Was that a Fantasy Star 4 reference? Was that, was, was that what it was? Ayo. I have to move this video, otherwise it's gonna fucking, it's gonna fucking destroy me. There we go. Okay. So we were gonna take a look at all the other places to request, uh, just in case, but I don't think there are any. Lucky us. Um. Oh, right. oh my god, we have to, oh shit, we have to read stuff too, I forgot about that. We have so much lore that we have to read up on. Go. Um, oh. Let me... Where to? Let me read... Uh, I'm sorry, Mart Martira Castle. We want to take a look here, too. Hold on. Um... You know, apparently we're okay. Where to? Mm, nothing else over here, either. We have to remember to come here at nighttime to go talk to the, uh, that guy. Because apparently we forgot to do that, too. That's T here. Where do we want to go here? Uh, was go. it this one? I have to remember to, um, we have to come back hmm. here when it is water stain. Maybe rejuvenation bell. Talk? Sure. Is that for HP or MP? <laughs> the tea. <laughs> All right, then. I think we I think we did everything. Okay, let me. Where to? Yeah, let me go back here and let's go back to. Uh, we wanted to go to the thing. Let's go. Here we go. We're gonna we're gonna go debate somebody, and then I think what we'll do is um I'm gonna read. Lady Rella. We're gonna read lore. <sighs> you know, have no idea. Check this out. Ah, oh, Will, you've come at just the right moment. Would you care to partake in a debate what? with me? I get the feeling that this guy just wants to one-up you for the publicity. Let's send him home crying. Um, sure. Hey there. Yeah, go for it. Salutations. From what I've seen of your efforts to this point, your actions seem utterly haphazard. How long will you repeat these fanciful escapist promises? You know as well as I do, sorry, as well as I, that what this country needs is consistency, con concrete measures that will last a century. Allow me to explain in terms even an ignorant child could comprehend. Open if your ears true. now. Let us first recall that all resources are limited. Food, fuel, and magic are precious and natural commodities, of, after all. 
Under my enlightened leadership, measures will be taken to preserve all intelligent beings. I would limit hunting to ensure the survival of local fauna. The preservation of such diversity will lead to prosperity 100 years from now, and that is the ideal nation in my, my mind's eye. Unlike those adults who can only see short-term profits, Julian's a true genius. Wait, limit hunting? Does this pompous fool think that animals are more important than keeping the people fed? <sighs> Julian is playing to the scholarly minded. How should I appeal to them? I was going to say, um, the present day also matters too. Makes sense. And besides, no. Tribal discrimination, poverty, and these matters are trivial. By my projections, these issues will simply sort themselves out over the course of the next century. We don't have a hundred years to wait. We need help today. What Will says isn't realistic either, but maybe we would also see results faster than Julian. Why not both? Why aren't they saying like, oh, either one or the other? Just do both. Like, hello? Sir? I knew it! You did great in that debate. The other candidate uh, will be studying that loss for years. Oh my god, get dunked on. That's what I'm talking about. Works for me. This experience seems to have honed your eloquence and imagination. All right. Oh my jeez. Do we just almost get maxed out there? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. All right. So the real question here, though, is how do I level up all the other stuff? Because I feel like we're running out of time. I don't know how this is going to work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right. It's nighttime. Do I have someone that we can talk to? Mm. I just hope it's going okay. Katharina comes to mind. Maybe I should go and talk with her. Oh my god, is she here? Oh, close your eyes. Girl. No, I'm in. Oh, the giant of the Tower of Insolence, Luis is finding cell. Ooh. <laughs> Ice attacks are ineffective. Fire world work against Sam. Keep this. Yeah. If your enemies protect themselves against fire, then you may want to rely on attacks that are not constrained to an affinity, like Megiddo. There's a person stalking the area. They do not appear to be stranded, so who knows what they are doing out there. <laughs> Wait, what? Are we going to bump into somebody when we go there? Hmm. Huh. If it's the last one standing, things Keep will get dire, so it's going to get spicy. Bows and spears should be effective. <laughs> oh, wait, what's that? Oh. oh wait, place. did they just... They gave me one, two, three. So we have three things that we have to do there. <laughs> so you want to know about Luis? Well, I suppose it is time for you to finally... Sorry, finally fight him face to face. But frankly, I don't think that you can best him. Then again, I have no reason to go out of my way to stop you either. Not only is he skilled with a sword, he is a mage capable of advanced magic and curses. Keep this to yourself. He can use four types of magic, fire, ice, light, uh, sorry, electric, and wind. And I have heard that he can imbue his sword with them. On top of that, his keen eyes can detect his opponent's weaknesses, allow him even the, op sorry, the slightest opening, and he will capitalize on it. One more thing, I have also heard whispers that he wields some kind of unknown and monstrous power. Little is known about it beyond that it is immensely strong. You really should think twice about whether you truly want to fight him. Interesting. Oh, Young man, hey. Watch him like be able to use like Megadolion or something. I think I'd be so mad. Pleased to hear that. Oh? I want to hear Let all three. <laughs> Well, isn't this a dilemma? Young man. Then. Please Another to one. hear that. Oh, let. <laughs> well, isn't this a dilemma? Oh, close your eyes. I'm in trouble. Oh, that that's it. Oh, I'm oh. in trouble. Oh, <laughs> Oh yeah, they talked about a hot spring being here too. All right then. Hmm. Um, can I talk to somebody here? Juna or Katharina? I'm not gonna lie, I do want to talk to Katharina, 
But... I don't know. I, I feel like it might be a good idea to go talk to Juna. At the very <laughs> least, we can get everybody else up here first. Let's go talk to her. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold right, on. Then. Uh... Where to? We need to go to Brylehaven if they have the thing here. Let's oh, they go. do. Okay. I just want to talk to him really quickly because he uh, he bet me some money that I would uh, not move up in the tourney. I'm just blast this heat. Say. Well then. Wait, did I not make it? What? Say. That's rude. All right then. Okay, I'm mad. Let's go. Yeah, that's rude as fuck. I thought I would have won that. Or maybe maybe we came back too late. Maybe that was a thing. Hey. Thanks. Nice. Oh, the air of a coastal town is simply divine, and so is the shopping for that matter. What you going to buy? Oh, huh. oh, would you like the whole list? Clothes and perfume to start. A lady has expenses. Oh my god, wish it were me. <laughs> wish I could be like that. The runner is sorely lacking in amenities, and if I'm frank, it stinks of sweat. Then. So shall we, oh captain? Seeing as you're tagging along, I shall require both escort and porter duties of you. Miss, aren't you the real Lady Juna? Would you sing a song for me? Yep. Of course, just for you. Let us greet the rising dawn, hand in hand. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da. Thank you! Just like, imagine she like breaks down and she starts singing like fucking end to the beat or something. <laughs> Yo. You're so pretty, Juna. I hope that I can do it as well as you someday. <laughs> Wait, is she is she a Nydia? I can't tell. Hmm? Huh? What? Why the face? I can be plenty nice, you know. That little girl was Nydia, just like me. Oh, I was right. I could tell by the way her eyes were. Was that really about sure. singing? Hold on. Um. Well, I mean, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. We Nydia have some secret stuff going on. <laughs> People have no shortage of opinions about the Nydia. We are friendly liars, voracious cowards, and streetwise swindlers. They say that we can true sorry, conceal our true ugly faces behind beautiful transformative masks. Almost makes you want to burst out laughing, doesn't it? Living on the fringe is hardly a life at all, so we work hard to fit in. We train at it. That is the Nydia's secret. I'm sure that girl's life is no picnic, but I saw her eyes sparkle as she listened to me sing. <laughs> If for even a fleeting moment I can lift the heart of a child putting her best foot forward, then I will gladly sing mine out. Oi! Hey, did you see the song stress? Where? Let's go find her. What? Oh no, they're fine. They're trying to they're trying to hunt me down. Is the entire town out for me right now? Oh, oh my god. The rumors were true. Her how fortune smiles. What? What is going on? Are they gonna ask her to do something for them? Do you think we're safe here? I only got through without getting noticed thanks to you. I'm so glad that you were here, truly. Greetings. I do apologize, but are you perhaps the Lady Juna? My name is Capra. I'm a merchant of textiles in this city. Might I have a moment of your time? And then... You see, we owe our prosperity to our laborers, and as such, we thank them with a festival in their honor once a year. I have the fortune of being in charge of this year's festivities. And I would very much like to gr make it a grand celebration. Ah. And you would like me to sing, I take it? Yes, just so. Although our coffers are not so deep as the church, we would pay you. Yep. Oh, let us not quibble. I will do it. I'm sorry. Sorry, I should have run that by you, but I would like to take him up on that offer. It should be fine as long as I don't delay, won't it? Right. Thank you. I think it is wonderful that this sorry, wonderful that this festival is dedicated to the working class. I will pour everything that I have into making it a memorable performance. 
And as for you, I will make sure that you have a front row seat, as my reliable escort porter and captain should. I can sense Juna's pride as a songstress and her deep trust in me. <laughs> Things have gotten fun. Ooh, triumphant him. After battle, all, power, all party members recover a little bit of MP. Wait, what? Oh my god, that's so good! <laughs> oh, but um, I'm afraid that this... Sorry, that has quite extended my shopping list. Let no expense be spared for the festival. That is a tea. Damn, if I had known beforehand, I would have I would have tried to get more of her stuff done. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Oh my god, it's Metal Z. Ayo. There is a letter and a package from Garden. I wish I could do more, but for now, this will have to do. Stay safe. Come to think of it. I can hear a voice. Can it be? How did it come to this? Barding comes to mind. Yeah. Now oh, more. Mm. All right, then. What did we want to do? I think we wanted to do. Mm. What now? We have nine days left here. Let me just go All ahead. Right. We're gonna go to Brylehaven. Where to? Let's take a go. look at that one shot. And then after that, I think we're gonna go to we're gonna go we'll, we'll go and talk to Barden. We have time. I think. Maybe. Alright then. Let's go. That there? No, Great. That is a menacing sky. Can we talk? It's a night bracelet. What is Crazy. these? Whoa. Hello? Can we talk? <laughs> what now? Oh, it's okay. I see. I see. A plus the strength. Six All right. strength. Let's go do, um, a oh, one. No, you know what? Yeah, let's do let's do you fan. As you What I'm We came to the front of a tavern, having heard that Hyperic was lingering there. Well now um... After Hyperic, what are you doing at a tavern? Why I've come to pick up Avi. She helps me out here from time to time. You know... They told me lots of nice things today, for the first time ever. They said that I danced really good in front of the customers. What what kind of what kind of dancing is this mouse child doing in front of customers? Excuse me? This is kinda of sussy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, that's the Sasha this the the Sasha potato fucking emo. Let's fucking go. Can you teach it to me someday? <laughs> well, of course. Um Teach me too. Well then. Yes, of course. The first thing is to clear your mind and steady your spirit. Mr. Hyperic, I want to practice a bunch and then show Mama. Oh, you may, so long as your prayers are never neglected. Don't tell her, don't tell this child how to live their life. Now then, this visit indicates that you would like to learn more of sanctism, yes? How much do you know about our normal faith, might I ask? Um, just the basics. <sighs> In Sanctism, we receive divine teachings from God, and we follow the will of the Almighty God and offer him our prayers, with a selfless heart, that is. I see. A selfless heart? Well, that idea sounds quite different from the Dragon God faith. We aspire to take the hands of our gods and our own to confront difficulties and yet fight beside them with our own strength, such, as our, such are our teachings. Mm. I see. While that is an intriguing belief, what of those who haven't the strength to fight? The children and the elderly are infirm. I'm so excited, by the way. Just for my food is on my way. What did you get? I, I was literally, I was literally about to fucking say, I'm so excited for that food, bro. Um, what did you get from the KFC? Mm, I got a Zinger Spicy Twister, which I made a combo. Um, and then I have two other twisters, just the regular ones. If you know what those ones are, it's like um, 
So basically the zinger one, they give you like spicy, spicy sauce, um, which is actually pretty good. I don't like having too much of it though, because it's going to kill me. Um, the other ones though, the regular twisters, they have, um, it's kind of like, um, peppercorn ranch. It's like a ranch sauce. It's really good. I'm not going to lie. Probably not super healthy for me, but I mean, I mean, it's a delicious, it is delicious. Oh. oh, it is time to go and visit Mama. Mr. Hyperic and Yufa, can we go, can we do this at the, do this talk at the church? Let's go. I think, and basically it's like a zinger, like it's supposed to like hit you. It's like a, like a pow, oh. pow zinger. It's supposed to have a kick to it. Like it's like spicy. Pardon me, Sanctor Hyperic, but what kind of illness is Avi's mother afflicted with? Your concern touches my heart and you are a kind person, Miss Yufa. Oh, well, it's just, why well, I lost both of my parents when I was around Avi's age. Yufa, are you and Will going to, um, co um, to convert? Indeed. Oh, I think you mean convert? If you ever wish to do so, we would gladly accept you into our faith, unless you find our prayers meaningless. Um... Oh, no, that's not what I... Uh... We can decide our own faith, but nothing is for certain anyway. Well, I see. That is unfortunate to hear. Then I hope that this won't be the end of our discussions. We all live with anxiety in our hearts, and it is through sanctism that we can find salvation. I simply want you to keep that in mind. Spicy chimkin, yeah. Yum yum chimkin. Del delicious. Oh. Thinking about it is going to make me mouth water, by the way. Satihi. Wait, what was that? Wait, what happened? Uh, uh. Oh, it was nothing more than a breeze. Now then, I hate to uh, cut this short, but um, I am needed elsewhere. Oh, all right. Well, thank you very much for your time. That was the most suspicious fucking moaning I've ever heard. See very you sussy. Yufa, teach me how to dance next time, okay? No. Well, that was unexpected. Converting was never so much a, th a thought that I had. Sure. I doubt it really comes to mind often. Oh, but no. They must have assumed that my visit to their church indicated a wish to convert. Just the breeze. Mm, mm, uh, yeah, just the breeze. Yeah, for real. <laughs> There's probably someone fucking shitting into a bedpan in there, and he's just like, yeah, that's fine. Nothing weird going on in there. I don't think that Hyperic was wrong when he said that all we have, that we all have spiritual anxiety. We yearn for something that we can depend on, and for some, that is sanctism. I feel like I better understand, you know, it's really crazy, by the way, the fact that, like, they talk about these things and, like, we've played, we've played SMT and Persona, like, we know that, like, they've gone into these, like, topics before. I find it really interesting that literally everyone in this world has some kind of anxiety. Either they want to be, like, led by the church or they want to be, like, I don't know, they want to be, like, comforted or something by, like, the people around them. Like, I just find it very interesting that, like, there's still the same things that we would have had to deal with and the other games, it's all here. It's like openly there too. You gave me the courage to expose myself to a new, to new and unfamiliar things. So now I want to see and learn more about the world, but I also want you to be by my side. Sorry, I want to be by your side, Will. Ooh, can we shake each other's hands again? I can sense Yufa's desire to grow as a person as well as her deep trust in me. I see it is my turn to test my metal. Ah, okay, to here. They always, yeah, Alice always finds, seems to find, like they, like they find it, yeah, they find a way to put like stuff like that in their games, like, yeah, like real world problems. I agree. They always find a way to stuff that shit in somehow. Ah, ah. I'm not sure that that is the wind. And there's that smell again. Is someone actually shitting themselves right now? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but my head is suddenly hurting. <sighs> Let us come back here to investigate later. There is something about this place which makes me feel so ill at ease. This is sussy. As we headed back to the group, I worried that Yufa seemed a little bit unwell. He's very sensitive to Magla, apparently. So maybe there's something going on with that patient. Or Ovi's mom. <sighs> they always do a really good, good job with it, too. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, like, like for the most part, yes. I think that, um, I think that, like, 
out of all of the Persona games, the only one that I didn't really vibe with as much was probably just like base game Persona 5. Um, but like Royal fixed that. We, we've talked about this before. This is not news. Um, it's one of those things where like, I think that like they usually handle the topics very well. Um, there's just like the, the, the rare occurrence where it just feels like maybe, maybe like they don't. You know what I mean? That's pretty much it though. Just that one game. I don't think there's like any other S and T games that I can think of caution. that maybe like maybe didn't handle it super well. I want to say like S M T four, I think is a good game, but I feel like that the story for S M T four was kind of like very weird. Now what am I to um, do? And I feel like they have fixed a lot of things in Apocalypse, at least for that game. Yeah, I it's it's one of those things. Like I guess maybe for me, maybe like the preference of it is like what I didn't like. Like I didn't I didn't like the game. And like it's talk of like the corrupt world because at the end of the day i mean like it is what it is you know what i mean like them putting so much focus on that was kind of like iffy to me um whereas in royal they like took that and then they completely like flipped it on its head and turned it into something else at the end which i really liked i, I thought it was really cool all right um can i talk to somebody tonight oh we can actually talk to Catherine. all right I just hope it's going okay. Yeah, babe. Let's go say hi to her. Ah. Oh my god, no, I spilled my fucking amp drink all over my shirt. Oh no. Oh my god, no one I'm all amped up now. I think I vibed with it a bit more because America is like amongst like some of the most corrupt shit. That is true. That is true. I feel like at least with Canada, you don't really feel it as much except for like more recently. Like things have been kind of weird, okay. but for the most part, Canada has been pretty chill. So I, I, I agree with you. I feel like actually like being in that environment and actually feeling it and understanding it definitely makes it a little easier to swallow as well. It's a tea here. Why is she so From depressed? Why why is Catherine so depressed, bro? I want to pet her. I want to tell her everything's going to be okay. So. I told my supporters that I was dropping out of the race for the crown, and they were understanding about it. But some of, the, some of them sure do like to run wild, hunting down the rich and raking in money, I've heard. Oh my god, they're, ki they're kidnapping people and carrying them off to the woods, holding them for ransom, and not just the nobles, but merchants too. Mm. Manaho is the one spurring it all on. He's also, I think he's the one that told her to run. That's a tee -hee. He's always been the clever one. I just wish that I could do something, being that it is my fault and all. What's that about it? Well, I suppose it is kind of your fault. As for me, <laughs> yeah, bro, I... That, I didn't mean to say it like that. Oh no. I, I was trying to I was trying to say like take responsibility like just do something I think I made her more sad oops I'm the one who planted all of those rotten ideas in their heads and now they're treating petty, petty robbery like some political accomplishment I imagine I accidentally say the wrong thing and I make somebody fucking off themselves couldn't be me making all the wrong dialogue choices oh my god Jester I don't think you were here for it earlier but I'm so fucking excited like um when you end up meeting Alonzo, he's like the the Nidia character with like the really pretty blue hair. Um, his story is wild, crazy even. The truth is, a long time ago, back when I was a, a little dustbin, there was this old therapist man who gave me a little cash, even though he was probably just as poor as me. Most people would run to a market and buy food before someone else stole that money, but not me. I bought a dagger. I'm like, whoa. That was all I needed to run away from the village. I was following the Parapus code to defend yourself, even if you're alone. Mm -hmm. I hunted animals in the mountains to survive, but my dagger broke, and that's when I started using my fists. Bounty hunting came natural after that. I got hurt a lot, and then some of those wounds should have killed me. But I tell you, I wasn't ever going to go back to the days of getting used. But... I came back to the village just one time. Oh my god, my sinus is growing. Fucking up. Brian, hold on. This shit just doesn't go away. This is like after COVID. It actually kills me. I, I hate fucking getting cold. Hold on.
as a Teehee. Oh, I just hope that I can find some extra time to play it soon. Things are moving forward pretty quickly now as far as uh, moving out, it seems. Oh, did you end up finding, um, did you find a really good place uh, for you and your dad now? Are you guys going to be okay now? What? Did he also leave for the mountains too? <laughs> he was dead on the side of the road. Like he just got dumped there. Oh, oh, okay. Wow. Hey, yo. They said that he, they, sorry, they said that he had left to find work and the job was to be a test subject for igniters. Bro, oh my god, literally this shit again. I'm literally, I'm, I'm patiently waiting for them to drop a huge pop bomb or something. I'm, I'm here for it. Let's go. I think that we found somewhere, but I'll have to start packing stuff up soon. Oh, and you know what? If you have to pack up your stuff too, I'm assuming that your, um, all your important stuff, like your computer and all that other stuff is going to be, um, packed up soon too, so... You're going to be stuck on your phone for a while, I'm assuming. The only reason that he wanted the money, though, was to give it away. So I was told. I guess that's just who he was. Damn it. That's the kind of thing that I'm trying to put an end to. It's by my only goal, if I'm honest. Listen. There are still things that you can do. <sighs> well, maybe, but... How can I make her see? Oh, right. The novel, the novel had a section on this topic. I consider my my PC pretty essential to keep running for now. Are you gonna end up like keeping it uh keeping it out of the box for a long time? My dad thinks it is too. So <laughs> you're you're just like you're like everybody needs my computer. Ayo, no, I feel you. I feel you. Huh? I remember when I had to move to Edmonton. Um, I had. Oh my god, I had a whole conversation with my family, and I was like, please do not wrap up um my computer. Do not do not wrap up my computer, uh, my my TV right away either, because I was using that as my like my monitor at the time. I didn't actually have a computer uh, computer monitor, um, and I remember I went away on vacation, and I came back home. This was like a week before we were moving, and I come back home and everything was fucking saran wrapped, and I was pissed. I literally couldn't do anything except for go on my phone for like a good like five or six days, and then when I came over to Edmonton, I had to wait for everything to get shipped over too. So I basically sat there and I couldn't do anything for almost a month. I lived a whole month of my life with no computer and like no television. Um, it was like a whole fucking thing. Disgusting. Never again. Next time I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure that they fucking ship that sh they ship that shit with fucking express delivery. Never again. The world is only made equal through everyone's effort and cooperation. I like the sound of that. It is the kind of world that I want to live in. I'm really sad that she's not a party member, by the way. I was kind of expecting her to be one. Because she's giving she's giving main character vibes a little bit. You don't even need to ask. I already know what you're thinking. Are you serious? Do you? Your fancy magic include mind reading? No, she just dumb. Dumb people are easy to read. <laughs> Bruh. I wanna stop Manny Ho though. Will you go with me? Oof. Thankfully, thankfully, if we move to where we were talking about, it's only like 25 minutes away. Oh, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. You can probably take almost everything with you, um, except for like the really big stuff. I can sense Katharina's determination as well as her strong faith in me. I expected no less of Item tracking. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I feel like I, if I ever want to move somewhere in the future, I would kind of rather to move probably mm, either like a really nice condo building so that I don't actually have to worry about like cleaning up more than like a single floor or two at most. Um, or I'd probably want to end up moving somewhere tropical, you know? I want those retirement vibes. Also, what did she say? Is it see here? Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Condos are very expensive, though. I mean, technically, yes, but here's the thing. You have to remember, too, the maintenance fee. If you're paying, like, other fees when you buy a home, mortgage or, like, other stuff or whatever, it depends. I mean, technically, you, you I, I, like, I don't know. It depends on what kind of, like, position you're in. Um, but you have to remember, too, is that if the outside of the condo building, it will be maintained. Um, depending on what kind of condo that you're in, you get like amenities, you get like other stuff too. You know what I mean? So there's a lot, there's really a lot that you're getting for it too. 
Try so, not to die. Try not to die. I know. I remember that um I actually I almost convinced my family to move into a condo at one point um, because we found out that the condo building, um, it had, uh, what do you call it? It had like the outside deck or whatever. It had like a, like an outside, um, like a venue. It had like a nice little deck on the second. The, there was like a little um, a loft area with like a deck that you could walk out onto. It was fucking crazy. Um, the condos run from anywhere from like 15,000 to 2,500 yeah, per month. Yeah, apparently, apparently the actual maintenance fees per year, I think they were like around like 3,000 or I hear, I don't know how this stuff works. I don't remember, but I know, I know that it was like per year. Um, they were charging you a pretty good amount. So if you actually bought the condo and you didn't pay like, um, uh, there's like other fees you have to pay, but you pay like the yearly thing then like, yeah, you're technically going to lose a little bit of money on it, but like, you're not doing maintenance on it for the most part. You're letting, um, the, the, um, uh, what is it? You're letting like the actual owner of the condo, like hmm. basically like come in and fix things for you, all that other stuff or whatever. That's got me thinking. Um, Damn. so I don't know. It, it is what it is. I personally, I could live in a condo. I could definitely do it. Um, but I would have to like actually like own the condo. I don't want to rent a condo out. I want to like actually own it. You know what I mean? Now what am I to do? All right then. Oh, is it Idol's Day? Oh my right, God! Then. It's Idol's Day. Is there anyone that we can talk to? Ooh! Wow. All right then. Let me go ahead and. All right then. Where to? Let's go back to Brylehaven here. We're gonna go take a look Let's here. Go. Yeah, I was gonna say like if you if you if you have enough money that you can actually just like outright buy the condo, then like yeah, like you you're probably gonna Greetings. end up saving a lot more money either way. That's what I mean. Like I I'm not I'm not expecting to pay mortgage or anything. Like that's what I would do. I'm trying to say that in like the best way possible because I don't want it to like seem almost like I can just suddenly go out and just like buy a house and pay off my mortgage immediately. <laughs> or like buy a condo Whoa. and pay it off. I'm just saying, like, it's one of those things where, um, like, like that is like the ideal situation is like just full up, flat out buying the condo because that's what my parents were gonna do. You want to tea? That's what they were gonna end up doing. <sighs> All right then, go. Ahead. Let's go to the Gauntlet Runner. Also, fun fact: apparently, right. and I don't know this. This might work. Hold on, is this gonna work? Oh, it is. So I, I learned I learned something very interesting, Jester. Apparently, every Idol's Day, if you use the washroom, you are guaranteed to get a level up for your luck stat. So if you if you use the washroom in the game every single Idol's Day, um, you're guaranteed a luck up, which is kind of broken. I don't know if that's just me. That's kind of broken, right? Not sussy. Well then. Oh, if I have if I have time later tonight, by the way, I don't know if you're still gonna be up, but I know that um Tammy Tammy messaged me earlier, um and she wanted to hang out again soon, like actually just like chill and hang out for like an hour or two, um so I don't know if you'll still be on or not, but just in case, um if she is awake when I am awake, I will try to call her hopefully, oh if I have time, and hang out with her. All right, mm, I think we're good here. Let me go ahead and talk to, um, let me go ahead and talk to Alonzo. Why not? <laughs> I'm going to head off in a few anyway. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. I was just curious. I know that technically it's going to be way later for me too. You have another long ass drive tomorrow. Um, when, when do you end up having, um, your conversation with your work, by the way? Grief. When, when do you like end up like, you hey. know? talking with your people about your work situation. Thank you. The curtain is rising, he says. Interesting. No clue they haven't said anything. <laughs> imagine, imagine they just pretend that nothing's going to happen and they just never end up meeting. <laughs> imagine that. Alonzo, what are you doing here? What are you planning? <laughs> oh no, it's the landowner. Have you heard? A little bird told me that your daughter was a has sorry has a man that she fancies. What was his name again? All right, Kukulis. 
did you say her sorry did you say your goodbyes to her before you left or had she gone out somewhere you bastard. wait what have you done to my daughter you cur <laughs> this is fucking ironic considering what he fucking did this is rude wouldn't be surprised yeah i feel like that's just how it's gonna be they're gonna they're gonna be sussy about it now what are you after my life <laughs> If you're offering it, sure. But there's something I want more. Tell me, where do your desires truly lie? What? My desires? What the hell are you getting at? I... To get into your purse strings... Oh, tiki hold on. I'm double checking to make sure that my food is still on the way. Um, To get into your purse strings, I had to use everything at my disposal to look into you. And what I found was rather discomforting. Allegedly, you've committed several atrocities in various villages, and yet many villagers still respect you. Hmm. I had assumed that you used money or force to make them submit, but I was wrong. Perhaps you've hidden your true intentions this whole time. Wait, what? <laughs> That's weird. Hmm. She's five years younger than me, yes. She's quite lovely when she smiles, just like her mother. With such a beautiful little family at stake, you have no choice but to obey what your conspirators told you behind closed doors. That's right. You were a beloved father and, a, and an upstanding man, and they noticed. They fed you lies and flattery in turn, and one moment you were praised, they next threatened. And before you knew it, you have fallen in line with the oppressors of the weak, and you can't break Ugh. free. It's a rather pitiful tale, don't you think? Silence! What do you know? How could you possibly understand the depravity that taints this world? Literally, he pulled the same shit on on fucking um our boy. This is BS, bro. I'm not about this. I have three daughters, and those bastards, they... Tell me. Don't you wish that you could end this ruse? <clears throat> I'd have quit long ago if I could have. I don't want to be stolen from any longer. I haven't the power to change a single thing. Ridiculous. That sounds awfully familiar, doesn't it? Where have I heard those words before? Mm. Well, sure. I believe that you said them. <laughs> oh, you remember? Well, that's all in the past now. And if I hadn't met you, then I would have surely ended up like him. Moving on. Well, I've learned what I wanted to know. Now then, good sir, would you like a chance at redemption? Sorry, redemption? Oh, he's not going to kill him? Ooh. I will set your daughter free, and I will even help you atone for your sins. So long as you agree to my terms and cooperate with me. <sighs> Fine, I will accept your offer. Give my word. <laughs> Did you hear that? All right, then it is time for the big reveal. I haven't actually done anything to your daughter. Actually, I've never even met her. Hey. Do you understand why I told you that load of rubbish, don't you? I took a gamble on you, on what you truly desire. Oh my god, good guy Alonzo? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wow. So proud of him. Well, well, that is one mountain climbed. I predicted correctly and won my bet. Listen. Wait, that should be our bet, right? <laughs> I can't tell if you're the daring or dauntless type. I must admit, it is quite charming. That is what I like most about you. Oh my god, is he trying to riz me up right now? In hindsight, I've always run away when things take a turn for the worse. Even when I tried to die, it was my sorry. It was to escape my sins. And I had to sleep now, actually. I'm super sleepy. No, you're, you're good. You're good. If anything, um, at some point, the story is going to pick up again. So this is like, this is like a good prime time to like, make sure that you're not actually paying attention. But thank you. Sorry, can you hold on? T, thank you for jumping in tonight, though. I do appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying the stream. Um, I will be on again tomorrow. I know that you're going to be busy working. Um, so if you're too tired to come on, no worries. Um, have a good night, babe. And I don't know if Bones is still there or not, but if you want to go ahead and give yourself a shout out, go ahead. I can't wait to play this game. I know. Hurry up and at least like start getting into it or something, or just just like do um do like a little bit of grinding or something when you're on call with Temmy or whatever. That way you have like actual time to play it. I'm trying to remember if there's anything else I wanted to say before you head out, but I think that's about it. I know that you have to go to bed. See, he. I'm very excited for you to get to Alonzo's um, Bond rank stuff or whatever because he's such a great character. I love him so much. <laughs> yep, 
Yes, I am a liar and a cheat, yet I hate those who lie and cheat. I hate the, fra the very framework of a world that made me become the deceiver that I am. What lies ahead will be will be the great conman Alonzo's work of a lifetime. Remember your vow. For this new king, who will change this cesspit into a never-before-seen utopia, I will pull the wool over the world's eyes and then take it for myself. I will. If you remember, just message me on Discord. Oh, are you talking about... Are you talking about, like, actually watching you play the game? Because I'm down to watch you later. If anything, by the time you actually, like, get into the game, too, I probably might actually be almost done the game if not done already. We'll have to see. What Alonzo's words mean isn't clear, but I can see the steadfast resolution in his eyes. Sorry, I have to... Come on, my sinuses are killing me again. I will live to my fullest potential. Baker veneration. Oh, that's the mag cost of setting the thing again. I'm sure that you're dying to know what I have planned, but just bear with me for now. Farewell. When next we meet, I will unveil everything in spectacular fashion. Be sure that you don't delay, but for now, farewell. Oh, by the way, I will also, I will message you on Discord later too, just in case, because there is something I wanted to ask you or at least talk to you about real quick. I will probably, I will hopefully remember, if not. Okay, God has a plan. All right, then. I literally just blew my nose <laughs> and I still have to do it, bro. What is going on? I'm 90% sure that my food is here, by the way, so let me go ahead and... Mm. I'm going to throw us over to Juna, and then I'm just going to get up and walk away, and then I will be right back. We're going to go grab uh, our foodies. Wait a second. Huh? Wait, who is this? <laughs> oh my god, she's really pretty. Excuse me? Why is she so mad? Come now. Hmm. 
No way! <sighs> Literally, who was that though? What the heck? It'll be fine. Hmm. Bro, the audacity of her approaching me? Disgusting. <laughs> like, My leave me alone. Goodness. gathering here we're having a sing-off apparently is this literally what her is this what her bond's about is literally her just singing i'm going to give this performance not that i'm mad world. not that i'm mad i just find it interesting Ooh, wow leave it to me Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Oh, you're gone. Okay. We North need to mentioned. know what we are doing for today. North of Altaberry lies the Everfrost Forest, a place named for its year-round blanket of snow. Hmm. Right. And they just want us to go find the bounty, I guess, right? How many days do we have left? Six? Six or seven? Mm. Oh, Yuko wants to talk to us right now. Mm, seven. Ooh, okay, we have time. So we have Yufa. We still have Arden, too. I'm not going to lie. Let me take a look to see what his thing is. Hold on. Allows purchase of rare items at magic shops in all cities. Um, unlocks... Unlocks... Analyze data for all enemies with certain exceptions. Not bad. And then apparently if we get the final rank, we'll get Trickster 2, which is pretty good. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so what we're gonna do... All right, then. Um, let's go... There's just one other thing that we wanted to do. I think that was go to... The thingy. Brylehaven. Where to? I want to take a look at the, um... Place here. What day is today? Is today Flames Day or or Water's Day? It's Flames Day. Okay, good. Greet it. Well then. Can we talk? A stormy sea ring. Ooh, that's cute. Greet it. Well then. I'll buy two Can of them. Talk? Give me two of them, please. Thank you. What? All right. Thank you very much. If there's something really, really fucking sus going on with this church right now, I'm gonna be hella fucking mad. Also, by the way, these fries are delicious. Mm. Just a heads up. <laughs> They're so good. What is it? This is the place. All right. That's sure. I knew right. it. I knew there was something wrong with the megalo there. What's going on? Mm. Something bad happening. I'm gonna open this door. Dear God. Dear God, please let Mama. Sorry, please help Mama and all of the rest of the sick people. If you do, I promise to always pray a whole lot and be a good girl. Oh, sure, eh? Okay. Is there something really sussy going on here? 
Oh, oh they have oh they have chains on the bed. That's cute. Oh Yufa, Will, what are you doing down here in the basement? Well, this is a sick room, you realize, for Ovi's mother and the others who are ailing. <sighs> oh Ovi. They are faithful adherents, afflicted with an illness that we cannot identify, and we have we have even requested a skilled healer, but to no <sighs> avail. Is it like magla poisoning or some weird shit? Those afflicted are prone to violence as though they are not themselves, so we had to contain them here. Wouldn't that... Wait, wouldn't that be like a... Melancholia or something making them go berserk? Yeah, that's right. Mama and everybody got um, possessed by something evil. That's why I go to church every day and pray for a really long time. And if I pray under the church, then God will hear me faster, right? What about other treatments, um. though? Are there no other means of treating them? Well, this, this illness appears to only affect the followers of sanctism, so it must be the doings of the devil. What? Excuse me? What the hell? How? But then... Something is not right here. That smell that I've been faintly sensing, I can see, I can see it now. I won't. This place is filled with stagnant magla, probably because far too many intense feelings are concentrated in one place. Oh, is it is it like with the dragon about god? That. Do you mean that this is the same situation as what happened in the Dragon God's Temple? <sighs> I do not mean to deny sanctism, but I simply cannot believe that any of this can be resolved through just prayer alone. There was a time in my hometown when our misguided prayers caused our God to become a calamity upon us. The Magli here reminds me of what I felt back then in my home. Good intentions were twisted by blind faith. I think that continuing to pray so much may only serve to worsen the illness because of... <gasps> things still your heretical tongue pagan our prayers shall be heard no you don't know that for certain you should use another method silence you're nothing more than a heathen what could you possibly know <sighs> sir i'm trying to i'm trying to help your sick patients here leave this place their pain is only worsened by blasphemy blasphemers who dare speak against bugs but <laughs> who dare Speak against God in this holy church. Leave here at once. Oh my god, they got fucking spicy. Not spicy. I had to I had to stop eating. I had to read that shit. That was good. Shame to admit. There are but... times when prayer is comfort, like during times of illness, but to rely on it is your only means of sucker? I can't imagine it. If we do nothing. And just think that distorted Magla porn aloft on so much blindly zealous prayer. The entire town would be in danger. Oh my god, what? That's surely right. Bro, this is a teehee. Oh my god. And more than anything, I refuse to allow a young child who loved her mother to go through what I did. I like how I like how like it, it like started off like really tame, and now all of a sudden like things are getting really spicy. Level it four. I don't remember which which one we have to get to get the um the devil summoner job, but I think it's like probably six or seven. I could be wrong. I'm getting closer. Closure. Ray. <gasps> oh my god. I actually don't have anyone to talk to right now. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> oh god. <coughs> what should I do? I don't know what to do. Let me take a look at um let's take a look at quests. Because I know that I know. some of them will give us stat boosts as well as the bounty. Um this will increase courage. This will also increase courage, so apparently courage is good. This is tolerance. Hmm. Current intolerance. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind doing tolerance tonight because I'm pretty sure that courage might end up leveling up very soon. Um, regardless of whether whether or not we do anything. So let's go do let's go to right. do tolerance. How do we find right. this? Um, it should be like a heart here, I think. See wisdom there. 
Where's tolerance? Where is that? Oh, there it is. Let's go. Found him. Wonder if I could have been one of Lewis's minions myself. Ta! Luis, I could see it. Hi there. Thing is, I. Oh my god, I need five tolerance for that? Oh my god, bro. Yeah, we need to. You there. We need. We need. We need to do all of the things, or we're gonna get screwed over here. You see. You may have already been aware, but once there were many Mustari who called Altaberry home. However, ever since the annexation, the vast majority um, were persecuted and then given on given an ultimatum: either leave the city or convert to Sanctism. Hmm. Do you mean that there are Mustari and Altaberry that ended up becoming Sanctists? Well, that's correct. I've had to evade the lot times, but I remained faithful to the Mustari ways from the shadows, even in the city. We may be treated as heathens wherever we go, but the contempt that we experience here is almost tangible. Which is why? Needless to say, the Sanctus treat us with scorn, but even the Mustari who once shared our faith represent, so they resent our presence now. Ooh. How terrible. Showing kindness to me would arouse the suspicion of the church. That is just reality now. No! I don't like this! This is so mean! Why is everyone gotta be so, so mean about this stuff? It is not uncommon for Sanctus to pelt me with stones? They'll press rocks into their hands and point in my direction and dare them to hit me to prove that they've renounced the old ways. No way. They really do that? That's so cruel. The stones are bearable. It is the pain that I see in my brother's faces as they make the decision to throw the rock that truly stings. There are tears in their eyes. For the Mustari people, a quiet and peaceful life is all we want. That all is right. kind of messed up. I'm not going to lie. Goodbye. That's a tea here. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. All right. Who is it? Can it be? Oh my God! It's Barney and it's Barney and hold on. And we don't have anyone else. It's Water's Day. You know what that All means? Right. It's time to break water. No, I'm, j I'm just joking. We're going to go to the um, Brylehaven door, which is somewhere. Let's go. Greetings. Well, then. Can we talk? You want you want like a billion of these. Let's get eight of them. Greet it. Beautiful, sir. I will talk? take H. Thank you very much. Greet it. Well, then. Can we talk? Greet it. Well, then. Can we talk? <laughs> Greet well, then. Can we talk? No, I'm all out of fries. <laughs> Can we talk? Okay, just two more. Great, well then. Can we talk? Great, well then. Can we talk? <laughs> All right. Let All right. us go. Let me talk to Barden. Okay. What happened? Why is he so sad? Why is he sad now? You've... <sighs> I'm going to be frank with you. There has been an incident. Thankfully, nobody died, but they surely could have. And I know the crafty fellow who did it. Was it was it the politician? Was it that guy? What? Let's go take a look. Thank you. I'm ready. Thank you. Also, take me, Barden. I love you. Have my babies. Listen to me. Oh my god, they set fire to the fucking building? Oh shit. You hear me? Huh. 
Wait, but how, how do you know? How do you know it was Castro? How do you know? What? I know who it was. <laughs> Just so. What did you say? Listen to me. Seriously. Let's do this. Huh? No, I see. Understood. I'm praying for him right now. I'm praying for our mans. I hope that he doesn't get fucked over right now. You're a great help indeed. <sighs> Good to say I... I mean, I can't say for sure because I feel like everything he's done has been perfect. He's amazing. He can literally do no wrong. If so, then. Well, what in the world should I have done instead? Bro, I don't know. You're perfect. I, don't, I literally don't know what he did wrong. <laughs> like, I, th I think he did great. Mm hmm. I had better tidings for you. Escape artist? What is this one? Improves the chances of escaping from a squad battle. Ooh, okay, that's actually really good. <laughs> hmm. What do we do now? Right. Is it Juna? Juna! <laughs> so apparently, what was it? She's having like a sing-off, a dance battle or something? Hey. Something a little fucking weird or something. Let's see what's going on here. Wait. 
Um, oh, is that who oh, it was? Cool. It was someone from last year that she met. Oh, well, no wonder she was being rude. What's a team? Hey. Oh my god, they're calling her out? That. Wait, what the fuck? What happened? Um. <laughs> it was my dress to do with what I want with, and they tailored it to my measurements just last year. Bro, what is her problem? Literally, what the f Why Erica Flowers? Yeah, what does this mean? What does it all mean? I can't, I'm scared. If there are if there are Erica Flowers on stage. No, no. I'm gonna be right there beside you, don't worry. Hmm. Too true, my ever reliable escort. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh my Don't be scared, girl. I'm gonna yeah, we're gonna be with her. I hope that everything's gonna be okay. Is she like it's like is like is like the other girl gonna try to poison her or something? Like what is going on? So a song. I Here. Let's see, we got the Masked Dancer Veneration, which I think is reduced mag cost. At now least we're then. halfway we're halfway done. I think we've done um, we've done three for Yutha as well as her too. Which I think means that if we go on the gauntlet runner later, we should get the other ones as well. Time marches on and the age of a new king draws nearer. Mm, it is delicious. Oh my god. Think we'll make it? Everyone's getting cold, oh no. Let's Halkenberg said you are you are permitted to just get the snipples. That's all you get. Let's go. What can I do? What should I do? Yeah. Hmm. I mean, we still have time, right? I think we only need three days to get through the other stuff as well. So I think we have two more days. That's two nights and two days. Hmm. Just in yeah. case. What now? Let me take a look to see if there's no like deadline for the other ones, which I don't think there are. Um. Let's do. Let's just see Yufa. Wait, hold on. Is today, is today Arbor's Day? Okay, now we're good. Yeah. Let's do this. What? If we can at least get Yufa and um and Juna um to the match thing that they have in the towns, then they should be okay. What should we do? Thank All right, let's go. Where are we going? Oh Let's shit. Pause. Something is amiss. Oh. Truly. 
you. Oi. What? Wait, are you fucking? Is he gone? That can't be. No. Just the worst. Bro, did he did he kidnap all the sick people and try to fucking take them somewhere? What the fuck? What happened? That was scary, bruh. How are you doing? That's true, but... When you're not scared. Thank you very much. They almost like oh. put her to the fucking pitchfork, bro. They're gonna fucking stab her and set her on fire. Jesus. I think not. Listen. that apparently the the sanct the sanctuarists were they were like possessed apparently their magla has changed very strange kind of very similar to how we saw everything before too with the other npcs as well i think forden was one of them very sussy but then Slots for summer lineage to three. Ooh. I think Juna Juna's the one that gives us like MP at the end of every battle, I, I think. Or every turn. I could be wrong. We do want to get her up a little bit more. Is she gonna be up at nighttime? Hmm. Apparently not. Can't talk to anybody else here either. Mm. <laughs> Let me go ahead and um, I'm going to save. Also, what the hell was that? Okay, let me do... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go save before we go do one of these because I have a feeling that All eloquence right. might... Mm, might he jump up so all right then i think it was go down ahead. here let me go over here and um we're gonna go save in front of this person 
Because if it doesn't level up, then we can we can level it up on the journey over on the Gauntlet Runner. Oh, sorry, no. We want to do we want to do the quest. I think there's like a bounty or a quest that we can do. You, what do you? Yes, I would like to talk to the Mustari again, please. You must have thought it strange how I chose to remain in the city in spite of all that I have suffered here. I stayed because our history is so indelibly rooted in this land. It calls to me, and I am compelled to reside here in our ancestral home. In fact, it is likely that the Mustari who converted to Sanctism only abandoned their faith so that they could remain close to their native root. I was going to say they could have... They, it's the same thing, like, they could have just gone back to the island, but I understand where she's coming from. All right. All right. How crazy is this, this one going to be here? Yeah, it's little... Bro, it's so close to leveling up. Which is why. So if we're going to focus on other ones, I'm going to go on a limb. Time I'd probably say wisdom. On, maybe wisdom. Of a new king for now. Draws nearer. Ah. Here you are. We got a panacea. Ooh, we got panacea. Hey. It seems like this year will be colder than the last. Winter is awfully harsh around here, huh? There's no doubt that a sorry, there's no doubt a painful time for those without money. When the season bears its fangs, there's little to do but huddle together to share what little warmth remains. Actually Bruh. I'm still waiting for them to eat the rich. Let's go. Patiently waiting. All right. All right then. Mm. Apparently it is metal day. Right. We have one more day though, and I don't know if they're gonna let me talk to Juna later. So I don't feel anything right now. Let's go ahead and we're gonna talk to Barton. Why not? I myself. You've. I'm sorry. Also, I promise I'm uh, I'm almost done eating. I have literally one more wrap, and then we're done. Um, I'm assuming though, after we finish this conversation with him, um, we're gonna have to go do <laughs> the village, maybe, and then go do the dungeons as well. <laughs> so what? it's a tee here. You unscrupulous. Well, you see. It's absurd. And look. But he's fucking Seriously? rude. No, I don't believe him either. What is his problem? <sighs> yeah, I was going to say they were all trying to support oh, him. Like, what the fuck happened? Now you're all looking at me like I'm scum. I was protecting you and I was acting for the common good. How can it be? You ask me to protect you, and then I fall short on one wee thing, and then it's all whispers behind my back. Who among you even cares about the town? Bro, he's Fine. spitting. He is spitting. Fine, have it your way. Will of the people. Gastro can be your protector. I'm telling you right now, if shit goes down, shouting insults and then running away, a shirker of responsibility to the very end. What are you talking about? Well, no matter. Good riddance. Now Listen here's how up. I will handle security. There's a giant sandworm. The f oh. Why? Please, let's not lose our heads. Oh no. Watch the town get fucked up right now. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. The way he said that was so funny. What? Calm down. We have we we have defensive barriers. Yes, the ones that he built with your taxes. And besides, a, a giant sandworm wouldn't come here, would it? 
Well, I mean, we thought it wouldn't, but you mean to keep going? Barden only had you looking for nests so that he would have an excuse to collect taxes for defense. It was all part of his deceit. Oh, yeah, was this the story he was telling people? Oh, my God. Do you understand me? Nothing is happening. Everything is fine. Is there a giant sandworm coming? Yeah, we have to go find Barden. Oh, no. Oh, it's you. Honestly, same. If I was him right now, I'd be like, I want to fucking leave. I'm out of here. Fuck all that shit. Whoa. It might be a human, yeah. Huh. Um. <sighs> hmm. True. Huh. Okay. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ah. I see. I shall bar his meddling with Martira. Have the turn icon cost of switching with a reserve member during squad out. Ooh. Is that right then? He's literally he's literally the gift that keeps on giving. I'm so surprised that we waited this long to do him. This one's important. The right to rule. Together, the great sandstorm, sorry, sandworm T near Martira can be defeated. Sandstorms will lower accuracy, so prepare countermeasures. Is the thing I must do? I should speak to Barton when I'm ready. Wait, hold on. Uh, thank you. Is this gonna take up a whole thing though, or? Uh. Interesting. I'll have to. We'll, we'll take a look at it later. We don't have to do it right now, <sighs> but. Who's <sighs> It's Juna. Oh my God! Thank you, God. <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, well, let me just no, take a quick look here. Nope. All right then. Let's just see here. So, just to have a general idea of how we're doing, um, there's a very good chance that our courage is about to explode. Um, tolerance is also going to explode once we get on the Gauntlet Runner too. Um. Wisdom, I think we should put up to. Eloquence is going to explode any fucking day now. Um, and then what was the other thing for our followers? Let's see. Brigida is going to level, level up very fast soon. Um, Barden is two more. He's two more. Katharina is like, whatever. We'll get her eventually. Nurse will go up eventually too. I want to say that we're, we're probably doing very, very well right now. Um, can I actually go talk to Maria though? Or yeah. is that later? No. Can I give her more painting? That's tea here. I'll take a, I'll take a look at her later. All right. Mm. All right then. What do we want to do here? What do we want to do? I think we're just gonna talk to Juna. I think we should be good. Hey, hey babe. Sorry about that. Huh? You know. Gosh, hey, oh, I have to do the thing. You know. Using my overflowing imagination, I was able to get Juna to visualize a successful future. Wow. How do you stay so positive? I, I don't know. I don't know. But. God has a plan for us. You're right, you know. I feel like I can do this. There's no point in worrying about something that hasn't happened after all. I will conquer this anxiety, and I will ensure that this goes off without a hitch. They don't call me the songstress for nothing. Now then. Yes, let's go to Brian Haven. Thanks. Let's go. Also, heads up, we might take a break soon. Just a heads up. <sighs> Incredible. Right. Hey.
That's... It'll be fine. What a relief. Oh, she's planning something. She's going to do something sassy. Are you here to shove me off? Wait, what? Listen. Yeah, we gotta threaten her. <sighs> don't worry, I'm putting this behind me. Lies. I don't believe it. Well. Wait, did it actually work? Oh. Okay, never mind. I thought she was I thought she was lying. Thanks. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, was it acid? What happened? What do you do? What's going on? Oh. <laughs> hey. What was it poison? Did he throw it in her face? No! Oh my god, what? I didn't like that cough. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that he threw like acid or something sussy. Was I his target then? Juna. Yes. Yeah, she breathed in the toxins, bro. That's why she's not speaking? Oh, no. It was extracted from Erica flowers, and the antidote is created by boiling its own leaves. Oh, no. I... Well, then... Yes. I... Please. It's just a pretty flower. I'll be all right. <sighs> no, why don't be sad, babe.
Time marches on. It's not her fault. It's not anyone's fault. It's literally nearer. It's literally that guy just wanted to fuck her up. That's what it is. Try not to die. Brigina. Thank you for the money, babe. Luis. The deadline. Yeah, apparently, so apparently Luis has a trump card or something. That's the only thing that we need to be worried about. Big prank here. Let's go. I shall. You. Now what am I to do? Hmm. I mean, what's, what's her level at right now? Number five. I'm just wondering. Right. Hold on. All right. Okay, well, it's it's Idol's Day, so I mean, it is what it is. Let me go to Let's the Gauntlet go. Runner. We're going to go use the bathroom. And then what do I think we want to uh, maybe go to like the village or something? I should check. You know what? We should check the uh, the weather. Just to double check and make sure that everything is good. I don't want to get, get screwed up here by the weather here. Wow. Well. <sighs> All right then. Was it this one Let's here? Go. Yeah. I know that the uh, the fortune tellers are just outside over here. Run, girl, run! Yeah. We need to figure out what the weather be. Let's. And mm. right there's a labyrinth. Oh, wait, hold on. On the final day, it's not going to be snowing, so nice this one's fine too. And right there's okay, a you know what we're going to do? This place. Um, we're going to go. A village. We're going to go to Mala first, and then we're going to go to Everfrost Forest. And right there. And then we'll go to the tower, the Tower of Insolence, as they apparently like to call it. Um, My this should right hopefully down. work out in our favor. All right. Let me go ahead and run Let's over go. here. Let's run to the runner. Oh, and we do have to technically take a break. So I think after we go to this town so, um, and we come back to the we city, do? we'll go ahead and take a five to ten minute break. Just a heads up. Meow, 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 meow. Now that. That's it's great. What to pick? This is probably one of the more interesting ways that they, they do like the actual travel in a game, especially for like an like a quote unquote like an Atlas game. I don't think is there any other game that has something like this from Atlas, like where you like run around like here. The only thing I can think of would be like Strange Journey, where you're like in the uh, you're like in that little tank thing. I don't know. Food for thought. I'm just kind of realizing right now, this is like the first time I think we've ever seen anything like this from like a, any kind of Persona or SMT-esque game title. What should we make for cooking? What do we have? Mm. Should I do another one of these? Probably, uh, All good. go for it. Bro, <laughs> the music is so good. What the heck? I think we're gonna leave courage alone. Um, we're gonna get tolerance up to either way. Let's go ahead and do. Let's do wisdom. Mm. 
Wait, there's more? How to walk outside the island? This appears to be a Mustari authored travelogue and guide of lands outside of this island. It has been thoroughly an anointed by Yufa, and I have yet to start reading it. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if this is going to be a mistake or not. Let me try. Let's try, just in case. Ah! Okay, T. This travelogue offers an introduction to cultures and customs outside of Virga Island, told through the Mustari author's first-hand experience. It contains practical guides for things like creating an altar while traveling or making eye contact with unmasked people. This, sorry, these encapsulate some of the difficulties that Mustari people face living outside the island. Yufa must have read and reread this thoroughly. The book is nearly in tatters. Living in a totally foreign culture sounds difficult, and yet this author and Yufa are jumping right into it. Seeing their willingness to embrace other cultures and values increased my tolerance. Now that Oh, did I accidentally? Mm. Tolerance. Oop. I mean, it, it is what oh, it is. Yes. We have to read the book anyway, but <laughs> it's fine. I tried. Apparently, we've been going a little too hard reading these books. Are you a lot awake back there? I've spotted Loveless's runner. It would appear that the boy is itching for a fight and he's already climbed aboard. Oh my god, no. Just what I wanted. Let's do this. I'm gonna spank this boy. Well, look who we have here, eh? You got some brass showing your face here. We're gonna, oh, we're gonna beat him, he's gonna drop out. I can already tell. faced phony prince. Milo told me everything. I know all about your sick games. Sick games? What are you talking about? Wait, Milo talked to you? Wait, what? So you all have pristine slates, eh? Conscience clean, eh? I don't remember who Milo it's is. It's scumbags like you lot, what forced the parapus. That's why I wanted to become king in the first place. To stand up to the bastards who treated the weaker tribes like trash and to settle the score with villains like you. Get ready to I hurt. literally, I don't know what he's Let's talking give about. You a try, eh? Ooh. All right. Let's show him what we can do. Okay, okay so what are we doing here? Um, we're gonna do... We, I mean, like, I don't have my actual merchant class on, so, like, I can't steal his mag from him, but I should probably put that on later. Um, I'll put on the steel mag thing later. Let's do Everyone, shelter formation. The, the fight is power. Here. Thank you. That was helpful. Thanks. Take my fullest power. Perhaps this will be tight. I'd rather refrain for now. Fast, dancer. Maybe not. Uh, looks like we can't brute force through this one. This should be good. I'm Use about it. to crash your party. Let's get a grace. Thank you. All right, we are nice and buffed up. Let's see what he's gonna do. Check it out, Mayonix. Bro, you're hitting me with the mage eyes. Oh god. They just—they never learn. These enemies never learn. No, hold up. We'll do this together. Deals severe physical strike damage. This might Guard crit. It, Let's see how this goes. No holding back. Oh my god, is that another carrot move? Oh no. The freedom. I'm all prepared. <laughs> I won't hold back. Ah. Scour. Ah. I pray Fine. you're ready. Come forth now. Ah. Ah. No, I'm not done yet. You think this is over? Not even close. Just pack your bags and go home, Eat bro. This. What? Ah. Dodged. Nice one, Captain. <laughs> You'll get out of here. Oh my Come god. On. Help me out. Ooh. Okay, this is cool. What should I do? How far dance? Going for the weak spot. Great 
job, Juna. Welcome to your no real color my Something else. All right. You're out of here. I'm fine. Soul hacker, fire. You oh. hit their weakness. That's your Let's go. Captain. Got to pull it together. Wind. Did we get him? Hell yeah. I'm not gonna Calm lie, yourself, it's a man. I suspect you've been deceived. This I genuinely, what exactly genuinely did he tell you? wish that I brought something to steal from him, but Says it's fine. There's some imposter prince been going round, getting his kicks by killing Parapus and you, Chief, and other tribes beneath him. I stand with this boy, as does Basilio, and I can tell you we don't wander around murdering our own kin. Sounds like this Milo fellow's badly bamboozled you. Hold on. Wait, what? You mean we've been dancing like puppets on his string? A bastard must have wanted us to take each other out. Spare him the trouble. How I still, I still don't remember who Milo us. is. I'm so sorry. Gotta do something about him. Hey, Loveless? Any idea where Milo is? Last summer around, uh, Altabury. Damn it. Indestructible honeycake. Ooh. Close, that is a bit sussy. Marvelous. I feel stronger already. Spectacular. We're gonna take a hot minute to rearrange our skills because I I missed out on a good opportunity there. The small prospering modest as Oh, we're going to the Witchel Hunchback village in the corner of the middle of nowhere. Oh. Welcome to Malva. What is this place? Wow. Bro, imagine. Ooh, it says Globetrotter. Visit all of the towns. Oh, I got a trophy. Ooh. Imagine actually having to dig out the holes in every single one of these houses. It sounds like literal like hell on earth or something. We didn't pull you out of one hole so that you could take refuge in another. The cares of the world happen to be our main concern at the moment. Yep. That is true. And look, there's a shop over there. That reminds me. You were asked to buy some durable spider silk, which should be this one here, I think. Let's see here. Is it on sale? Oh, is, is today idle say? I completely forgot. This would explain everything. Also very wheat flour. like two of those and then I'll buy like I'll buy like 10 more of these ones I think that's pretty much it yeah. all right I guess we're good to go uh, did they say let us continue our trip what do you mean where where else are we going here now then oh oh wait oh, no 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 hold on hold on no seriously? fucking way hold on there wait Wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Does this mean... Here's where we are now. I'm, I'm probably wrong. Well, Let's take a look here, hold going? on. It's going to be night when we get there. I'm trying to remember if this is going to take up more time. I don't remember how this works. Seriously? Um, well, are we going? Can we go bug him? Yeah, return Let's to the base, I guess. This is fine. I need to, I need to put some stuff on anyway. <sighs> what can I do? My words are not getting through to them. Katharina comes to mind. Maybe I should go talk to her. Okay. Sounds Gucci. What now? Gucci no Gucci. Before I do that, though, um, I do need to take a look at this real quick here. Um, we haven't had to use the Holy Knights Proclamation at all, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and put on... Um, where's that one skill that I really want? Just give me one second. I know it's hiding here somewhere. Is it deck collection? Steals mag from an enemy. All yeah, right. this one here. Nice. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, and we got more of her stuff too. Okay, this is good. This is, this is really good. Mm. All right. This one right. here. All right. Yeah, we got that collection, I think, on three of them. What can I put on her? What's another good skill? I want to say maybe... I could put I could put Magic Bond on her. That'd actually be really good, too. You never know. He does use up a lot of MP. Um, And then I guess for him, he's still kind of screwed back here. Let me let me take this one off of him, but I don't know if it's gonna give me debt collection though. That's the only thing. I'm sure it's fine. Whatever. Uh, let's see. Marshall, can I actually level up your thing? Do we have items? We might. Um, let's try this. I'm getting oh my stronger. god, Jesus! Which one? Wait, hold on. Oh, is it not on this one? Is it on the other one? No. Okay, that's a T. I can use this. Frenzy deals heavy physical strike damage to all enemies. Okay, that's not bad. Man, I thought I would have. Oh no, is it I'm merchant? Stronger. Oh, it is this one. Guys, I'm so sorry. I picked the wrong one. God damn it! I thought it was this one. Or sorry, I thought it was thief. Okay, I think we're Gucci. <gasps> Closure. Closure. You right, have man. more questies. Let me report this one over here. Ah, Let's go. Now what am I to do? Ah. Re Mission accomplished. Here's your disgusting spider silk, uh, sir. I I milked it straight from the spider just for you. All right. That is a shame. Oh my god. We have to read more books. Again, yeah, that's a little embarrassing. Bro. Really? Thing is, I Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna read this stuff up for, for the sake of reading. I think that they said earlier that they have to go and like apprehend these yeah. people. Katharina, why are you here? <laughs> what do you want? Surely you know that you're not welcome here anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave once I've said my piece. Oh. You must stop attacking people, and that means returning everything that you've stolen. What? And here I thought that you would say something smart. You want us all to starve, do you? You're a traitor. <laughs> no, you're wrong. I mean, they're just straight up stealing from everyone at this point, which is kind of not what they wanted to do. But, I mean, I see where they're coming from. It'll be fine. You need to stand proud, Katharina. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, I'm not going to back down. I'm speaking up for my sake and yours will. Listen to me! Listen up, and if you won't listen to me, listen to your heart. Everyone! Stealing everything that you need is just a vicious cycle. Everything that you stole can be stolen right back from you, and then You're what? My leg. If you want to live in fear of others trying to take what's yours, you want a life where you gotta worry about going hungry? Is that what you're trying to change? Hey. The more that you steal, the more that you're gonna end up getting stolen from. Duh. I don't know if that logic is sound, <laughs> but like, okay. You sure like to run your mouth. Someone show this preachy lady her and her boyfriend the door. Oh my god. Does he agree? I... Look, I know that you're all not happy with how things are right now. <sighs> exactly. So, what are you going to do about it? 
Any bright ideas? Bloody hell. A therapist has no business, uh, sorry, business lecturing us about society anyway. You people can't even hold down decent jobs. <laughs> the rich get richer without even trying, and they don't even give a damn about the labor that feeds the system. You have only ever been their tool. Listen up. I know how the world works. Follow my lead and you will have money in your pockets, drink in your cups, and life will just be grand. You got it. He's actually really selling it, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna bring change to this putrid world, but first we have to swat away the flies. You gonna try to fight me? We are not your tools either, Manaho. Huh? Oh my god, is he actually listening? Well, of course not. I'll pay you, capture Katharina, and you'll be rich. <sighs> what? You're not gonna kill me, are you? I'm so confused. Did I miss something here? Did they actually just change their tune? What happened? Hmm. I wouldn't do that. It's that I'm video game sorry. logic. Apparently one conversation was enough to sway them. <laughs> They're like ready to fucking eat him alive. I led you all astray. I've got to own up to that. You see now what it is like to be stolen from? This is why you do not inflict it on anyone. That's this why. coming from her of all people, by the way. Let's hope that we can make a kinder world where everyone lives right by themselves. A world that people want to live in. A kinder world. I am... Oh, tea. Manaho is gonna... Sorry, he's going to the Rusty Nail. What does that mean? He's done a lot worse than what we've seen. Is he going to jail? Is that what he's talking about? <sighs> In the end, we got the peaceful resolution that we had hoped for. Mm. So we did. Everyone here was probably sick of him deep down. But you know, I would still like to think that when he shed a tear for us parapists, it was real. <sighs> the way that I hear it, he was once in the army, and sorry, but his rogue and Ishkia superiors treated him like dirt. His life has been just as hard as any parapus, and discrimination tends to give you a perspective. Mm. That all said, where do I go from but, here? Come on. He was right when he said that I don't have any sort of plan, and all I know is, is that I don't want to leave my people behind. It'll be fine. We can work on that together. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, they're so cute. I really wish she was a playable character. She's giving she's giving like literally like like playable character vibes. Where my party? You're just a big softie, aren't you? You like you're like that with anyone, or just me? Thank you. you so burning? so much. Thank you for everything. You've given me so much courage. I can sense Katharina's earnestness and absolute faith in me. Ba -ba. Also, by the way, I know that we I have to take a break. Better, I? I apologize. I know we have to take one. We got a discount? Discount at the store? Going forward, I will try my best to think for myself without relying on others, but... <laughs> you will help me with that, won't you, Will? By the next time that we meet up, then I'm sure that I'll have some new messes for you to help me clean up. I mean, we, we still have we still have two more things that we have to do with her, so I'm not I'm not surprised. She's probably gonna fucking burn out, burn down an entire Time fucking on, bank or something. The new king draws nearer. Ooh, is it gonna automatically throw me over to the Gauntlet Runner though? Try not to die. Or am I allowed to change my mind? All right then. Oh, he's got a quest out hey. right now. Hey, I'm still licking my wound from that arse whipping that you gave me the other day. You're really strong. Guess I should have expected it seeing that you're the prince and all. Myla's trick or not, it was wrong of me to try to sabotage you. So if you do this for me, I will drop out of the tournament on my honor. It hit me like a ton of bricks. All of the changes that I wanted to see in the world, it's you lot who have gone and really thought it through. All of those wankers out there trying to drag people down just because of their tribe. You don't fall in with those bastards. And I mean, look at the company you keep. Got me thinking that you'd be a better king than I ever could. So you go after my uh, Milo and anyone like him and hand all of them their sorry asses. In fact, it's actually personal now. Milo pilled, sorry, pulled the wool over my eyes and I can't let that stand. Do you mind knocking his teeth out as a personal Isn't favor? That... Say, didn't we see him skulking around Altaberry? I bet that he was hatching another scheme. I still, I don't remember him. I literally do not remember him. I need to see All him. Good. Let's go. Let's give it a shot. He's apparently in front of the recruitment center in Lamalamalam Street. Lamalamalam Approach Street. Let's go over this way. All right then. Where's my boy? 
Where is he? Let's head there right away. Close your eye. Oh, is it him? Close your eye. It's you. Oh, it's this guy. Ew. Okay, now I remember. Aren't you Will? If you're here, does that mean that Loveless is dead? No. No, but we did actually have him resign from the tournament, and he told us all about how you pulled the wool over his eyes. Oh yes, the princess imposter plotting to massacre the Parapus. Honestly, don't you think that his naivete deserves some of the blame? This man is ugly. I'm sorry. He's like a very punchable face. I don't know if that's just me. Besides, that is arguably more proof that you lack popularity and credibility. You are an imposter after all. A far cry from my divine beauty. Absolutely not. I think you admit it. And what if I did? Are you going to throw down the gauntlet? Yeah, I'm going to literally beat your ass. Gaze versus gaze. Let's go. I would advise against it. You might recall that we're in the middle of the city. Moreover, I would rather the citizenry didn't see me stained in your blood. If it were not for that, I would put an end to your sorry lives right where you stand. How about a little gratitude? I'm not up yours. Mark my words. You're going to get what's coming to you. Unbelievable. My, my, so crass. You must excuse me, but I am too busy to trade barbs with primates. I'm making my long-awaited return to the royal capital to charm the citizens to my side. There's, there's still plenty of time to make up for lost ground on the King's Rock. Watch him, like, actually end up getting on the King's Rock somehow. I would be so mad. And don't get any, don't, sorry, don't get any ideas about tailing me, all right? You're fortunate to be alive. Do yourself a favor and be more prudent, hmm? You don't give the orders around here, okay? Besides, now we know where you're headed. He literally just gave it away. The thing is, he said that he was going to the royal capital, so I think around here. There's a run. Uh, wait, hold on. Do we have time to go fight all of these people? And right there's a That's kind of weird. We'll There's no deadline for this stuff here, but I I don't know about this. This is kind of weird. Let me go back to the runner. Uh, the runner. I will give you equipment that has a special effect. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Close your eye. Well, apparently, oh, close your eye. apparently we don't have time for anything else. We're gonna we're gonna go to the uh, All right, then. go the gauntlet runners. We're gonna we're gonna fight him, and I think we're gonna fight Rudolph as well. I'm just, I'm just kind of hoping that they don't take up all of the, the day for us if we do that. Save complete. Let me just take a look. We're going to take a break in a hot second, but um, I would like to take a quick look to see what this will do. Now then. Mm. This place. It's your call. Is it really going to... Yeah, you know what? Onward. Mm. Yeah, but it's your. Okay, hold on, hold on. Seriously? There? It appears to be a labyrinth. At this place. I think we have to. It's your... I'm, I think that we do have to do that. Uh. I guess. I guess just go. Your... Great. We can we can come back here later. Um, I'm assuming when they give us freedom to explore again, and um, we'll do the other two dungeons after. What to pick? There's no deadline for it, so I mean, like, it's not like a it's not like a super big deal or whatever. <sighs> this is so hard. Oh my god, that's what she said. We're gonna quickly talk to um to Juna real quick before we do anything else either. We're finally facing off against Louise. I've been waiting for this moment for so long. I think that I have butterflies. There's something that I want to talk to you about. But well, more like there's something that I would want to show. Sorry, I want you to see. Mm. Oh, what should I do? I half want to give up. But not that I ever would. I can lend you an ear. You're the only one that I can turn to. You know. This has to do with my tribe, but I guess more with my dignity. It'll be easier if I just show you. Are you free at the moment? Is she gonna like show oh. us that like Loki like they can like transmorgify their face or something or something really weird? What what did what did the TV? Hey. What did the Nidia do? Will, are you there? You're alone, right? Mind your step. Wait, what do you mean mind your step? You got tentacles coming out of your body? Oh my god, what? Wait! <gasps> Wait, what? 
ma'am? Hello? Um, uh, cl close your eyes for a second. Why? What did you do? Is this what they actually look like? You can open your eyes now. Wait, can they actually fucking transform themselves? Is that what they do? Well, you saw that, didn't you? I can explain, but not here. Let us go speak in private. Oh my god, that's crazy. What? Well, that was mortifying. I thought I would die of embarrassment. Oh my god. I've seen her before. I I don't know who that is. Was that you, Juna? Hold on. Was that little girl really you? Naturally. Well, of course. Who else would it have been? That. That's what I truly look like. The entire Nidia tribe disguises themselves. Oh my god. No. No. That means that Alonzo looks like that too. Oh my god. I have to see it. I have to see it. Bro. <laughs> oh my god. The truth is... Those things that people say about us, some of it is true. We really do conceal our true selves behind beautiful masks, so to speak. We actually look like small children to you, but we look that way our whole lives. The other tribes would never take our true selves seriously. That's a Nydia's truth, and it is why we start transforming as soon as we are old enough. Our parents are the only ones who know what we really look like. Oh my god. It's limited, mind you. We can only glamour ourselves to appear as we would as adults, quote-unquote, which is the only way that we can lead normal lives. In so it's like, I guess, like an idealized version of what they would look like as an adult or something. We don't even show members of our own tribes our true selves. So as far as you are concerned, you really, really must keep this a secret. I mean, it's the same thing. She I... looks exactly the same. She just looks like a small bean. It's never really felt right to me, disguising ourselves. Is being myself really so horrible? Is it so wrong? That's crazy how I literally was just like, oh my god, Ju Juna, our queen, like she's so pretty. And it turns out that she's literally stuck in the immortal body of a child. Oh my god. And maybe that's why I like how I literally said like, oh, be careful, spoilers. And the moment we open this up, it's like, oop tee. Something really fucking sussy happens. Maybe that's why my glamours fade when I get terribly upset by something, like when I saw those Erica flowers. You know. Oh, that's what that what that's what happened earlier. Before I was taken in by Rella's family, I was a slave. It was hard, though my memories of it are vague. Which she was a fucking slave. What I do remember was being tied up in the woods for days on end as some kind of punishment. I was starving in the cold, and I accepted that I would die there. <laughs> but to keep the faintest tea. But to keep the faintest hope alive, I sang. I told myself as long as I can sing, I can survive. And I found the will to live in song. I remember fields of Erica flowers as far as the eye could see. Beautiful and bitter, the hate of a waking nightmare. That is what the flower girl in Brylehaven was selling. Terrible memories that I had thought long buried came bubbling up and then I reverted, do you remember? I think Murtis must have seen me slip too. And that's, that's why she knows how to threaten me with them. The tea. I think that what I need to do is go and pick up some Erica flowers and go back to where I was tied up. And yet even the thought freezes me in my tracks. This is why I wanted to show you my true self. I would hate for you to find out later and then send me running home in embarrassment. I just couldn't bear it. So, so um, your turn to talk. What did you think? Got it. I thought you were pretty cute. Wait. Hey yo! Oh my God, we're missing. We're hit. We're hitting her up. Stop that! I mean, I know I asked, but don't say that. God, I'm dying here. Oh goodness. This is the but... worst. But I do feel better now than I thought I would. It's okay for people to discover that I have vulnerabilities, isn't it? I am who I am. You're. And I knew that who you would accept me. Sorry, I knew that you would accept me for that. So thank you. I can sense that Juna's determination to conquer her emotional scars and her strong faith in me. This is not what I was expecting, by the way. She... Um, oh. No. Are we getting another one? Is it the Persona user one? Or is it later? Wait for me, Mertis. The Masked Dancer Archetype Elite. The party can now study the Persona Mashta. Ooh. Wow. Oh my god, it's pretty. Okay, nice. Then... Let's go and head to the Erica Flower Forest next time. But if I um, end up reverting, don't abandon me, okay? Never. I would never, girl. I saw Juna off, who seemed to be a little embarrassed still, and then I went back alone. 
With the protection of the royal magic gone, the tournament for the throne escalates. Those who would turn the tide with military might are spurred by opportunity. The party stands in the way of Rudolf's gauntlet runner as he continues to hunt monsters as a display of his power. Mm, oh my word. I'm gonna beat his ass. Oh, hell, Rudolph. Are you ready? Rudolph is here with his steel lion and is ready to pounce. Station. All right, I'm gonna beat your butt. Let's Oh, I can't say I expected you would be the one to come to me. You're but a wretched little elder, impersonator of those who would rule you. And do my eyes deceive me? The way he said that, a it was like totally a racial slur, 100%. <laughs> <With a disgrace laughs> He's just like, you're the, you're the elder. The ignominy of it all. Harmony among the tribes is a delusion. A petty, ignorant rejection of reality. When I am king, I shall rebuild this nation that knew only weakness by Luis's hand. And then, finally, I will establish a unified nation under the Roussons. All tribes will live in rightful segregation. That's the worst Bro, way to think. he's gonna make me zone out. We won't find any compromise with him. And we won't lose. I will show you the strength and bearing of a true Roussant. Now, come at me. Try a bit of this. Oh my god, we're gonna nuke them. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. What the uh, oh my god, divided? what now? I won't what let that happen. Everyone, I come, back. Back. come forth, still. royal soul. Wind. All right, how much damage is that going to do? Oh, are you weak that? Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. Meow, meow, meow. What does she have on? Heartbreak strategy. I'll get to here. Another one. Are you fucking kidding me? No, 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 no. Hold on. No, 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 no. Even more divided? Oh, actually, no, this is a good this is a good idea. I can do it this way. Don't Let's then I get an extra turn. Everyone, fall back! Ooh, okay, nice. Mmm. Mission of bigger. Let's do this one. Big damage. And this is broken, by the way. Everyone take notes. You want to use these formations. They give you like double sacks of buff. Um, I'll see here. I could do war cry. I could. You know what? Fuck it. By this power. I'm disgusting. Seeker Gale. Uh. Win! They hit their weakness! Grim. That's your uh. happening, Captain! Uh. Scour! Uh. Too easy! Uh. That's did he really just dodge me? Bro. Impossible. What is that? He's like, oh my god, you almost one shot me. Even How did so, that happen? I cannot lose. I refuse to. This calls for an igniter! A mage critical? I bet you dodge that. You gonna try to hit me? Dodge. Nope. Dodge. Can't be. Nice one, Damn it. It. This is just what I need! Raging fire! I sure don't give up easy. Here I go. Heed me! Oh, I can't believe this. Uh, looks like Damn we can't pull through this one. All right. I'll stick. Huh? Everyone, come back. Okay. okay. We can go ahead and focus on stealing from him. Mage you. Radiance. Excuse me, sir. Don't you underestimate me! I think I may have made him angry. Do you think I made him angry? What? I think he's got a little angry that I I almost one shot him. Watch me. Um, let me. 
Just in case. I knew you'd help. I am grateful. Trying to do some stealing. I pray you're ready. Damn you! With us. Stay. All y'all, come forth, royal soul. Damn you! I won't hold back. Yo, what? I call upon a royal soul. I can do this. Damn you! Stay in set. I'll hang back. Come forth, royal soul. Damn you! Is there a forward? By this power. Still here? Huh? Still up? This calls for an igniter! Try me. Try me. You're not gonna hit me. We're gonna dodge. So good. Yeah, see, I told you. Look at that. Crazy. This is how you do When you try your mess, but you know it succeeds. Um, a wild boar. Yeah, why not? They're still breathing. I know what you think. Let's go. Darkness. A tough one will get some dis come forth, Damn royal you. soul. Maybe not. Time for some close combat. Nice hit. That was perfect. Oh my god. Do you mind? I can do this. Damn not you. this tactic. Summoner. I don't know what to do on him. Let's just do This one? Heavy magic fire damage to one enemy. I just do that one. Now. I'm sorry, everyone. Okay. You could know it's a close. Come on. Do I have bread? Can I hit him with bread? Where is that? This should work. Still here? Oh my god, no. I just want to off him already. God. Please. So good. Nice one, Captain. You stop that. Watch me. Alright, got him. Get out of here, boy. Oi, you all right, old man? Gonna leave a nasty scar there. Ah, you! Silence! Even the parapus would pity me now! I will not suffer such shame! Even the parapus uh, are gonna, are gonna right. look down on me. Oh no. Sit yourself, I suppose. But if you ask me, thinking like that's way more exhausting than it's worth. We come from who, who is down to live to in the world else. of metaphor, by the way? There is racism everywhere, all. but like and at I the same time, though. Why different folks can't meet in the middle, eh? Are there upsides to it? Says, I, I don't know. And Probably you've not. been defeated. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Dismount think there are. from your gauntlet runner and renounce your campaign for this the This is literally the, a worse version of the real world, like, let's be honest. Ooh, oh, I got a giant slayer? Oh. Is is that is that the accessory he wanted to give me or the thing or the weapon? Well, that settles that. Okay. We're being thrown thrown back. Okay, I see how it is. It's he. <sighs> we are back at the tavern. Um, nobody wants to talk to me. All right, I see how it is. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, I still need more courage to oh, this is a tee -hee. Uh oh my lord. Let's see if we can go to um Let's not, go. The, not the gauntlet runner, well, but I want to do right, something then. else while we have time. Let's <laughs> see. I feel like doing wisdom would probably be the best bet right, here. Then. And I know that wisdom should be just Let's over go. here. Let's get to take a little rookshay wookshay over at the thing here. Talking nonsense, you are. So how do I talk to him? Maybe, maybe I have to approach him when we're on the runner, which I didn't do. Maybe that's why. What do you want to do? Marvel. Wait, is he giving me a side fence? That's so. Na, 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 
Talking nonsense, you are. That's a team. Wow. This looks like a really good spot. Oh, yeah? The way that the mountains of Montario form a ring around the city kind of makes me think of a necklace. Altaberry Heights sports quite the view. I'm actually pretty used to more rural, natural areas, but there is something about mountain scenery that is unfailingly, what they say? Charming. Man, every place that we've been, we've seen deserts, oceans, mountains, and all sorts of environments, sometimes even within the same kingdom. Hey there. If you had to pick between the mountains and the ocean, which would you, which would you say that you like better? Mm, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the mountains. So that mean I can see where you're coming from. An ocean breeze might be refreshing, but this crisp mountain air has the shoreline beat by a long shot. It's it's not even just that though. I mean, like the ocean, like like living next to the ocean or close by it is nice, but like if you are always near it, like you have to deal with other crap too. Whereas the mountains are just they just chill there they just they just there exactly so all right <laughs> Ooh, okay time marches on and the age okay. of the new we have one more day and then the story's gonna throw us for another loop and already feel it hey do you have any unfinished business around here? We've got to scoot tomorrow, whether you're ready to say goodbye to this place or not. This is where all of that will be settled. Let us leave no intention unrealized. The prince would want it that way. I genuinely thought that you were going to tell us to stuff ourselves at Monterio's uh, restaurants while we still can, but I guess you don't think with your stomach all the time. Right, Actually, does she? No, she does. She does. Alkenberg only thinks about food. Shall we? All right, then. I think it's just, um... She, wants to, she still wants to talk to us right now. I don't mind talking to her, but the only thing, though, is right, that if, if we Let's don't go. do this, I don't know if the other people are still going to be there. We kind of have to do this. Also, we're hitting 80... We just hit 86 hours of in in-game time, by the way. That's a scene. Then. What should we do? Now that. Okay, we did the city. Um, it's just those two and this one okay, here. So let's do this one. That's cutting it close. Let's be. Let's fucking go. Ah. Just give me one second. La di da di da. La di da di da. Okay, we're good. What to pick? Hey, dude, can I DM you on Discord? Yeah, no, no worries. Um, do I do I have you on Discord? I think I do, right? I could be wrong. Yeah, no, feel free. You can DM me. No worries. I'm not gonna. I I mean, like, mm, we're, we should be done streaming soon, though. So, like, if you're okay with it, like, I can look at it after. Um, what were we doing? We we're going to the runner. Let me take a look. What were we doing? Huh? Got it. I don't think so, but I'll add to you. Yeah, just, yeah no, no worries, no worries. We're just chilling. Uh, Got it. Let me see here. Let me take a big poop here. Right. All right, we got some more. Uh, what is that? Almighty stew. And then I think if we can go talk to Basilio, which I don't know where he is, he might unlock his bond. Maybe. All right then. Where is this man? Is he downstairs? Go. Oh, I was right. Yo. Ooh. Let's say I'm a fish, yeah. Hypothetical, like, supposing that I were a fish, do you think I would taste any good? Is he rizzing me right now? Is he flirting? This is kind of, this is kind of kinky. 
What are you getting at? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's like, he's like, if I was a fish, what would you, what would I taste like? Mm. Truth is, when we went to Virga Island, I started thinking it would be nice to be a fisherman. I thought you wanted to open a Denny's. Excuse me? But I can't swim to save the life of me. So if I fall in the water, then that's me done for ya. So I thought that my chances might be a touch better if I didn't taste good. No good, is it? But what else can I do about it? Uh, do you want to talk about yeah. you being a fish? We can do that. You got a proper heart of gold, don't you? No, I'm just genuinely curious about why you think you're a fish. Sorry, this is so weird. It's not really as big a deal as it sounds. It's about Dell. Is all. Felt like he died trusting me to sort some things out on my own. The whole Louis thing, sure, but where do I go from here? Like, I mean, Dell protected me when I was nothing, and I can't stay nothing else. I'll never pay that debt back. Yeah, I've got to keep pushing forward. Thing is. I don't know where I'm going, or where I even want to take myself. So instead of going forward, I feel like I'm just running in circles. We'll have to win first. Oh, you're right there, but... Ugh. Basilio is doing setups like a possessed man. I mean, what happened? I watched over Basilio as he lost himself in an endless set of setups. Bro, come on. How, how, how did we get to this point? But, um. Ah, oh, bollocks. What were we just talking about? Knows. Uh, who knows? Ah, oh, just came back to me. <laughs> you imagine I got points for saying that? He's, future, like, he's like, yes, him. But well, suppose that can all wait, eh? Luis had it all wrong, but all his posh talk sounded right to me. So we hung on to his dream, us two, and we made it ours too, for all the good that did. We just turned into the same kind of grown-ups we used to hate when we were kids. They used to call us whatever they liked. Too weak, too young, or just the wrong bleeding tribe. Any excuse to look down on us. We can't let them make that our world's normal. So, for now, I'll just focus on getting stronger and look into the future. I'm counting on you. Thanks. That's it then, eh? Gonna give it all I got for Del's sake and my. Hey, yo, fist bump. The ardent champion, Bros be Basilio. Within him dwells the virtue of the berserker. Nurture thy bond with him. <laughs> it's been a good day. Ooh. Oh, we can read his thing after too. I want to see what his stuff says. You got the berserker. You can now study the berserker in academia. Blah, 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 blah. I think his is like technically it should I've be the last one that we can learn. Where I'm going. No quick answer, I figure. So I can think about it all I like. <gasps> oh, babe, are you good? Oh, no worries. It's, it's nothing. Just an old scratch is all. That literally looked like so, you started um, to feel over. That was weird. You know, sorry to trouble you, yeah. After seeing Basilio rush off, I headed back as well. With the protection of the royal magic gone, the tournament for the throne escalates. Those who would turn the tide with military might are spurred by opportunity. Milo's path to a world where beauty reigns is once again thwarted by the party's gauntlet runner. His frustration boils over, marring his elegant countenance. Ah, that would be Milo. Milo and his palace of beauty, Hildebrand. Mm. Oh. We can do this. Keep your. Milo, you're not getting away from us now. Ah, 
it would appear this is turning in a decidedly uglier direction. Alas, I'd have much preferred if you and that loveless had blotted out one another. Oh, unfortunate I think, souls. I think they mentioned earlier that he lied about people were getting killed or something, beauty. but I don't actually know if that was a lie or not. Mutual elimination would have been your sole means of bettering this world. Shut your mouth! How dare you trick us! <laughs> well, I suppose there is one way I might rectify this situation and secure the reign of beauty. I need only dispose of you all here and now. Of course, if you intend to defy me, then you're welcome to try. Alibut! We're not just going to let you win. Everyone, fall back. You, you won't truly hold back. are revolting. Darkness! This is just what I need. A bit your turn. Here I go. Everyone, you you charge. Berserker! I'll hand back. You so think happy. yourself my equal? Shrek. Oh. I bid you all farewell. Did he just use a heat riser? Excuse me. A mirror. Oh. No, 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 no. You know what I say to that? I say. I say no. The repellent has just faded. Get out of here. Now. Oh, yeah. Are you to fire? Mm. <laughs> well, 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 well. I'll stick. Soul hacker. Fire. Oh. Oh. Their weakness. The the oh. Get your butt out of here, Moa. Behold this power. Burn. Enough. Their weakness. Take my fullest Don't power. Let him down, Judah. Oh. He's gonna say something. He's gonna be like, "Oh my God, you almost this shot me. Is That's crazy." Wrong. This is unforgivable. unforgivable. A man of beauty cannot lose to these graceless barbarians. Huh. I'm sorry, what did you? Did he just heal well. himself again? No, 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 no. Oh, Hold on. What did you just do? Let's, get it. Let's go. Everyone, <laughs> Okay, that's rude. I Wasn't it supposed to be repelled in the elemental? Wait. Oh, it's. Oh, no. Oh, I see what happened. I see what happened. That's a him. You're rude. Excuse me. How dare you? I've never been charmed before in this game. Like, come on. This is the power said to belong to a priestess. This should help. Thanks. You, you better be ready. Are but you could take him. The ugly shall burn. You have their weakness. Watch me. Raging fire. That taunt me. If he tries to heal, I'm going to be very mad. I bid you all farewell. I don't like that. We stop I that. Bid you all farewell. Summoner. Forgive the intrusion. Hideous. I won't hold back. Hideous. I'll be taking that. Hideous. The next one's yours. I call upon a royal hideous. soul. Hideous. <laughs> Do you mind? Hideous. Souls of kings. Give me strength. Hideous. <laughs> Okay. You know, I can't even lie. These contestants are extremely weak. I don't even know why they're considered fights. I feel like they should be like actual proper boss battles or something. Um... Let's get I, think I think we're okay to go through here. Let's Hold on. Can I do this one? This Scour. this might work. Oh, it worked. Ooh. Oh. 
I always forget that actually. <laughs> if the, I might the, ask, is it Secret Dale or whatever? Oh my god, this is crazy. Time, what about you is actually beautiful? You belittle people. You manipulate them with your schemes. I, I genuinely don't understand. What is anyone supposed to find beautiful about you? I. Silence! I'm. I am beautiful. Surely you need only look, yes? Even a plain, simple little girl like you will understand if you look upon my face. Uh, I am sorry, but is there something I should find appealing about it? In any case, you lost! And if you try to manipulate us ever again, you'll I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be so mad if he makes it to the top three. If I see his face on the on the statue, I'm fucking pissed. Narcissus brooch. Ooh. Oh, we forgot to look at the other item that we got earlier too. I want to see. Well, that settles that. I want to see. Good work. We have finished our objective, so let's go and head back now. Well, that's it. The only thing we have left to do is the actual story segment that they're gonna throw. So, just a heads up, everyone. Um, there might be spoilers coming. Just be careful. Oh, close your eyes. Right, let's go take a look outside let me also take a look at the accessory we just got because apparently it's supposed it... to be very very good what now? hold on what did we just get um that's inkling and then this one Magic plus 15 and luck plus 15, and it also pre prevents charm. Are you kidding me? That's really good for farming, by the way, because um, gold, the gold you get from merchant goes up every luck point. So that's actually really good. Uh, I mean, who could we put this on right now, though? Hmm. You know what? Maybe it would actually go really good on her. Let's just do that. Man, that is a that is a T. Um, is there anything else that we really need to get right now? I don't think we do. Hey. I couldn't help but notice that Milo's steaming shite of a runner is back in town. Should I take that as a sign that you won? <laughs> Serves the bloody fool right. What I'd sorry, what I have sorry, what I give to deck him one myself. He must be licking his wounds. The pompous prat can cower in there like a child for the rest of his days for all I care. I mean, I kind of feel bad for him a little bit, but like still. I really am glad though. I'm glad that painted mongrel didn't really end up coming out on top and that you're still standing. And if I'm being honest, I didn't really give two shites about the government, and my followers were in the same boat. We knew no matter who became king, it wouldn't change our tribe or how the folks look at us. We didn't really expect anything to change. Did he just want to get people drunk so that everyone would just be drunk? And then he wouldn't have to worry? And that's how an idiot like me rose to glory. Thinking back on it, it never should have happened. Which is why I'm really glad that I met you. <laughs> we were just wastrels clinging on to the lowest hanging fruit. You opened our eyes though, so I want you to have this. Wait, what am I get are you giving me? Mission accomplished. What, what are you giving me, bruh? A sumptuous magla feast. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, we never actually see Milo again, or Milo, or no whatever. What to do. All right, then. Um, but I mean, God has a plan. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, he, him, on. him, or Rudolph are gonna come out of nowhere, and they're probably both gonna fight us or something. We're gonna get double teamed. Katharina comes to mind. Should I talk to her? Mm, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hi there. Thank you. You know so. Oh, hold on. I was just thinking back to what Manaho said about finding proper jobs. He was right about that, at least. Honest work would lead to honest lives, and more importantly, food on the table. But 
But that's where I hit a dead end. What jobs could therapists like us even qualify for? Yeah. Well, it's not every day that you see Katharina here in Altabury. Huh? Oh my god, who is Oh, it's this guy, Eudorikus. You gathering people up for work in these parts? No. No, I'm done doing that. I've got a steady gig at a huge furniture shop. The old man who runs the place has taken a liking to me. <laughs> He's even letting me come up with new products and finding new help. I even pulled all of those guys that you saw on the carriage the other day. I'm so glad. Well, isn't that just brilliant? I'm over the moon for you. Uh -huh. It's all thanks to you, you know. Wait, how? The old man is only nice to Parapus like us because apparently you saved his life a long ways back. He was cutting wood in the mountains and some bear did not much appreciate it. So he started running for his life when you swooped in and then you took it down. <laughs> he says that he knows most of us Parapus are actually good folks, so he doesn't mind giving us work. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute. Give the furries work. Let's go. Work the furries. That's wonderful, fantastic even. Uh, excuse me. That all being said, he's probably just one guy in a long list of people that you've helped, right, Katharina? Well, that goes around, well, sorry, what, co blah, blah. well, what goes around comes around. <laughs> if you're ever in a pinch, you can come straight to us, you hear? Mm. I've been literally speaking 84 years. Let it end. Thank you. And tell all of the lads that I said hello. I see it clear as day. Relying on others, Han. It wasn't really in my nature before, but there is some stuff that even I can't do alone. Right One person making waves may not amount to much, but when everyone gets stuck in, the world's gonna change. I know it. Right. I'm glad that you've come around to that. Oh, so you had it all put together already, huh, Will? Impressive. Thank you. Thanks, so, though. So much. You've always been there for me. Yeah, I've always been there for her, even though she attacked me three times in a row. Not about that. <laughs> like, for real. If anyone remembers that, by the way, that was, like, real shit. Like, she kept fucking coming at us in her gauntlet runner, and we had to fucking put her shit down. I know that you really never had the time, um, but you carved out some anyway. And you know what? I think that's why we deserve a king. Think of the future. A king will? Wait, what they say? We deserve a king will? Oh, she's saying me king. She wants me to be king. I want to live in the kind of world that you create, Will. I can sense Katharina's newfound purpose and her unshakable faith in me. Oh, what's this one? Look like get treasure now. hunting. Displays the location of treasure chests in unexplored areas. Oh, that's actually really good. Comrades in battle. Katharina will actually support the party in certain dungeons. She is a force to be reckoned with. I think we remember reading this before a while back, and I don't know what this means. So we'll need to like actually see this. Katharina will now come to assist you in certain dungeons. While in a dungeon, Katharina may exhibit her martial art, sorry, her martial arts prowess at the beginning of a battle by performing a powerful attack on a single enemy. <gasps> Ooh. Let's talk shop. You know, something is dawning on me, and I'm not really sure how to put words into it, but most people find work through connections, right? And they try to make themselves sound like a good fit for that kind of work. Don't fret now. I guess what I'm saying is, is that really such a bad thing? Take me for instance, I'm pretty tenacious. You know that about me? Certainly. Oh, Aurora, thank you. Also, Tihi. Don't worry, I'll, I'll come on later and we, um, I'll DM you later. Don't worry, babe. <laughs> we're almost done. I think that we're going to be on for at least like another hour or something. I'm shameless too. I'm not done asking for your help by, by a long shot, Will. It's okay. Pets you softly, babe. Don't worry. See you in a bit. So anyway, I'm going to be out there putting the work in. So do not be a stranger. Katharina's faith in me has earned me the support of the impoverished Parapus. This is what we say. We say no to racism. No, no racism. I have had enough. When this game finally comes to an end, I I will do everything I can to avoid <sighs> stories that have this shit in it because it, this this is a lot to get through. There's so much shit going on. We are as prepared. What the hell? That is loud as hell. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh. Is that just me? I feel like the volume just turned up really loud. Let me know if somebody noticed that too. Apparently, by the way, this game has really sussy audio bugs. Um, and they recently did an update, which apparently fixed a bunch of them, but apparently there are still some here, so. 
you didn't notice it maybe maybe it was just me i think um the scene tra transitioning over to here i think it like triggered something for my headset or something it was weird we're about as prepared as we can be and tomorrow is the big day we're gonna be up against luis and this time he's gonna be ready and waiting for you Ew. captain surely you have reservations about this right hmm. wait why forgive me if i'm speaking out of turn but is your mind truly clear Somehow. about I mean to say that if you strike down a man who is not your true enemy, will you truly be able to call yourself a righteous prince? Mm. I mean, he's not exactly the best person in the world. Fine. My heart is clear. I know as I know it must be done. Yes. Then I am glad to hear it. However, I challenge you on this only because I think it is foolish to be brought to a standstill by it. May I speak? I do not believe that Luis. Sorry, I do not believe Luis innocent in the slightest. And on the contrary, in but a few months, he has slain the king and your comrade besides. Is it any wonder what, sorry, that people seek to end his life? He has lived by a doctrine of power and his every step has been in service of that purpose. Mm. He has sealed his fate and you as a contender for the throne should not waste time deliberating um, over whether such an ideology is fit to rule. Is that not It'll so? Be all right. You are already in second place in this contest. Countless people have thrown their support behind you. Do not forget that. Aizme made a pretty good point. If we're going to take back the country, then you can't let any self-doubt stop you in your tracks here. You know what's really crazy? The fact that, like, Luis has always been in, like, the top two. Never has his position been shaken. Where are all the people that are actually really supporting him? I haven't seen them. All, of it, all I've seen are, like, Sanctus right now. Aizme made a really good point. Um, if you're going to take back the country, then you can't let any self-doubt stop you in your tracks. I can't lose. Everything that we've done has been for this day, so let's take it all in and stick it to Luis, Rella, Andreas, and everyone else that we've lost. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna beat some ass right now. Right. I don't want a king who believes might makes right. There's no reason that you can't be a contender yourself. Besides. And now that you have declared yourself the prince, it's not like you can actually afford to fall on your face in front of everyone anyway. Oh. <laughs> she just had to say that. Oh, that so close. Me. Nurse apparently wants to make some kind of grand entrance into Grand Chad with the Skyrunner. Despite everything going on, that is his biggest priority, but maybe that's exactly what we need to make this work. Okay, then. I see what they're doing. They want it to be nice and flashy. They want to make sure that everybody knows who the hell we are. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. It's finally here. So we set off for the royal capital and then the decisive battle of our lives. I am actually a little disappointed. I had just begun to grow accustomed to the cold. I can't say the same. Regardless, we have done all that we can here. Let us depart with our heads held high, yes? Nurse seemed thrilled about arriving by sky instead of teleportation magic. <laughs> all it will take is a day to get there from here. We'll have them city folks shaking in their boots. Let's meet, at the, let's meet at the runner once we have polished off breakfast. Stop it. Don't talk about food, please. You're gonna make me hungry. At last, only a day remains. Whatever Luis throws at us, this is where we end it. Between him and the criers, he certainly made a production of this. You don't suppose it's a trap? Nah. Absolutely. He just this is totally a trap. That'll make history. That's the bastard through and through. Indeed. The man's in first place right now. Not much he stands to gain from subterfuge. But I'll admit, I have All my own suspicions. All of this is so weird. What? Losing your nerve, old fella? Just in case anyone wasn't here for some of the other stuff, essentially what happened was Luis ended up getting um, a weapon. Here he stole a weapon, quote-unquote. Which let him attack people um, that were being protected by the, the king's magic or whatever. And then at some point, he's just like, fuck it. Like, why do we even need this? Why don't we all just kill each other? Why would you want that? He could have taken everyone out and become king. Why does he want everyone to fight each other? This makes no sense. Me? I'm ready to lay the I'm expecting some out. really big sussiness coming. You can start with one for Del. Give him a hundred for yourself. If he becomes king, the kingdom is finished. Maybe even destroyed from the sounds of it. Rella said as much too about the country being overrun with hordes of humans. That might be his real aim. Though I can't for the life of me think why Luis would want that. 
I thought he'd made his name as this grand human slayer. At the very least, we know that Luis will not wield the king's magic to save this land. We have our own future we're dreaming of. For Maria and Fabienne. For Grius and Rella. We've got to win this. For everyone's sakes. You would pursue peril. Great. Let's move out. The stage is set for the decisive battle to take place in Grand Tran. And so the gauntlet runner takes to the sky. He does not return within the hush of teleportation magic as a mere wanderer, but with the fanfare required of one who would claim to be prince. He is a boy no more. He stands now on equal footing with Luis, and his triumphant descent over the capital will finally make that known, whether or not his gambit is only a means to an end. Oh, He's my here. word. Wow, it's really him! Welcome back, your highness. His Royal Highness, the Prince. We've been waiting for you. Go and teach that damn Luis a lesson. Finally, this seems this is better than way, any of the fables. way too good to be I true. All this is weird. Luis to win. Sounds like they're more excited about the spectacle than about the Prince being alive. Still, suppose it makes sense. But by the faces in the sky and upon the rock, we are squarely set in second place. Even with the gap between us and Luis. The prince has faithful supporters. Though tis not truly his highness's face wrought in stone, but our captain's. After all this time, I cannot help but feel conflicted. Luis spares nothing for an old woman like me. Saint Rella spoke truth. We need the help of his royal How much? Highness, how much do you want to bet? He's the boy the, with the, the actual blessing. prince is going to pull up in front of genuine. everyone, if and everyone's going to sit there and be like, mm, what the actual fight? Should I take his they showed him waking up. Luis? We don't know Even what happened after, after that, though. They still keep her words close. I suppose no amount of past sins could make them forget her genuine kindness. Seems strange to say, but we owe her a great deal. Without her, the people would never have come. Much less placed their trust in us. We can't let them down. But looking around the city, some of the fervor seems beyond reason. Your Highness! You can't stop it, Luis! You've got to kill all the idiots who believe in him! They're not right in the head! That right? You're the ones who aren't right in the head! It's because of stiff old cowards like you that this country's been spinning its wheels! Not ever getting better! Then why hasn't Luis shown up yet, eh? Sounds like he's your coward! After he arranged all this, too. True enough. If he doesn't even show up after all this fuss he's made, everyone would feel like fools. Probably going for another big grandstanding entrance like at the royal funeral. So care what he's planning. Either way, he's dead meat. Save your fury for the fight ahead. But still. Over there! His Royal Highness the Prince has arrived! Whoa, and Lady Juna as well! I can't get over that Lady Juna looks so with an weird. Public, but this is like her true form. That shit was crazy. We don't want to get stuck. I, uh, I'm popping back in the room. Let's head to the hushed honey bee in for oh, now. Welcome in, Coco. How are you, baby? Sure, Enjoy doing your, your work work. No worries, baby. All the customers say they're on your side. I was surprised at how popular you are. Oh my word. It's Maria. Have you been doing okay? Everything was fine. Everyone kept talking about you a lot, so I didn't get so lonely. I never thought Luis would be the one throwing down the gauntlet to you. If he'd survived, I'm sure he'd say the same. 
You'd better get some rest tonight. Come on, Maria. It's time you went to bed. I wish we could stay up and talk more. Good luck tomorrow. I'll be cheering for you. It's finally happening. We've got to win this. For Grius's sake, too. Victory is in our grasp. We once thought it impossible to save His Highness the Prince, after all, and he now lives. But without the King's wards, we'll be fighting on even ground. He won't make this easy on us. The King's magic lived up to the legends. Capable of shaking the world itself. Every man, woman, and child has been at its whims for months. Not the kind of power any of us want in Luis's hands. But will this fight truly settle everything? By the spell's own rules, the throne will go to whoever wins the most support. Even after this battle, the crown's fate isn't mm -hmm. set. We saw how the people's hearts have been whipped to dangerous passions. When the dust settles... Whatever they make of it, we've come this far. All we can do now is finish our fight and strike to kill. Any less, and Luis will cut us down. Indeed. Let us now devote ourselves to victory, and then worry of what comes after. We must believe in all we've yet accomplished. <sighs> this should be our last battle against Luis. I'm just trying to stay hopeful. Knowing how far we've come, now you've awoken your archetype. Forged friendships, and taken so many burdens on your shoulders. You've really risen to this fight. It's been an honor to serve. Well, listen to you sounding like a proper hero. I suppose the prince thing is rubbing off on you, but it takes me back. If the prince could see you now, he'd be pretty proud of you. Do Where you is he? You and he were best friends. What is going on? Best friends. Wait, what? Wait, what you saying? What's the matter? Oh, sorry. I felt like I'd misspoke for a second or something. Wait. Don't mind me. Huh? What the fuck? What just happened? Guys, what the fuck? What, what, why'd she say that? Also, thank you. Thank you for tr contributing to the cringe goal, baby. Thank you. Anyway, we'll make sure this is the... What the fuck? No. Yeah, what did she say? You and he were best friends. I'm so confused. Oh my god, no! Why are you ripping your farts in my stream, bruh? That's Even really weird. Why did she say that? Report a victory to His Highness personally, what is right? going on? I can sense Gallica's strong determination. Yada, yada, yada. Rank 7. It's like I'm seeing the prince smile again. Right. Let's get some rest. We'll need it come tomorrow. It's been a while. It feels like it's sorry. It feels like ages since I was so? last here. The best way to get prepared for tomorrow is by getting some rest. But I want to go do stuff. I got you. You want to sell it one on one, eh? Well, of course he does. When all you care about is power, everything has to be a duel. Speaking as his old right hand man, I can tell you this man is strong, terrifying strong. That man. Let's quick, quickly talk to everybody before we go through. Now then. Um, you know. At last. It's... Make yourself at home. Me to you. But then. I think they were saying that there's only it's only the two of us. I think everybody else got dropped out or something. All right, it should be good. Let me go ahead and shave. I'm just shave now. All right. Good night. Oh, is that? 
Oh my god, it's At um, long last, my lord, Zorba. our investigations have borne fruit. We know where the true prince lies. Those loyalists who disappeared with the prince led us right to him. We found traces of their coming and going. Where was he hiding? Far to the west of the royal capital, deep within a forest said to bewitch those who should wander in. An old village erased from today's maps. That said, against all odds, it seems that this place is... The lost village of the Elder. Last trampled by Forden's troops, sent to burn it to the ground. You knew then. Wait, hold on. Did, did we get tricked? Did he want us to go to Grand Trad so that he could sneak off and go find the prince? Is that I what happened? Now. To hide in a place publicly declared as destroyed. Quite a gamble. The prince was That's born there, you know. An illegitimate son after the past king's heart was drawn to a woman of the village in his youthful years of debauchery. What? Then the prince really does bear elder blood. Forden did not raise the village for any defiance of his scriptures. He thought only to eliminate an inconvenient heir, a threat to his power before his birth was known. The prince's survival, his complete disappearance, this was the missing piece. Zorba, go and snuff them out for good. Sir, what? Consider Why? them annihilated. I've been hoping for an opportunity to test this <laughs> newfound power. Now, the battle at the royal capital looms. I must begin my own preparations. If you call yourself the prince, then I will give you a prince's end. And I have just the spell to do it. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. I literally, I, I, I don't know what to say. This is so wild. Ah. I don't understand what's going on. Good morning. Did you sleep well? Ready to face the day? There's something sussy gonna happen. This time, I won't let you down. Stop that. You never have before, and you won't start today. Try to relax. And don't let this weigh too heavy on your shoulders. But you have to come back. No matter what. I confess yeah, please, my mind strays back to the royal Please, I want to go fight him now. Yet we are more than we ever were then. Now we have the power to see this through. Let's get out there, thrash him, and come back here to celebrate. Never thought we'd find ourselves back at the Grand Cathedral for the final showdown. Let's pull ourselves together, ready our supplies, and give him hell. Let's head there. Can we talk? Make sure that you have everything you'll Just need. I, I, I think we're good. All right then. I don't think we have anything else I have to worry about. Let's go. I think. Oh, you know what? I can get some more mag before we go talk to him. There's a statue there. Magla, wow. Okay, so what do I do here? Do we just do we just go in? Ready? It is time for our showdown against Luis. Are you ready? Oh my god, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Uh, well, bit of a tricky situation. I uh, can't exactly say I'm the tournament's official crier anymore, things being what they are. I mean, Sanctifex Forden and St. Rella are gone. Bluntly speaking, there is no tournament anymore. But like hell, if that's gonna stop me as a lone citizen Just in case, watching if you don't want to be spoiled, of our country, please, you can please look upper your eyes. I don't want to spoil anybody that does not want to be spoiled. Fight. I'm just making sure. Free, Fight the power. 
<laughs> Very good. Let's begin, shall we? The Day of Judgment is here. The final fight between Luis, military paragon and one-man army, and the boy who claims to be the Fallen Prince. The entire continent's eyes are on this battle, folks, oh and God. only That's one of them is walking what away. That nose deal. Let's see a show of true strength, worthy of our new king. Your Highness, you can win. Give Luis the boot. Kill Luis! Kill Kick him in the balls. balls. <laughs> it looks to me like Luis <laughs> hasn't Smack even won the show at the royal capital. But there's no way he'd run away from this. Any time now. Any time. It's Luis's gauntlet runner. And so the leading candidate finally makes his appearance. The two titans of this race have finally come face to face. Let's introduce our candidates once again for this final bout. Our first candidate, Count Luis. Adopted son of a minor nobleman, he rose to fame on his incredible military merits, quelling domestic conflicts and almost becoming our nation's youngest general. Suspected of attacking his highness, he was denounced and cast down but his name has since been cleared, and now here he stands, closest to the throne. Then we have the Elden Candidate, he who claims to be none other than His Highness, the Prince. Though his identity is this uncertain, is like really his formal. strength is undeniable. Like... Through his campaign, we've seen his team flourish, counting even the songstress Juna among them. The time has come to demonstrate his power. Will it be enough for this youth to take the throne? I have to commend you. A lesser man would have run. This all began with the king's failings. He was an unworthy ruler, and his incompetence bred the chaos that followed. You, who claim to be the prince, what do you believe the people seek in their king? The intellect to resolve everything. <sighs> Many would dismiss the idea, but resorting to force Can is never the... Alone Wait, what? The people? In the Why end, did we only get three options? That's power. not normally what we would have picked. Now let me ask you, That's weird. my gathered people. What is it that makes a king? Power! My Lord Luis, kill him now! Only the strong can rule! Your Highness, show us your power! Young candidate. Have you or your party any final speeches before the duel? We have only one thing to say. Wake up! Luis's fair world is barbaric. A land where the strong prey on the weak. He promises protection, but he is the very man who would see you slain. Hear this! Luis ordered my home destroyed by a human. Are we a land of animals? Or are we a nation united in the protection of the weak, in raising up our neighbors? He's the type of man who will kill anyone who gets in his way. If you crown him king, I know the country will burn. Rella said as much. People, do not let your hearts falter. I desire but one thing. A world without I like, inequality. I like how he stepped in and he's like, he's like, no, no, no. He's like, don't listen to them. To all of those do not believe Andor's lies. Those who do not, however, will be slain without mercy or regret. Oh my god. It could not Please, be just let me fight him. I'm like, get out of here. If your equality means you will sacrifice the people who need help most, then I deny your world. So... You think you have the strength to protect the weak? 
Then prove to me these are more than empty words. Oh, I got Skyper. Hi, babe. Girl, what are you doing in your Skyper, bro? <laughs> this is like, this is like Come big in. plot shenanigans, bro. You're going to get spoiled. I mean, I don't actually know what's going to happen, but it's going to be spicy. And you will die in its name. I know, he's really hot, by the way. I know. How are you doing, babe? We're finishing this. I'm not gonna remember this. Okay, I will pray for your soul. Also, I don't know if, um, just in case, if we do have a mod still in here right now, can we please have a shouty outie um, for Coco as well as Skyfer as well, just in case. But if not, if we don't have someone that can do that, just a heads up, everyone, please go follow Coco and Skyfer. They are beautiful people. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Bones. God bless you. I didn't know whether or not you were uh, doing something else right now, but thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, of course, no worries. Meow, meow, meow. Wait, what am I doing? Maybe not. All right, we gotta, we gotta like kick this Hawkeye's ass. This Soul hacker is charging in. Shroud. Huh? I'll show you. This might be a good strategy. No of kings, me. give me strength. I owe you one. Stay insane in a fight. Wait, I've got the Not game. Not bloody likely. Wait, did you did you buy this today? Like you bought this game, or are we talking about a different game? Because I swear there was like one other game. You did buy this today? Oh my god. Okay, you're gonna love it. Um, just a heads up though, if you play on hard mode at any point, the game actually does get a bit hard. Stay insane. And you may in have to do fight. a little bit of grinding. Not but, bloody likely. Um. I mean, if you can like yellow it and figure out how to get through on your own and grind, you should be okay. Let me know if you need help with anything. Also, like low key, there are specific things in the game that they don't tell you, and they're like very useful. So I will like, you know, if you if you Stay need help, let me fight. know. I will I will Not DM you tips likely. and stuff. All right. Uh, this is a team here. Let's go. Darkness. It's a tee -hee. I went. Through, I went like. Ha I'm assuming we're halfway through the game. I went halfway through without knowing certain things, and then I realized now, and I was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> I'm like, I could have like Come, got extra goodies. My challenge. You know, of course, no raise. I got the game. This is just what I need. That's not your turn. We settle this I'll here. I take my fullest power. Come forth now. <laughs> Oh, come here! No, you could take him. They won't hold back! Do I not have. Oh, here we go. Scour! <sighs> to the rear guard. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Shroud. <sighs> Moving back. This might be a good start. From a distance, then. Please. I will annihilate you. Come, accept my challenge. <sighs> my scars. I know what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah, that's what we're talking about. Having that high agility and giving him that that uh that diva Here is tasty. We love that. What all y'all come forth, royal soul. Is that time for some close soul hacker? Falling back. Huh? Wind. Ooh. Let's go. Scour. Behold this power. Burn. I shall do my best. I can do this. This is going a bit easier than I thought it would. Can you enjoy Treasure sword, unlock affinity? Oh no, what did you do? Come, accept my challenge. What did you just do? Seriously? Icy spatial slice. Oh, I see that's your game. I see how it is. Juna, oh, careful. awesome your souls, do your down. thing. By this power, everyone, fall back. There is no escape from me. Wind. 
We settle me. this here. Please, there is no escape from me. Give me strength. We you settle this here. I won't hold back. Darkness. <laughs> Gotta keep those buffs up. I see. It would appear you have the metal to defend your claims. Then I need not hold back either. I will. Soul Scream. Gain four turn icons. Can Excuse you me. Endure it? Sir? I strike to kill! Uh huh. Oh. Oh, I see what's going on here. I strike to kill! Nice one, Captain! Is this a joke to him? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? I Ew. Bro, that was sad. Maybe not. Your turn. Even my strength will be needed. We have provisions. I knew you'd help. Thank you. Thanks. You defy the rule of strength. All yours. Then Stop. die by it. Scour. Oh, no, I'm running out of MP. We no. Settle this here. No. Hmm. What are the buffs looking like? Wind. Ooh. I'll give you the performance of a lifetime. Let's get some use out of it. That helped. Thank you. I owe you one. Can you endure it? I'm still I waiting for his like kill. secret no. ability or something. They were saying Come. that he has like some crazy my ass my trying, like was it called like a no. like a trunk part or something? No. I'm not seeing it. <laughs> Bro, I literally we have like how many hold on, hold on. How many buffs of defense do I have on right now? We have three buffs of defense. Um and we have Three debuffs on him for attack, so he literally does like no damage. That is a Teehee. I'm I'm so surprised that he's not like actually carrying himself. Let's see here. I must hold back. What do? Summoner, heed me. I'll hang back. Come forth, royal soul. Trap. There is no escape from me. Meow meow meow. Scour. I need to heal my MP. Oh my god. What? I will annihilate you! That was Can you endure rude. it? Come! Accept my challenge! Uh, that's attack. Uh, uh, nice one, Captain! Uh, I see. Cuba, we gotta do I'll something about you. all those ailments! Watch yourself! No need to worry. Thanks. I'm grateful. Thanks. This is the power said to belong to a... Here I go! Now please go right there. Let's get a crack on you. You, you can come forth, down. royal soul. Me, 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 me. No. Here. You Still defy happen. the rule of strength, then die by it. Wind. <laughs> However. Oh, what are you saying? What are you saying? <laughs> good. Very good. Yours is a worthy power, one untainted by petty tactics or cheap tricks. That is not correct. <laughs> that is not. In that is not correct at all. I literally debuffed him to hell. That is absolutely a dirty trick. That's an SMT uh, tactic. You truly have become more powerful, but I would expect no less of a remnant of humankind. You're a survivor of a lost tribe, aren't you? I'm sorry, what? Humankind? Because he's elder, you would call him a monster. <gasps> oh my God, guys, were we fucking, were we right? Does elder... Does Elda mean like the elder race, like closer to the original human race? Is that what this is? You should know the truth by now. 
After all that time I allowed you to spend on that pagan island. So we, we knew uh, by the Sanctus Church Bones, we fucking we fought that shit. No doubt you saw all the evidence of a truer history. One that told of ancient times where the land was ruled by a far different people. You mean the legends according to the murals and ruins from the temple? Jufa! Don't humor him! But if that war between gods truly did come to pass... Gods? How droll. They may have governed all things with works far beyond ours, but they were no gods. Honey, the snacks they were an are ancient ready. tribe Guys, unlike go. any other race. Snacks are ready. We got snacks are ready. Let's fucking Wielders go. Of true magic. I don't have snacks, the by the way. The modern age saw them called Elder. Oh, from leader. our cities. But in their time, they were known as humankind. I thought humans were those mad monsters. What are you trying to say now? Luis, you dog. Your lies will soil his highness's name no longer. No, no, no. Let, let him spit. False. Let him let him spit. What I want to see what he's getting at. What's he saying? From lies. Elda are actually humankind? Why wouldn't I know that? Hear me! His appearance as a boy is mere trickery. In truth, he is humankind. He is kin to the feral monstrosities that roam this land, leaving carnage in their wake. He doesn't know when to give up. No one would believe this madness. No need to distress yourself. I'll show you the Wait, proof. Huh? You, boy, who call yourself the prince. You will be the cornerstone upon which my utopia what? is What's built. he doing? Utopia? Wait, what is going on? Is this the Trump court? Sorry, the, tr the Trump cod? What's happening? Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> Hey, what is him? Witness the truth, good people. You would know the identity of your would be prince. Wait, what's my arm? Yeah, he is. Huh? The truth of the humans is laid bare. What? They're no beasts, but another form of the Elder Tribe. Cast aside their guise with magic, and they reveal their true colors. He is no royalty, no boy. I can't tell if he's lying. Fiend intent Wait, on your what? Throne. It's not true. It has to be one of the Count's illusions. What illusion? That's no prince. It's a monster. <sighs> It'll kill us all. Run! What has become of him? It must be Luis's wicked magic. Yet, well, the order of Magla, it's... It's exactly like a human's. He's not! Oh, he's a... A human. Hey! Snap out of it! You have to stop this! I literally don't know how to feel right now. This is a lot. What the f what? <sighs> to help anyone in need, was it too idealistic? Was it too naive to win? Great. Oh, this is that woman from earlier. Luis called it trickery, and even my very body. Be not afraid, child. Tis not thy true self. Tis not thy true fate. <sighs> Wait, who are you? What do you know about it? In this moment, thy mind is disturbed, twisted by the power of that man. The time has come. Thou must face the truth deepest within me. Huh? What's that about it? The deepest truth. Remember again thy true self, the purpose of thy birth. My purpose? <sighs> Yes, that's right. I took on a mission to save the prince. An ideal world. Even if reality crushes everything I believe in, even if my ideals languish, I know I can trust you to see them through. 
It's always been that way. Whenever my life's been the hardest, you are always there to help me through it. Oh my god, he looks majestic as fuck. After oh all, my god. you're my... After all, you are my... What? Wake up! Wake what? up! What is hey! going on? What happened? Are you well? I had a strange I dream. Had a strange dream. You, you seem coherent, at least. We saw you take on a terrible, monstrous form. We knew not what to do. You had vast reserves of magic poured into you. It was eating away at your body and mind, but I've managed to suppress it. He may be back with us, but without rest, he will surely succumb to the spell. I don't know if he can withstand the same magic a second time. I will not let you die. It would appear the throne is now mine in every sense. None remain to oppose me. Your vengeance is at hand. Will you not finally slay the monster and avenge your people? Shut up! <laughs> Unfortunately, the prince is finished either way. Both this imposter and the true prince at death's door deep in the woods. <laughs> Bro, can everybody true hear him? Prince? Why would you say that? You You're just bastard. telling everyone your plan. What have you done? Bloody hell. Is that why he called us here? It was all just a bloody distraction. Oh my god, Your it was another was trap. Go where you wish. That's crazy. And I advise you run fast if you would outpace your hunters. Seize the monster! I don't care if you have to kill it! Attention now. This looks dire. How could you deceive us? I knew all along that filthy lowborn was hiding something. Monster! We retreat to our gauntlet runner. We must find him safe haven to rest. What? It won't oh be God. long until the entire kingdom hears of this mess. We've no safe haven left. Galica, we've only got one option now. I'm worried about the prince too. I know. We'll head to my home and the prince's refuge, the Elden Sanctum. Oh my God. Literally what in the world? What happened? Oh, did we just lose <sighs> popularity? Oh shit. Will supporters have begun drastically declining in number? Count Luis has saved the country. He has driven off the human who sought to usurp it. Count Luis is our true savior. Sounds like we've got our next king then. We might as well fall in with him. He'll keep us safe from any humans at the very least. They'll... They'll be all right, won't they? That boy is no monster. I'm sure they'll be fine. Luis! What the hell did he do? Stay safe out there, boy. The flaw of that evil magla was surely born from Luis's magic. What a terrifying force. They they talked about that, I think I remember at the beginning of the game too. Very openly. Like they like talked about it like at the beginning, where I think apparently he has the ability to like to like lure in humans or something or create them, which is interesting, but again, I'll remember that site for the rest of my days. They need to like actually explain how but he's he doing this shit. How is this actually friend. happening? You can't tell me the fight's over. No, stop it. Stop <sighs> it. I worked so hard to get my popularity up. Why are you doing this to me? Why? How did this happen? Anyway, there's no time to waste. We have to set course for the ancient Elden Sanctum. Are we teleporting? I would assume so. Oh my lord. It was more of a defeat than it was a departure. They board the gauntlet runner and rush from the capital, as though hiding from the shrieking animosity of the masses. What more can they endure? There is no light to be seen. A hiding place for the Elder Tribe. Wonders never cease. We can marvel at it later. The mirror hasn't shown me anything for a while. I can't even see the room now, let alone the prince. No. Just after we'd finally resolved the curse, too. I mean, we, final words trouble we, me. we saw him wake up, though. We That's something. On. We just don't know where he's gone. Maybe he's... 
walking around somewhere? At first glance, Maybe he left? It is a simple forest, deep as any other. But the observant may sense that every tree in its formation is ancient and grand, bathed in mystical serenity. The name of this place is familiar only to the few who grasp the truth. The ancient Elden Sanctum. Can you walk, lad? That's a relief. Seems like the rest on the right here did him some good. Poor chap's even got me worried. I'll shuffle along too. Hey. I... Reacted poorly when you were turned into the... That thing. I apologize. My mind just went blank. I... For a moment... I doubted you. Forgive me. I should have recognized Luis's drivel for what it was. I don't blame you. It certainly caught me by surprise. And he's hoping there can be no surprises worse than that. Oh. <laughs> don't work jinxing it, I see. Trees. Okay. If we get lost in here, we're never getting out. It is a I dungeon. A what are we doing? special barrier in place. Meant to deliberately lead people astray, too. A perfect place to hide. Gallica, how far is his highness? Does the far side mirror yield any news? No. I checked a bunch of times in the gauntlet runner. But I'm not seeing anything. I'm worried. Hurry and lead the way. Right. Everyone stay close so we don't get separated. The village is this way. <laughs> I'm worried about the prince. His life is in our hands. He believes in a world where people can make their own future, just like you. He's the only one who can see that dream become a reality. What right, the hell? Wait, is this a dungeon? What's going on? What is going on here? Hold on. Find the prince. Hang on a sec. Yeah, is this a dungeon? What is going on? Huh? This looks like... Who are you? Are you alright? My head is swimming. What is this the place? Royal flower? A surprise to see them blooming here. Something about this place. Yes. The flow of Magla is strong here. It is much like the altar of the dragon god. The Magla in the air seems to be concentrated here. What is this place? Maybe there's like an, another dragon Something here, or like another relic? Your mind seems elsewhere. Oh, sorry. I've got this weird feeling that something really important happened here. Anyway, let's keep moving. Oh my god, no. So here you are at last. No, not Zorba, please. <laughs> God, why? Why? Before I left home, I never knew that these flowers represented royalty, but what are they doing within the ancient sanctum? I mean, did, they did technically talk about how... Why? They talked about how the prince was born here, right? So... Is this not, like, is this not normal? I feel like that's normal. I'm just confused about why all of a sudden people are getting like, people are starting to faint. <laughs> people are starting to like pass out and be like, oh my God, my memories. Oh, why are my memories like this, Brad? This place is clearly what is going ruins, on? but it doesn't look like natural decay. It was burned to the ground. One day, a bunch of kingdom soldiers <gasps> oh, showed up out of the yeah. blue. Without so much as a reason, they made an inferno of the place. But why? Why would His Majesty order such an atrocity? Was it him? Back now. It was probably Forden. It may have been Forden who led the charge. I can't be certain. But if it was up to him, he would have done it just to purge the 
filthy Elder tribe. Luis claimed that the Elden people were just another form of the humans. If he spoke true... They're not. There's no way. Anyway, more than half of the villagers died in the fire. And those who survived were forced to hide in caves. That way everyone would think they were wiped out. Tis a shrewd ploy indeed, to hide in a place the enemy themselves saw destroyed. Yet, why did Alsis? No matter. His Highness is in this cave, correct? Yes, over there. I don't know. I don't know if anyone noticed that, but the uh, the main character what? just that was acting weird. Who said that? Draws no breath. Likely a stab in the back. I doubt he even had time to shout. But who is I that though? Him. Oh, I can show you the world. Thank you, babe. He was a lot more skilled than those sanctest warrior monks. Now, Gallica, the cave is just ahead. Yes. Yes. It's past the woods over there. Then we move. I like how they're slowly taking their sweet time, trying to like guide us to some kind of weird revelation, which I, I just, I don't see it. I don't know what they're saying. This mangle that I am sensing, I'm worried about the prince. We need to hurry over to the hide it on the lower level. Wait, was there something over here too, though? All right, then. This is weird. Ancient Magwald, Great Trees Nadir, and Plaza of Light. Is there like a shop here? Wait, there's fairies. Wait, wait there's fairies here. A fairy. Mm. I think that they'll feel a little alarmed if if we all swarmed in on them as a big group like this. For now, let us leave them and be on, move on. Oh, okay, Tee. Is that a coffin? It is a fairly old Yugif man. It seems that he's working to lay a body to rest. Russell? You're safe! Huh? My word. Is that you, Gallica? You were His Highness's tutor. Hmm? I know but one red tressed knight. Are you the royal guard? The Lady Hulkenberg? By the heavens, then... She's been helping us. Everyone here is a trusted ally. They've all fought to save the prince. Alas, oh, what a tragedy. If this reunion had only been a moment sooner. Russell, where is His Highness? What happened? Is His Highness safe? A few days ago, those detestable cursed thorns finally faded. <laughs> I cannot tell you how long I had waited to see them gone. It was truly a joy beyond words. It happened before we could fathom it. A lone stranger, a loathsome figure, came striding in. Was it Zorba? His Highness had only just regained consciousness since the curse is lifting. Yet, to protect us, he threw himself upon the assassin's blade. I'm sorry, when? We were horror-struck. His Highness lay pierced through the heart. And we saw him breathe his last. No, After that can't be true. all of this? The stranger was a master of magic. None could match him. Of the resistance's numbers. After everything we went through, remain. that's who how he dies? Are you fucking, are you kidding me? I don't me? know who the murderer was, but he cried his oh, patron's name aloud it was as he did the deed. For Count Luis. From the moment he appeared, <laughs> I, I believe his sole purpose was so to much. kill He's his so highness. Annoying. As soon as the lifelight left the prince's eyes, the stranger left with only a smile. An innocent boy, twice tormented in the clutches of assassins. All because of the family he was born into. Luis, there really is no evil you won't stoop to. Please, Russell. Where is the prince? We've laid him in the prayer room for now, at the end of the cave. He rests just this way. You're coming, aren't you, Buff? Listen. Oh my god, bro. They, they should have. I'm like, no, no hate on anyone here, but like, literally, 
like writers why why would you tell me like this they should have had us like find our way into like this the like the sanctum or whatever that he's sleeping in and then have it be like a huge thing where you realize that he actually died there too still either way don't tell me when i'm outside of the cave tell me when i'm in the cave don't don't tell me outside of the cave bro like come on i must oh go God. to him you're right Maybe That's such we'll a weird to way to uh, to, to drop I'd that bomb. I heard a rumor that there was a boy candidate who claimed to be His Highness. So that was you. Yeah, that's me, boy. Just a Cinderella said, "You're no scoundrel." Indeed, you risked life and livelihood to see His Highness restored. Wait, did you get? Did, did they? Did he talk to Rella before? Something in you reminds me of His Highness. Something wrong? Uh, no, it's nothing. Well, I will go before you to the prayer room. Once you are ready, you are free to join me. Before I go to the prince, I think I will help Russell lay this body to rest. That is a tea. You're going to stay here? No. I must bear witness myself. She looks as, out of it, by the way. As his knight, I must. I like how they, they, they took the color palette from everyone. Everyone is, like, grayed out a little bit. The memorandum has been updated. I said that we would do some reading, too, by the way. I don't know if we're going to do this right now, though. I'm a little worried. I need to get to the prince as quickly as I can. <laughs> the prince is in the prayer room on the lower level. I don't want to believe it, but we need to see him for ourselves. It's nearly time. I'm sorry? This voice? Excuse me? Long have I waited. Hey, you. <laughs> what is happening? What's going on? Are you associated with the group that's been sheltering the prince? It's all because of that. Oh, team. It's all because of them that another calamity has befallen us. Huh? Now that I get a closer look at you, are you an Elda? I had heard that the prince was the only Elda within the resistance. Beg pardon? Hold on. Did you really come here from outside of the sanctum? What's going on? No, it can't be. Are you truly Elda? You must hurry. Girl, I'm running as fast as I fucking can. Yeah. These resistance members can keep on sacrificing themselves for all I care. It's not my problem. I guess I guess that came out sounding a little cold. I suppose I can help carry the bodies away. There's too many for that old you gift to handle all on his own. What? Right past this door is the living quarters. Lady Gr uh, Grudai Grude made it strictly clear that it is not to be opened any sorry under any circumstances. You heard me. Sorry. It seems that everyone has already gone down to the case lower level. All was for this day. There is still time. <laughs> Galica, Galica, is that really you? I was wondering where you had gone off to. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. How are the others? The others, they're fine. It was just a bunch of people who died. Oh, okay then. Wow. <laughs> like, what the fuck? More importantly, Galica, we have to go gather petals from that uh, flower patch in the forest. Uh, what? Sure. Oh, um, maybe later, okay. I'm still on a mission, so now really isn't the time to, um... You've changed, Galica. You've even, you've even started to talk like one of them. So weird. What? Wait, what? Are you trying to be a person? You're strange now. Hello there. What's going on? The prayer room is located further in. At the moment, it is being used to mourn those who are no longer with us. I pray that you do not cause a disturbance. Let's go ahead and save here, by the way. Wait a fucking minute. Listen. Listen here. I swear to fucking God, if we go in this room, if we go in this room, and it is technically the same room that we saw every time a character would awaken to their their um their archetype i'm gonna be fucking livid i'm gonna lose my mind 
All right, all right, we're going in. This is your last warning, guys. Y'all better watch the fuck out. There's probably gonna probably gonna be some sussy bullshit going on in here. The prince is just ahead. Are you ready, Will? It's gonna be the same chamber. I can already fucking tell. Oh my god, it fucking is! It is! It's the same chamber! What? This doesn't make sense. What is this? All right, then. The prayer room. So this is this is the place that everyone awoke to? <gasps> the people who brought the prince to this village called themselves simply the Resistance. They feared that a name would spread word of their existence. Their numbers have gradually dwindled, and after today's tragedy, Russell is all who remains. Hardly a resistance now. Hey. Russell, the prince is... Oh, Highness, for you to forfeit your life in order to save ours, it can only mean that we have truly failed you. There can be no atonement, no penance to match the magnitude of our failure. <clears throat> the truth is, during the attack, I crossed paths with the assailant. He walked right past me on the stairs outside. At the time, the only thing that struck me was his unusual garb. Otherwise, he walked by so casually, it seemed nothing was amiss. It was only afterwards that I found out that he had just massacred all of those people. I tremble even now just thinking about it. Hello. Beyond the store is the place that the organization has been using as a hideout. Or should I say it was was beyond the store. Other than the elderly Russell, the rest of them, I guess they're all dead now. Perhaps we brought this on ourselves, but still, it is also dreadful. <sighs> oh, you are all from outside, are you not? Hey, do you mind telling me what's going on right now? Nobody will tell me anything. They all just say, do not leave the house. I know the fires are scary, but it's all too much to be holed up like this. I, for one, have no intention of spending my life running between caves and forests. Oh, there's another door here. Oh, it's you. Beyond here lies the Altar of Secret History. The Altar of Secret History? Excuse me? The sanctuary which houses the true story of our people and the world. Kindly refrain from making any loud noises lest you startle the fairies. Bro, we're gonna walk through there and and we're gonna accidentally just like walk back into Shinjuku. Come off it. <laughs> like it's gonna be fucking weird. I've heard that the elder are considered a sullied tribe to the outside world. Perhaps that is reflected in the current state of affairs. That child is royalty, and yet his life has been defined by tragedy beyond anything that I have ever experienced. To think that there are those who would see such a child as no more than prey to be slain. To look upon a mere boy such as he and revile him, their souls are truly cursed. Okay, I think I think we've talked to pretty much everyone, except for like those two people over there. <laughs> wow, this man child woke up after such a long nap and then he went right right back to sleep. <laughs> Bro, what? You've got it wrong, he's not sleeping. Why do you look so sad? In fact, why is everyone so sad? Just play for a little bit and you'll just cheer right up. When this person wakes up, we should play together. Yo, fairies are wild. Wish it were me. Wish I could be, I could be that devoid of any any kind of emotion. To be completely honest, there are those within the sanctum who think ill of both his highness and the resistance. But life is priceless for him to have died in such a way and at such a tender age. Let us pray so that tragedy is never repeated. Offer your prayers not to any idol, but to the god that dwells within you. Now what am I to Give me your items. What do you have? Ooh. Okay, not anything actually good here though. Why is it called Comet? Uh -huh. Weird. These are, this is really good armor, by the way. This is kind of weird. All right, oh God. This way. Wait, where's, where's, no. where's his, where's his stab you... wound, where to go? Highness.
<laughs> Why? I didn't realize anyone still remained to weep over this child. Hmm? Galica! You've returned! Literally? Lady what in the world is going on right now? It's been a long time. May I ask who this is? She is the chieftess of this village. The Hermitess Gruide. She was kind enough to shelter the entire organization when His Highness fled to these woods. I can't believe he's gone. I'm sure some parapus orphan from the slums. I was never supposed to outlive any prince. Was he killed here? No. It all happened in the bunk room in the back. We moved him here to the altar once all was quiet. I don't know if you'd believe me, but... I received a revelation. Should the prince die, his body should be kept safe and still here until the rightful day comes. Even if the boy should is the prince a die, so there was a chance that he would survive. Interesting. Man. He is still her majesty's son. Despicable? What, you mean the king? Wait, who's her majesty? Do you know nothing of the child's mother? No. The boy was not brought across borders to us. He was born here, in the ancient sanctum. His mother was our past chiefess, the queen of our elder tribe. She was a flower amidst the forests, a woman of such beauty, grace, and kindness. She saved this child from the flames. And it cost her her life. Her death is on that man's hands. Like a piper, he wandered in and seduced the young queen with his idealistic tales. But he failed to protect his family and died powerless. The village was only set ablaze because the boy was in the way of the Sanctus Church's designs on the throne. And that insipid king could do nothing to stop them. But you see... This is a lot. This boy, His Highness the Prince, looks so much like Her Majesty. And so... Hmm. You there, boy. Are you perhaps... Uh, no, it can't be. And yet... Is something amiss, Milady Gruide? He is one of Gallica's allies. His loyalty stands with His Highness, and he has risked much in the Prince's name. Whoa! What's with the formal introduction? You were the one who gave us our orders in the first place. Hurry. I can hear that voice again coming from hey, somewhere. Are you okay? What's, no, 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 no. The time no. has come. No, no, no. Is he not like a real person? Is this what they're implying? Did he, was he like, maybe he was like born in like the bed of flowers or something and that's where Gallica found him? But nobody remembers because of some magic BS? Like what's Here going on? Thou this is- Here to the end of thy journey. This secret place was home to thee. Bro, now what? remember thy path thus far. Walk thy life's road and see it anew. I have been waiting for thee to overcome thy trials. Long have I waited for thy return. Know this, his life is not yet ended. This voice. It all started on that ill-fated day when the usurper thought to extinguish his light. Before he fades away, recount all thou hast seen and felt. All thou hast gained in thy journey's course. <sighs> I look now to the past, and I see the roads I traveled on this journey. Gallica and thee sought to take the head of Luis, but thy efforts came to naught. So ye moved instead to join a tournament to decide the land's king. It came to nothing. Though thy plan was reckless, thou didst win the trust of the people by the support of peers and subjects alike. Thus, thou didst declare thyself the prince. Hey. 
It was all a mistake. After overcoming many obstacles, thou didst finally lift the Prince's curse. Yet by the cruel machinations of another, the young prince... He lies dead before me. Thy dream stands unfulfilled. Thou art adrift in the depths, and despair hath claimed thee. Oh, alas, I believed thee ready to realize the truth. Ready to confront thy truest trial. Wait, huh? The prince and the hope that rested upon him what? was no more. The banner they strove to raise fell to ruin. Unity forged among allies and promised to the people was a fleeting hope. The opportunity passed. Only Luis, the sworn enemy, remained to take the throne. And then, inevitably, the day came. Did I? No. The authority of the <laughs> did king's I, did magic I have to choose the other options for real? The royal scepter were I, just, I just thought we just, just choose whatever. Wanting hands. Girl. That was the day fantasy died. Oh my god, you guys, I accidentally... Did I just get a bad ending? What the no fuck? No one knows what became of the kingdom thereafter. All that is certain is that none of their names, not even those of the I heroes, I didn't think that the choices mattered. Oh my god, I'm history. so sorry. Oops. All else vanished, untold. <laughs> Bro, what? Fuck no! What? Get out of here! Get the shit out of here! Skip. I literally, I just got a bad ending. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? Was it this one? I don't remember where we saved. Were we outside of the thing? Yeah, we were. That's a fucking meme and a half, bro. What? I'm so sorry. I didn't think that the choices would matter. They never fucking matter. What the fuck is that? I'm not talking to these people again, by the way. I'm skipping. No. <laughs> yeah, that was so stupid. I have what been the waiting fuck? for thee to overcome thy trials. Long have I waited for thy return. Know this. His life is not yet ended. What do you mean? It all started on that also, is this like is this his mom? When the is this the prince's mom talking? To extinguish his light. Before he fades away, recount all thou hast seen and felt, all thou hast gained in thy journey's course. <sighs> Gallica and thee sought to take the head of Luis, but thy efforts came to naught. So ye moved instead to join a tournament to decide the land's king. In the prince's name. Though thy plan was reckless, thou didst win the trust of the people by the support of peers and subjects alike. Thus, thou didst declare thyself the prince. It was all for victory. After overcoming many obstacles, oh <laughs> thou didst finally lift the prince's curse. Yet by the cruel machinations of another, the young prince... I love, I love how the options are the complete opposite of each other. I was like, I thought that, I thought you could just choose like a bittersweet option and you would still get the same result. But no, apparently I accidentally fucking doomed the entire kingdom. Sorry, guys. He's no longer with us. Thy sole mission was to save the prince. Bereft of him, thou hast no further reason to live. <gasps> Excuse me? That's not true. If the prince is dead, wert thy efforts all for naught? He's not dead. His will lives on. His will lives on. So thy resolve is yet unbroken. So be it. Thou hast earned the truth. Wait a minute. He was consumed by the curse, 
and was taken by a deep abiding slumber. Wait. Yet his soul remained alive. Is this is this why um the canon name for the MC in English is Will? Are we the will of the prince? So from his earthly form, I extracted his soul that he might travel the land in Odyssey. And thus his stilled sands began to flow once more. Oh my god, what the fuck? Thy journey has taken thee far and taught thee much. So now I ask thee. Oh my who god, art literally thou? what the fuck? I am just a traveler. I am the prince's friend. I am no one. I'm just a traveler. Could a mere traveler have borne witness to so many happenings beyond mortal understanding? Uh, yes. I mean, everybody else technically came with us, right? So. To name but a few. Thy parents? Memories of thy youth? Hast thou any recollection of where and how thy youngest years were spent? Yeah, I see what they're doing. <sighs> Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? Yes. Thy memories begin the moment thou befriend the prince. Dost thou suspect the reason? I don't have a past. As I said, thou hast nothing. Thou art a being of mine own creation. Twas Gallica alone who the Resistance laid their hopes upon all those days past. Thy life had yet to begin. All thou hadst, all that had been bestowed, was a memory. Thy mission to save the Prince. Thy memories of youth in the Prince's company, and the void enshrouding all else in thy past. All signs of thy conjured existence. I... I have nothing? Nay. The words of the prince in thy memory are unmistakably of his true heart. The memories gained on thy journey. The friendships made. The trust forged. These true things art thine own. All thy trials, all thy experiences, were to prepare thee for this day. To share the strength thou hast gained with thy other self. My other self? This is... This is... Peak! This is peak. Oh my god. My... Other self? The trust and friendship that I have gained has been there to support me. <sighs> but if they had known that I came from nothing, that I am nothing... Would people have stood by me, believed in me? And the same goes for the desire to help anyone in need. <sighs> How is it that I have touted such a laughably idealistic belief this long? Accept the truth, and thou wilt face an ordeal beyond any you have yet faced. If thy desire is instead for freedom, thou mayest still abandon thy mission. I wouldn't mind having freedom, here. but... I'm pretty sure it's going to give us the bad ending again. Is that right? I see now. My true identity is... So I bid thee answer my final question. Who art thou in truth? Is she saying, I am the prince? I am the prince. So this whole time, I guess a spell was cast to remove the soul of the prince while he was sleeping so that he could go and walk around. What is this? And like do stuff i feel a curious resonance could this be but how impossible hey what's going on what awaits us now is that a cutscene? oh my god <laughs> oh my god ha oh, life is not yet lost Thou wert born apart from the prince's flesh, born of his desire to change the world. <sighs> oh my god! Oh! Oh 
Oh my god, no! travel the world. Thou did support his heart and became his living fantasy. That is thy oh true Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Thou art everything the prince sought to be, his ideal. Oh my god, I'm actually I'm <laughs> I'm dying inside right now. Oh my god. It all began with the novel in thy possession. Wait, what? Drawn by the divine relic. Magla coalesced into flesh and flesh coalesced into form the form of an elder as i once was the time hath come awaken reborn anew no more the prince's dream of utopia thou wouldst chase. Nay, but thine own. So we're we're technically not real, but we're the princess we're the prince's will. And this revelation that we are the same person is now going to essentially create a new version of us that is actually the prince. But we've walked all of the Oh my oh my oh my god. Bro. Oh my god. Oh my god, we're fucking beautiful. Do you see that? Holy fuck. Literally, like, I, I understand what they're saying. So essentially, we have fused with our, our original body, what? and everything that we did outside is like our soul what walking around. This? It's like created a new version of him. I don't fucking know. It's Thou this shit is wild. Done well to guide him this far. This voice. I'm sure I've heard it before. Thy mind should now be clearing. Remember now thy true charge. He was never a member of the Resistance. The mission, the departure, was thine alone. And thereafter didst thou encounter him. So what happened to her memories, though? What's going on? Wait, what am I saying? In those long ago days, he had just been born into this land. Newborn in form, if not in appearance, the boy needed a guide. Thus, I decided his memories would be thine. Thou wouldst share past and purpose, a memory so crafted to suit thee. My journey to the capital would not be made alone. Was, was she him. was she best friend no, for the prince? That can't That's be. That's what it was. He was there and then when he we took got her our memories. Orders. I never thought I would have to ask this of you, but there are so few of us left now. There is no one else to turn to. Will you infiltrate the military to deliver a message to our contact there? This is your mission. For all our sakes, you cannot fail. No. But I was alone. By this choice, he might be saved. By these gentle, necessary lies, we could live to see this day when our dearest wish is fulfilled. As he traveled alongside thee, he gained both strength and wisdom. It is only by thy efforts that my voice reached him. He oh has my now God. been what? saved. And so the journey ends here. Thou hast fulfilled thy mission admirably. What? Wait just a minute. What do you mean it ends here? From here on, thy path is thy own. Choose thy own future for thyself. And may the fates smile on thy journey. <sighs> Thank you.
Listen, I am flabbergasted right now. <laughs> and there's so much that just happened. What really? What you? in the world? How? I mean, how do you feel? Did our I feel a bit lighter. There seems to be no doubt. He is still himself. Oh my God! What? No. I also sense his highness his voice within him. Just, just handed Everyone? up. Did you hear that? Oh shit! I need to tell you something. The truth is. So let me get this straight. You're saying it's not a matter of our captain and his highness joining together, but that the former was this disembodied entity sprung from the latter? Then that's why he had no memories? Because he didn't even exist? I see. Finally, I understand the strange feeling I had sensed upon our meeting. What shaped you, so to speak, was the Prince's will itself, a part of his consciousness. Yes, the Prince's and very And this is, heart. this is why... He was his soul given flesh. This is, this is why we also, I'm assuming, like in like a gameplay perspective too, that we had to go and get all of the royal virtues. We had to level them up, technically, because we were essentially just like a fresh and newborn, like that had nothing, but we're still technically the prince. That's Perhaps the full crazy moon was one what shaped by fuck? material magla, much like how the dragon god manifests beyond the vessel Dracadios. A mass of magla with a will. Forget the dragon god. He may as well have been a dragon himself. Small wonder he awakened to an archetype before anyone else. It was no great aptitude for magic. He himself was composed of pure magla. The self as a manifestation of one's desires. Similar to archetypes. I suppose this is the very essence of magic. So was he almost like... You, you mean to say that... It was not merely pretense to claim the prince's name. Thank you, Bones. It was his hey, yo, seven hours to fucking go. If that's true, this is finally your reunion with your sworn liege. So Seems this like whole cause time... for rejoicing, eh? Lady Hulkenberg of the Royal Guard. This whole time, Hulkenberg was literally walking around with the spirit of the prince. That's crazy. But I... Oh my god. I failed to protect his highness. No. I am sure the strength of your devotion had a hand in saving <laughs> Like, for real, Bones, like, that shit is wild. Off, when I play this game over again, oh my god, like, everything lady. is gonna be so weird. End, that fate oh my was lord. Rewarded. Fate was changed. Are you really His Royal Highness the Prince? What is that saying? Fake please, it till you make it? Bro, please, we fake that shit me, and then we actually became the prince. I That's crazy. You you me most. And more. Uh, despite being a member of your royal guard, I did not recognize your highness at our meeting and showed you such insolence. Uh, <sighs> My god, girl. I pronounce your sentence. Then I hereby pronounce your sentence. <laughs> they changed the his Niger voice break, acting too. They gave him like a little You've bit of extra hamminess too. Time. Because you now he's more British. He's more British now. You. This time, I will protect you. Even should it cost me my very life. I swear to it. I'm going to cock myself up pretty soon. I can't decide whether I want to use a cast iron pan or just lying my head on my pillow. What? Bro, just use your pillow, bro. Also, enjoy your sleepies. We're going to we're gonna finish very soon. I think that, um, how, what is it? Seven hours? I think we've done very well today. I'm very proud of us. Finally. So hopefully within the next like 15 Grius minutes, proud. we should be heading out soon. We've really done it. By Cross the way, fingers. what are we supposed to call you now? I mean, how would you prefer to be addressed, my lord? Oh, do we get a name change? Nothing has changed between us. Captain. Same as always. Oh no, my god, our, our hair color is so pretty. Oh, with all respect, I must object. <laughs> But this is no time to be thick-headed, my girl. He's the one who gets to decide what we Bally call him, so we'll listen to him, eh? What? You, sir, should be begging His Highness for forgiveness on bended knee. 
You mangled the royal runner to your own whimsy, you lout! Oh my god. Uh, well, that is, I mean, it was, it was all dashed useful in the end, wasn't it? <laughs> A bit of clemency, your highness. So much for acting same as always. <laughs> Yo, I can't. Oh my god. This is this is crazy. Also, there's a nut there. Don't I have not forgotten. There is a door behind that altar that has the true history of the Elden it's race or whatever the fuck they're called. Not just that a child who'd lain cold for years could come back to us, but through such extraordinary circumstances, after so long in the curse's thrall, he could not even open his eyes. He may as well have been a corpse. But all this time, he had been on his own journey. It was the boy's dearest wish. I must read the true history of he the Elder Race. The exactly. I need answers world. before I go to bed. Meeting its people, seeing its truths. And without him even knowing, magic made it real. He is a child of Elden blood and Elden legacy. All these years he spent in the village, he has rested near the secret of true magic. Perhaps this is how it came to be. His was a fantasy surpassing fantasy. He was resting near the secret of true magic. Dream. Wait, so is that is the archetype researcher too? Of its own volition. And now, reunited, Prince and Fantasy live anew. A journey to discover and reclaim the self in all senses. No wonder he set off the custom igniter in the royal gauntlet runner. It was the crown prince himself. Even having it all explained like this, it feels like nothing short of a miracle. I can only guess that fate had a hand in it. That's right. I remember, I heard a voice. Guide him, it said. A voice? Whose? If you can't remember anything from before our journey, then we probably met after you'd only just yeah, it happened, right? I shouldn't have known you then. But for some reason, I was convinced that we'd always been together. I thought we both received the order to save the prince, too. Ever since the moment I heard that weird voice guiding me. A voice? Lady Gruaday mentioned a revelation. Hold on, are we still being mystic and metaphorical, or was there an actual watch guide it, involved? Watch it be I the princess mom, the queen. Uh, I just the queen. don't know who. So a disembodied voice. Hang on. Come to think of it, that sounds a bit familiar for me too. Hey, who do you think the voice belongs to? Any idea? Mommy. I have it's a mom. faint idea, but... I'm not entirely sure. Come to think of it, this place, the light coming in, they seem familiar. I might say the same. When I first acquired this power, this I had a vision what I was saying earlier. Like this is where we Does got our archives bro. guided as well. Perhaps someone has been at your side unseen, watching over the course of your journey. I imagine all this comes as a great shock for you as well. But here you are. Back in your rightful place. You have come to the end of your arduous journey and found new life. It is a life well won, grasped with your own two hands. Chief Descruide, we want to know everything. What is oh my the God, truth Bones, it's behind coming. your it's tribe, coming. the Elder? We Mustari are also said to have inherited truths of the world before us. Histories hushed by sanctism. But this village, it is something altogether different. I myself feel a strange familiarity here. A lost haven underground, yet letting of the sky's light. Please, tell us, what is the Elder Tribe? To know what we are, you must first know our history. Come to the altar room past the door. I'll wait for you there. Yes, pump, pump me full of information, please. Let's fucking go. Are there other doors I can go through, though? Hold on. Let's 
see here. A stone monument. These slabs engraved with a number of names. I believe that these are the names of all of the resistance members who've lost it's their okay. lives. Oh. That's a tea hand. What is this? Oh, this is the princess bed. This is the bed that I saw in the Farsight mirror. Oh. This is crazy. Oh my lord. Ah. Oh, there's something over here. Alright, let's go let's go read this sussy history stuff they have here. This better not be a dungeon, by the way. Oh, do they have paintings and murals here? Oh wow. Alright. Um, what, what is going on here? Elder comes from an ancient word, meaning only the old ones. It was an alias given by our ancestors to outsiders who visited the village in the distant past. As for our original name, you know it well by now. We were humans. The human tribe. So Luis's words... Oh my there God, is no, no human tribe. Tribes as we know them today did not exist then. We were all one people, humankind. A world united. But wait, the ruins on Virga Island, there's nothing left of the civilization today. Was it destroyed? Why? How? A war. One that all but destroyed the world past. But its destruction was born of the discovery of Magla. Or as you call it today, magic. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. So basically because they discovered Magla or magic, it's what destroyed the world eventually. You know what that reminds me of? Um... Mm. It's like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's like one of those things where like, it's, it's very SMT. It's very like strange journey. It's giving, it's giving <laughs> that kind of vibe. What they battled over. Without the divided tribes, what could they have disagreed on? They were racked by division. Over the abstract, undefinable idea of rightness. They tried to destroy something invisible and destroyed only themselves. And any idea of absolute rightness is born of fear. That fear flooded the world and gave way to war. And their age of prosperity came to be called the world before. The people we now call tribes were either born of artificial division for the sake of the war effort or natural adaptation to survive the hellscape after. <sighs> Humanity was torn apart by fear and anxiety, giving rise to the tribes as we know them. So basically, whatever happened in the past, people eventually... And they started, like, migrating or, like, something to, like, other parts of the world and, like, turning into, like, weird animal hybrids or something. Like, this shit is fucking wild. Unbelievable. We've met plenty of people caught up in pointless conflicts. Given the choice, I know they'd rather live in a world without tribal division. And yet the truth is, that world's already fallen apart. More than that, it's how we all got here. Such drastic physical changes would normally have taken eons to effect. Accelerated by Magla, however, it was only a matter of a scant few centuries. <laughs> you understand now. Yeah, yes. no worries. Have a good night, Bones. We, Thanks for coming out and modding tonight. I appreciate it, babe. Of the old world. Our ancestors fled the flames of war and thus escaped the ensuing divisions. <sighs> I need to, like, reread this shit, too. This is a lot. 
So the Eldar are like the literal survivors of the old world. Everyone else, all the other tribes, they're just fucking, they just fucking out there. Like they didn't actually, well, technically they survived, but like the way that they did it is like they had to like branch off and like fucking mutate or something. Bro, this shit is fucking wild. Then that means that the princes, that is to say, I am a scion of both the old world and the new. Beggar's belief. It is nothing short of astounding. But then, why do we know these monsters as humans? By the war's end, both sides were consumed by fear. Their magical assaults escalated with each retaliation until it was beyond all control. Our world became a hell. Rampant magla distorts the body and mind. By now, I'm sure you know that better than you ever wished to. Humans are what remains of that branch of humankind that succumbed to melancholia. Broken, horrifying testaments to their own mistakes in the war of magic. Some persist, breed, and multiply as any Ew. beast does. Others live centuries of agony before their lives burn out. Even we do not know the full scope of their nature. Regardless, when the eight tribes settled in this land, our claim to the human legacy was forgotten. To the people, the name only meant slavering insane monsters. Therefore, we took on an alias instead. The same one by which we are known today. The Elda. So, the old world couldn't control its magic, and... Wait, how does the Sanctus Church fit in? All this revisionist history to spread their magic igniters. Indeed, what are magic igniters to you? Tools for the church to shackle the people, perhaps? Or weapons that hide magic's true potential? Am I close to the mark? In truth, it's the opposite. Igniters are tools made to limit magic. Restraints made in self-discipline oh. meant to avert a repeat of history's destructive mistakes. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. I mean, the whole time I thought that it was, well, technically it kind of is, but um, it's like one of those things where I thought that they were spreading igniters because they wanted to essentially keep keep the, power, the powerful people on top, the rich people, or like the church on top. But apparently it turns out that the Sanctus Church, I'm assuming or whoever has control of like these igniters, they're basically using them to prevent people from learning about actual magic. Because if they did, they could do anything. They could literally do anything if they tried hard enough, probably, if they were strong enough, and they could probably fuck shit up. The Sanctus Church see. of today is muddied by greed, but its faith was born of good intentions. They once urged self-control, and thus control of one's personal magic. There you go. At times, they preached we must close our eyes to the truth when it would only lead us to ruin. By this benign tenet, history was obscured, and the Elder denounced. Really? I had no idea. There's a grim irony in that. His Majesty only hid his son's ancestry to protect him. Yet in the end, that meant Forden could attack the village under any pretext he liked, his motives concealed. I'm gonna head back to sleep. I wanna play well. Yeah, no, no worries, babe. I know you're tired. You Thank you for jumping in. I hope you're doing okay, form. babe. The friends that stand with you are of different tribes and ideologies, but of one mind. As you are now, you may walk the path of the rightful king, the path of a modern world where the tribes walk as individuals. Yet with mutual respect and cooperation. The Sovereign's power. Thou king to be, entrusted with the will of the people. To bear their hopes is to be their rock in the storm, and to face anxiety in their names. I'm alright, I just woke up and sick not long ago and I showered and gonna attempt EP again. Oh, it's okay, babe. I'm sorry that you're not feeling well. That's you softly. I think, um, I mean, like, if you need to rest or whatever, like, don't worry. You don't have to be here. I do appreciate it, but, like, girl, you need to make sure you take care of yourself. Also, the story is going crazy right now, Angel. Shit is bonkers. 
Wait, what's going Yet, on? Anxiety itself is not something to blindly reject or desperately cast away. It begins with a simple thing. Acknowledging it's okay. Its We're gonna try to end soon anyway, but I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Walk forward alongside it, and thou wilt grow strong and true in its company. <sighs> there is weakness in people. I'm sure that there are many who would say that helping anyone in need is nothing but a fantasy. And besides, but realistic or not, I refuse to accept Luisa's methods as the alternative. The weak and those who dissent do not deserve to die out, die out as though that is the natural order. Hello? Oh my god. Excuse me? Wait, my determination to challenge the unknown has awakened the heroic embodiment of the prince. Let's do it. What? If no one understands me right away, I accept that. There will still be meaning in showing them my convictions in the fight, fight to come. That is my mission. That's it. I've made up my mind. I'm with you to the end, no matter what. Where is this coming from? Yeah, Before where we is got this there, coming from? This guiding voice thing told me my duties were over. But what am I going to do? Just go, okay, bye? Especially after we've come this far together? No. I'm going to face Luis with you. Even if it is scary. Even you've got to cope with anxiety, eh? I realized something in our travels. Anxiety can lead people astray. But overcoming it makes a person stronger. There's always anxiety in the unknown. I know what it's like to be afraid of something I don't understand. That's why I think it's my duty to help people face and connect with their anxiety. Is that okay? From now on, it's not about orders. I'm with you, because I want to be. <laughs> I'll be counting on you as always. Same here. Stick close to me, okay? Well, we're past the worst of it, but the problem remains. Luis's dark magic. We've seen it turn the boy into a monster, and no doubt he can do it again. A forbidden spell, turning sane mortals into the fearsome human monsters. In other words, a destabilizing magic, turning a person's magler into a snarl beyond control. This man named Luis. He may have his own past in this ancient sanctum. Luis has been here? What do you know of him? What? What do you wish to know? What do you... What is this forbidden spell? What is this forbidden spell? The essence of magic is in the control of Magla. However, just as its chaos may be calmed, it can also be deliberately pushed out of control. Oh. That was what you saw. Oh no, he I see. You innate magic to a frenzy and you are lost to melancholia. Just as the humans of the ancient war once were. And In this is how he's, age, he's able to create humans, quote unquote. People learn fear, Hello. become slaves to their anxiety, suffer. And thus, the power of magic is born. Pardon me. You mean to say anxiety is the source of all magic? Magla is a substance born of the heart, generated when one feels anxiety or fear. By certain means, it may be kindled into power. That is what we call magic. I know that they mentioned way earlier that Magla was like created through the people's anxiety, but like the, the way that they're saying this right now is fucking crazy. And then I'm one magical bitch. Oh my God, I feel that Aurora 100%. Literally, that is fucking crazy. So the only way that people can naturally produce or like use magic or archetypes, I'm assuming, is technically by feeling fear. I'm assuming like I'm assuming like you're conquering your anxiety or conquering your fear. Kind of how they do it and like um 
kind of like how you conquer your shadow or whatever in persona or something that's in this a way, lot that's it interesting is by virtue of the anxiety in our hearts that we gain the power to overcome it oh magic is a natural process and anxiety is its invaluable irreducible fuel but in turn those burdened with more anxiety and fear produce more <gasps> and more magla oh, from their no. hearts oh no so this is why this is why all the best and the strongest magic users that we've seen in the game like Luis and like Rella and Forden technically technically this is why maybe they've had such weird auras of magla in them or something like their magla has been really weird because they essentially like they're extremely powerful magic users but that means that they have to have a shit ton of fucking fear and anxiety inside them without the willpower to face your fear the magla overflows uncontrollable by magic it can give rise to strange and terrible happenings as it manifests this is literally conquering your shadow from persona this is crazy With the world embroiled in chaos these outbursts of swollen magic may be happening all across our kingdom it is the answer to everything the melancholia crystals the beasts driven feral the fairy land is erupting with the weight of its people's fears hold on if luis's art is rooted in bringing out this chaos then anyone might be next he said he became a monster because he's elder but that wasn't the complete story if what you say is true indeed all people today are ultimately descendants of humankind if luis so chooses he could turn anyone into a human monster yet as long as you have the strength to confront your fears even this transformation may be defied and overcome what That's do you crazy. wish to crazy oh, what do you wish to know oh there's more Who exactly is Luis? we're not done every time i heard of his doings in the wider world i felt more and more sure that luis is from this village his knowledge of humans his skills in magic his grasp of darker arts they're all beyond a mere soldier to begin with however prodigious as it happens a name does occur among those old families who perished in the fire there was one by the name of Caradrius, a family of doctors. Oh my god, what the fuck? In an effort to better heal the ills of the people, they had studied spells much like the ones he now exploits. The details are long since lost to the fire. But if Luis spares our legacy, so that means that, that all of this was technically caused knowledge. because way back when his Wait, whole fucking family got a, their house ambition? got burned down the in the Rella Elder saw. Village, bro. What the fuck? Do you fuck? think he actually wants to turn everyone in the kingdom into humans? As revenge? There is no sure. No magic strong enough to turn many people at once, and none that can be cast quickly. As far as we know, even if it was possible, I don't know what it would accomplish. But this is Luis we're talking about. Who knows what he's thinking? But if he would turn people into humans, if in the unlikely event that happens... If there is any motive for such cruelty, it can only be hatred. If Luis is truly from this village, then their fire would have cost him everything. Such unjust tragedy could easily beget a thirst for revenge. Yeah, that's what I'm Even if it meant that's what wielding I'm seeing. a magic that twisted life into something terrible, instead of uplifting it. Indeed, it seems the opposite of an archetype. A truly dark power. Who goes there? Someone flees! Um. That's him. The malformed assassin who struck at the prince. He's bound for the woods. After him! Oh my god, no. Fucking Zorba. <laughs> Fuck. Ah! Okay, so this is a tee, but I think we've done very well for today, and I am getting very tired. I don't mind fighting this boss. I'm assuming we're going to have to have a boss battle right now. If we do this, though, I don't know how much longer we're going to be forced to stay up because I feel like the game is just going to keep going. So let's let's talk to her really quick here, and then we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to save here. I'm going to do wind down. That intruder came here to claim the prince's life. Um, Tihi. As it stands, his mission remains unfulfilled. In other words, the assassin hasn't fled. You should assume that he lies in wait biding his time for another opportunity to come at you. Ooh. 
there's a trap. That's tea. Wow. Wow. As Owen Wilson once said. <laughs> That's crazy.